Yo, what's up guys? Snake Eater. Yo, um, I'm back y'all. I know I got one minute on the clock, but let's start the stream. How you doing? How you doing, Rilla Sinekeed? I see y'all in chat. What's up guys? Another day, another Metal Gear Solid game. So today is like day five or part five, if you will, of my Metal Gear Solid 3 playthrough on European Extreme. And if you're just joining in today, uh, my name is Oats. You're watching Oats Curry TV. And I'm playing this game for the first time since it first released back in on the PlayStation 2, bro. And this is such an instrumental game that changed my entire life. And how I look at things, you know, how I view games. Right. And this is like, I would say like probably the biggest like point of Kojima's heyday. Like when Metal Gear Solid 3 released, it was undoubtedly a hands down 10 out of 10 masterpiece. This is one of the few games that are still considered to this day a straight up masterpiece. And for its time, it was like so revolutionary. That, that was like before like people considered games having a multiplayer element to it, but there's a mul multiplayer element to this game, Metal Gear Online. And I do wish they actually bring it back, you know, like if they ever remaster or remake this game for, you know, PlayStation 4, I want them to bring it back. Yo, I'm playing as bitch ass Rykov, bruh. This dude too sexy for his own good. Damn. I need some items. This guy probably got like a suppressor or something. AK-47 bullet. I don't need a bullet. Okay, I'm going to beat up some soldiers because I could use some items real quick. Okay, this guy should have some bullets, right? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to wake him up. Go back to sleep, fool. Someday you go through the rain. Someday you feed on a tree frog. Woohoo! Suppressor Mark 22. I'll take that. Alright, so I haven't played in like one day, right? Have the food I have already rotted? Well, I got like one rotten food. That's about it. Okay, let's go. So, I got the disguise as Rykov, right? So I can access the the rocket building, I guess. Alright. Let's go. A O. Let's go. Get in the back now. What they want, I don't know. Grandigrad weapons lib main wing. Damn, what was that? Okay, wait. Let me let me save. Let me save. You know how sometimes when you see like Russian words and you think you can read it? You wanna say? But then you realize like Russian people spelled it a different way? Like bro, that's some arrogance right there, man. Like using the English like alphabet system, but you're not even gonna abide by the rules, you know what I mean? Damn, Russian people, bro. I love them, but they kind of funky sometimes. Suka blit! Take care, Snake. Hey, you take care too, paramedic. I'm gonna make sure I propose when I come back. Damn. Ooh. You know, I kinda forgot my mission, bro. Ah, shit, I can't go through. I think I need a special keycard or something to. Oh, shit. I'm getting like some Vietnam flashbacks of like Snake getting beat up. Ba da da da. Grossly great weapons lab West Wing Corridor. West Wing. Ah, oh, shit. So, what do we do now? Hey, what up, fool? Damn. Cutscene time. Hey, man, you better salute. Sir. Yeah. J. Aw, oh, shit. This is where, like, fucking, like, shit happens, right? Damn. 
Uh oh. Don't take off the mask, dummy. Keep it on. Oh uh, no, why you gotta do that? Uh, I think he hates being. Here it is. Oh shit. Oh, I bet that's the philosopher's legacy. Oh no, no, no. That's like some uh, data. You can count on me. What about the philosopher's legacy? I don't know anything about that. Oh shit. Are you, She's are you trying to kill me? What's the matter? Oh shit. I know nothing, I swear it. Is he gonna pee his pants again? No but the colonel knows of the legacy. I see. No, don't! Oh. She's like so such a tease, bro. Eat sleep stick. Damn. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, why'd you gotta hide, bro? We know each uh, each other. Damn, you don't have to hide, snake. Yo. Isn't a mask pretty amazing? It's like it's almost like you have like a hair too. Who's there? You're the man from the CIA. What are you doing here? I'm gonna get you I out of here. Before, didn't I? I'm going to get you out of here. <laughs> a man of honor, just like your commander. Major Zero. But I'm afraid you're too late. Too late. What happened? Don't tell me. The Shagahards. Is ready. <laughs> It's ready. Exactly. It's, it's ready. The final preparations for phase two are complete. Are complete. Sokolov, what exactly is phase two? To put it in technical terms, it's a composite range extension system for medium range ballistic missiles. Oh shit. This is like prior before Metal Gear could even fire like long range. The Shagahod was originally designed as a tank that could launch nuclear It looks like so clunky, man. Any type of terrain. Oh, look at that. There was just one problem we couldn't figure out how It to looks solve. like a beetle a little bit. The ICBMs we have today are ICBMs. Too big for the Shagohod to carry. Oh, that's why he's developing a rocket that would like of it. They demanded a weapon that could launch a nuclear missile directly into the American homeland. Damn, Russia ain't playing around, bro. That is when I came up. Some with real the shit right here. Phase two. But there's no way you could load an ICBM onto the Shagahod. So how do you do it? By accelerating Magic. the Shagahod itself. Oh. In phase that is two, so smart. The rocket booster unit is attached to the frame of the Shagohol. You accelerate the, the tank the and then you shoot it out at the same time. Used in the Vostok rocket. Vostok rocket. Space. Damn, he's a major now, Major Gagarin. Using this booster, the Shagohod can achieve a land speed of over 300 miles per hour. Holy shit. That monster can go more than 300 Ooh, miles per 300 hour. 300 miles. And from this state of accelerated motion, it launches a nuclear missile. Damn. So, the Shagohod acts like the first stage of a rocket. Holy yes, shit. Precisely. precisely. The range of the missile launched by the Shagohod thus increases from 2,500 miles to 6,000 miles. That's some genius right there. Oh, we got parachutes and shit. That's enough to strike anywhere in the United States. Holy shit. Not only that, with the Shagohod, there's no need to construct giant silos like the ones used to house. Oh, uh, you can construct a few of these. All you need is a runway about three miles in length, or its equivalent. Holy shit. And you can launch a thermonuclear strike against any location in the United States from anywhere in the Soviet Union. Holy crap. It cannot be detected by spy planes or satellites. Really? It's Why not? It's a fortress capable of deploying in secret and launching its payload at any time. Wow. A weapon from hell. Metal Gear. Holy shit. Uh oh, I think like Volgan is gonna walk in or something. I have flashbacks. The now sits in the hangar. At present, it is the only one of its kind. Ian, we gotta but destroy Volgan it. Is planning to mass produce them based on that prototype and deploy them all over the Soviet Union. Yes, and that's not the end of it. He's going to ship them to Eastern Europe, to Asia, 
Oh All shit. The countries of the Eastern Bloc. Even worse, he intends to use the Shagohad as bait to foment armed uprisings among dictators, ethnic insurgents, and revolutionary groups throughout the third. That's world. like kind of like outer heaven, bro. His funds are nearly limitless. I think like Volgan is the original big boss. If he wanted. The reason that tensions between East and West have settled into a cold war is because each side fears the other's power. Oh, deterrence. Shit. Nuclear deterrence. The idea of using threats to keep one's enemy in check is the perfect word to sum up this state of affairs. But the Shagohard goes far beyond the level of threat. It will render the concept of deterrence utterly meaningless. That's it's technically true. Unleashed on the world. It but I mean, America also. All nations are engulfed in conflict. Oh shit. The Cold War will end. And the entire planet will be consumed by the fires of war. Damn. Vulgin, the Shaco Hard will be at the center of it all. Volgin. This is the most Russian name ever of all time. Volgin. So you see, it's already Wodka. too late. No, it's not too late. Damn. What do you mean? Big Boss is like so optimistic. We still man. got a chance. All we have to do is destroy the prototype and the whole facility before they can mass produce it. Just tell me what I need to do to destroy this place. Oh shit. <laughs> All right. Sokolov, bro. The liquid fuel used in the rocket engine is stored in a tank. If you can blow it up somehow. Some C3 ought to be enough to blow the entire hangar to smithereens. C3. You mean that cutting edge plastic explosive? Yo, C3 wasn't even like it common. molded into any shape. The bomb of the future. The Where bomb of the it? future. There was some in the armory here, but it's gone now. Oh shit. It was stolen by a female spy who was here a minute ago. Oh, Eva? Eva? No, that's not her name. Her name is Tatiana. She made her way in here by becoming Volkin's lover. I thought she I was thought like... She was your lover. Yeah, exactly. Mine? Oh no, she is Volkin's lover. But Volkin was asking like, who is she, right? This is my lover. Oh shit. His wife. Who are they? My wife and daughter. The photo is so They're blurry, bro. This is the blurriest now, photo remember, ever. How are you gonna- family is in the custody of the CIA. Damn. How long has Tatiana been here? Long Only enough. A few weeks. Long enough. A few days before the virtuous mission then. She said that Khrushchev sent her. What did you just give her? All of the experimental data. Ah, uh, what the Shagohard. fuck? Why do you give her that? Please, it is essential that you destroy the Shagohard. Even if you destroy it, she has the data for it. She can recreate it. No. I'm not going. Oh, shit. My mission is to rescue you. Leave me. Sokolov! Wow. Khrushchev has abandoned me. Khrushchev. I cannot return to my country. I would most certainly be sent to the gulags. What about the US? That's why he gotta go to the US. Yes, I once thought of that. I bet the US is gonna my use him. He's waiting for me there. But even if I fled to the United States, they're gonna use you as a scientist. See, I told you, right? America, Operation Paperclip. In the end, it doesn't oh. matter where I go. Oh, one four four point seven five. I am still a weapon scientist. There was a, there was one four four point seven five. Oh shit! There's a Kodak number on that. Be thing. honest with you, I'm tired. One four four point seven five. I'm gonna write it. Never be used. Things that should never have existed in the what first was that? One four four point seven five. Holy shit! Not a word of praise from others, and my creations do not even benefit mankind. They are merely the tools of politicians. Tools of the times. One four four point seven five, baby. Was build space rockets. Damn. But it was not to be. You gotta have money space to build space rockets. America and Russia became the prey of politicians. The space race and the arms race are one and the same. That's true. Missiles, rockets, what's the difference? Scientists are always being used. 
Damn, this is like Kojima's rhetoric, man. Please watch over my family. Damn. Hi, Big Boss. How you doing, man? You just came in time as the cutscene was playing. How was your day, man? Hey, what's up, Lone Wolf? How you doing, sir? Oh, shit. Damn. Look at how quickly he puts on... Oh, shit. Is he suspicious already? Major, what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you in my room. Damn. They're about to get it on. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? Damn, Sokolov is already scared. Who are you? Don't play dumb with me. If you think you can fool me, you're sorely mistaken. Maybe Rykov doesn't have a dick, bro. I know the Major better than anyone else. I come here looking for Tatiana, and what should I find? But a greasy freebooter. Holy shit! What the fuck? Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, you better not. Dude, this guy doesn't know the art of CQC. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Holy. Damn, we can fight back right now. We are better than before. She used to take us out in three seconds, but now we are on even ground. Hey, you better watch out, boss. Oh shit. What is this fairy disguise? It's gonna rub off on you. And then you'll lose sight of who you really are. Oh shit. No, that's my mask. Hey, chill, don't shoot. Stay out of this. Woohoo! Hey, what's up, Prito? What's up, uh yeah, Lone Wolf. Big Boss did some good things. Just finished she dinner, now laying down and watching boss. the stream. Hell yeah. What was that? It's what some I'm talking about. Know? Good meal. No, some good ass CQC, entertainment. A basic form of close quarters combat. He and I developed it together. Hey, good to hear you're doing good, Lone Wolf. Yo, congrats. You got a new job offer and interview tomorrow. What kind of job is it? Oh, shit. Are you going to kill him? Of course. But first, I will make him pay for hurting Ivan. Whoa! Hey, chill, bro. Yo, you don't want these hands, bro. If I want. Dude! Oh, man. Just go down, Snake. I, I can't watch any more of this, man. Oh, my God. That's their son, man. I don't... Do you see the resemblance be between both of them? Look at the resemblance. Jesus, man. That dude already is knocked out. Like, stop it. Call the referee. Oh, Ocelot is feeling some type of way about it because he wants to have his rematch against Snake. But Volgan is like... Oh, fuck. Oh my god. I can't, I can't watch anymore, man. Dude, stay down! I've never seen Snake getting beat up so bad like this, bro. Jesus! It's a miracle he doesn't get skull fractures, man. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Oh, man. God.
You gotta admire Big Boss's like fighting spirit. His fighting spirit is like so fucking deep, bro. Like every time he gets beat down, he's trying to like get back up because he he knows how important the mission is. This is why, like, uh, Naked Snake is, like, hands down better than Solid. Like, Solid never have to go through shit like this. You do see the similarities between the boss and Asla. That's what I'm saying, bro. Yo, that is a butt whooping, Sineke. Crazy, man. Like, if my character, if Naked Snake doesn't even remember what his name is, I would totally understand. Kill me! Stop it! <laughs> Who have you been talking to? Holy I shit. Talking oh my god, I think he's beating up Sokolov. You better start talking. Please, stop this! <laughs> Who is Khrushchev's lapdog? How can you do this to him? I know you gave the data to someone. Never to You! <laughs> Holy fuck, I, I think he did, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, man. I guess he's dead. Oh my god. Oh, now he's going to divert his attention to me. This is so horrifying, bro. You never ever experienced tor Are they dragging his body away? Ah oh, shit. No. Entertaining than he was. But first, let's take a look at your body, shall we? Is he gonna take off my mask? What a beautiful body you have. Jeez. Like a man. newborn baby. <laughs> oh my god. But not for long. Well then. Let's get started. It sounds so much like Ocelot. Oh, Jesus. What is your target? Is it the Shagohad? My stamina doesn't, doesn't seem to... Oh, my health or is going Sokolov. down. Jesus. Maybe it's the legacy. Jesus, Answer nothing me. I press... Nothing I press can... You? Who let you in here? Jesus, fuck. You're a tough one. Even you must have your limits. And I am a patient man. Holy shit. Cutscene. I think. Holy fuck. I remember this place. Ew. Get that bag off my head, bro. Here's where the fun really begins. Jesus, man. Come on, dude. Body carries an electric charge of 10 million volts. Let's see how you like this. Holy fuck. 10 million volts? Wow. Now answer me. How much does the CIA know? Oh my god. Not even the Ocelot can watch, man. They're after my legacy, aren't they? I think Ocelot is making sure that he doesn't really kill Snake. Your real target is the Philosopher's Legacy. Ocelot is secretly it? protecting Snake, I think, without giving away his position. <laughs> Jesus, man. Oh, look at how the smoke. Oh, he's clutching the bullet because he wants his rematch against Snake. Yes, yes. Are you serious? Jesus Christ, bro. That's what I want to see. <sighs> Yo, I feel so bad for like so, uh, like Naked Snake, bro. You can you can actually see like at what point does he actually snap? He's not going to talk. And that's how he like started the whole like outer heaven and shit. He's been trained not to break. Trained by me. Holy fuck. Admit it. We're after the location of the legacy. The secret fund established by the three great powers during the two world wars. That's what you're looking for, isn't it? Oh my god. One hundred billion dollars. Divided up. One hundred billion dollars. 
How about a trillion? And you're looking for a record of where all that money is hidden, right? Dude, he's not even giving him an opportunity to speak. No matter. The philosopher's legacy is safely in my possession. In the underground vault of Groznikrat. Why is he telling him that? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, that's a transmitter. What's this? A transmitter. Did Tatiana place Who's it on him? Responsible for this. I am. Oh, she put it on. I planted it on him to keep track of his movements. I think she's covering for Tatiana, man. Why? Whoa, you see how so he caught it? Could ambush him. That was pretty sick. If they knew where he was gonna be, they wouldn't have gotten themselves slaughtered. It pains me to do this, boss, but under the circumstances... Uh, uh... I'm afraid I must ask you to show me some proof that you and he were not in collusion. You don't trust me, is that it? Not that. Yo, Shif. But he is your apprentice. What do you want me to do? Let's see. Cut out his eyes. I don't like those blue eyes of his. There's nothing more important to a soldier than his eyes. You made him a soldier, and now you will unmake him. Vulcan is such a sadist, bro. for a touching display. He's all yours. Do it. Oh shit. Ruin him just as he did the cobras. Oof. Oh my god. Look at Ocelot trying to get some ass, bro. Stop! What is it, Tanya? He suffered enough. Well, well. Why are you protecting him? That smell. Tatiana, you're the spy. What are you talking about? You realize Ocelot is actually distracting like Volgan, right? He knew it all along, but he didn't- I know that smell. He didn't brought it up until now. Stop it! Taking a fancy tour, eh, Ocelot? No. I have no interest in this woman. I want to test her. Yo. Ocelot already knows she's a spy from like two weeks ago, man. But now she's he's I'll doing this. this. He's doing this to like, like divert the attention away from Snake. Yeah, this is the guy with the bullet, and Snake is gonna help. <laughs> Holy shit. There, satisfied now. Oh my god. Well, that was refreshing. Come, we're going to my room. I think he shoves the transmitter in his so back. Survive the colonel's torture, eh? Uh, 
Watching this has made me realize something. <laughs> it's really not that bad. It's the ultimate form of expression. <laughs> Oh, shit. You got lucky this time, Tatiana. I think Tatiana is like acting too, man. Holy shit. Oh, shit. I think she shoots something also inside of him. 144.75. It's the same number on the, 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 the schematics on the Shagohod. See, I told you she was acting, man. I've prepared an escape route for us. Go out and head west. Pass underneath the connecting passageway and go north. You'll find an open manhole there. You're quiet. Oh shit. Go through the manhole down into the sewers. The door at the north end of the sewers is unlocked. You can use it to get outside the fortress. I've got your equipment. We'll meet up later. Oh my god. This is why he's called Naked Snake, because we don't have any equipment. But I can't get too close to your cell. You'll have to figure a way out of there yourself. Ah, oh, shit. I'll be in touch. Damn, they checking her out. Poor snake, bro. Did you know, like, Ocelot actually knew, like, uh, Eva was, like, the spy the whole time, but he never called it out until this point? Like, to the point that, like, I think, like... Oh, shit. Bullet has been lodging the body. Yo, alright, I'm gonna dig this out. Do I have the... Oh, I don't have the knife. Shit. Serum... Transmitter. Small transmitter found buried and wound. Jesus. I need something to dig this out. A fork. Okay, okay. I, I can I, I guess I can use the fork. Okay, that transmitter was getting annoying. So as I was saying, right? Like, Ocelot knew Eva was a spy the whole time because remember when Volgan killed, uh, Granin? And, you know, like, um, Ocelot went to, like, Tatiana and he said, nice shoes. Like, he knew, like, she gave the shoes to, uh, Granin because they found a transmitter, right? Inside Granin's shoes. And, like, Ocelot knew that Eva was the one. I think, like, Ocelot was trying to save Snake. Because he, you know, the boss has, was forced to cut out his eyes, right? And he, he wanted to stop the boss from doing that. So he kind of caused a diversion. And Tatiana also played a part where she starts crying, but actually she's just trying to like distract Volgan, man. Ooh, fake death pill. Tiny. Oh, it's a bat. Was it a rat? Okay, I need to kill the rat. Oh, wait, did I just automatically consume the rat? Okay, uh... Okay, I, I think I should save. So, I'm gonna break out of this prison. Ready to save, Snake? Yeah, sure. Hmm... 
save. Oh, should I throw out the food? Maybe this guy will get sick. Because I think I know the codec to escape this place. But I need to get past the soldier. Snake? <sighs> Snake? My mouth hurts when I talk. Did you get cut up? It feels like someone shoved me under a lawnmower. Do me a favor. Tell me a story to take my mind off the pain. Snake, have you ever heard of Renfield? Is that a movie? It's the name of a character. Renfield. He's locked up in a cell waiting for the master to return, eating the spiders that crawl along Renfield. the Renfield. Is that Dracula? Uh, change the channel. He waits and waits for ages. Finally, just as he's beginning to forget whether he's human or not, the master comes for him, saying, The time has come. Renfield is overjoyed. Wait, isn't this? The master spreads his huge Yeah, that's Dracula, the man. Wind fills the cell. Come on. I don't want to hear this. And there, standing before Renfield in human form was... Dracula. Exactly! If you stay there too long, your old buddy Dracula is going to come and get you too. Oh so you shit. better start thinking of a way out of there. <sighs> okay. You better not leave me without someone to talk to. Please, Snake, think. There's got to be a way out of there. I'll try. Okay. Just let me know if you start having nightmares about Dracula. Dracula. I, I recently watched a Dracula movie. I think it was like Dracula was played by like Gary Oldman. The same guy who played as Commissioner Gordon in the Batman movies. That guy's a really good actor, man. Um... Okay, let me see. Take a look at the food. Whoa, vampire bat tastes unknown. I don't know if I should eat this. This guy's like really sleepy. Okay, I think I can break out of here, but... Should I try it right now? One four four point seven five, right? Seven five. Okay, but if I open this right now, I don't know if like I have enough time to escape. I'm gonna just try. Okay, someone's calling me. Who the fuck is calling me? Did you manage to escape? Yeah, I'm out. Be careful. In your present state, you're practically naked. You don't have a single decent weapon and you'll never survive in a battle. Take some time and pull yourself together. Eva says she's recovered your equipment, so rendezvous with her as soon as possible to get your gear back. Use the escape route Eva set up for you. Go down into the sewers through the manhole. Okay, the I know how to get there. Section of Grozny Grid. Start out by exiting the holding cells and heading northwest. Uh oh, I don't know if the guy is coming back or not. Huh? Huh? Oh shit. A prisoner's escape. Ah shit. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's voice is like, he's like, huh? Damn. Shit. Bro. Okay, that was my, my, that was my bad. I totally know how to escape, bro. I gotta like choke this guy out. The reason why I want to choke this guy out is because I want to find more supplies on him. And then I'm going to like, you know, do my thing. Damn, I don't know how to sneak past like so many people though. Yo, F, yo, I'm still warming up. This is like legit, like the first like uh, action that I can do in this game. Like so far when I first like logged in the game, I was playing as Rykov and I wasn't like doing anything. Okay. Okay, uh, let me see. Cure. Let me dig this up. Fix 
fake death hill, okay. I wonder, oh, the fake death hill was given to me by maybe Ocelot or like the boss. Okay, so the thing is like in my inventory, right? How do I get rid of the transmitter? Damn. Okay, once this guy turns around, I will go and like try to choke him out. 144.75, right? Is he sick? Okay, wait, maybe not, not yet, not yet. Okay. I don't know if he can hear though. Uh, 144.75. By the way, the way I got this code was during a cutscene earlier with Sokolov, I saw the code on top of the schematics. And also, like, boss will, like, kind of give you a clue in during one of the cutscenes. Is he gonna hear? Oh shit. Uh Styptic ointment full. Okay. He's gonna wake up pretty soon. We better just escape. We better just escape. I don't I don't have time to actually look around. Because like I wanted to grab him, but I couldn't grab him. I guess this is not a CQC like kind of thing. Okay, this is very difficult. I don't know how to get past these guys, man. Holy shit. Okay, I just can't go because that guy is over there. Oh shit! I got caught, I got caught. Damn! <sighs> and also, technically, since I was out there, I should have saved. So... Damn it, man. I mean, at least it gives me a chance to replay that part where I can choke out that guy. But I didn't really get a chance to choke him out either. Like, I, I just hit him once, hit him twice, and then he got knocked out. I couldn't do CQC with the fork. I thought you could use the fork as a weapon. Hey, good morning, Helix. Hello, Oats. Why was Snake half naked? That's because we got caught, we got tortured, and we lost an eye. You guys missed out a cutscene that was very important. It was a cutscene that basically explains how Big Boss lost his eye. I'm gonna I'm like summarize for you in a little bit, but... So basically, you know, like, the boss was about to cut out Snake's eyes because Vogan asked the boss, like, to, um... Volgan asked the boss to do it, to prove her loyalty. Okay, I have to, I have the Kodak to get out of here, but I don't really know how to like defeat this guy. I wonder if you can just grab him. Okay, I'm gonna wait till he comes here to turn around and then I'll go. Because he's Naked Snake. Yo, that's how he got his name, bro. Naked Snake. 
Oh, you're enjoying some coffee. Nice. Do you drink coffee with sugar, Helix? Because the sugar will make you crash. Like, I used to drink coffee with milk and sugar, right? But I, I found out that milk actually made my skin bad. And also sugar causes my... Causes me to have a sugar crash. Oh, no sugar. Got you, man. Pure black coffee just like my soul. Can you fucking stop calling me? Okay, he's knocked out. I better double check to see if there's any items. No items? Okay, that's cool. Anything on him? Oh no, he might wake up. Oh, smoke grenade. And what else? Uh, noodles. Oh, noodles. Okay, wait. Anything in the bathroom? No? Okay, out of here, out of here. Okay, we better make sure we save this time. Okay, I got noodles. That was, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay, um... I'm gonna see. Do you want to save? Yes. Okay. European Extreme. Yes. I better have no fucking alerts, bro. Uh oh. Okay, no time for that. Oh shit! <laughs> shit! <laughs> okay, dude, 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 dude. Chill, chill, chill. Wait, Snake, you're wearing suspenders. Take them off and use it to choke the guards. That's true. But if he use if he uses suspenders, what is what is he gonna use to hold up his shorts though? You know what I mean? It's like, if he uses that, he can't hold up his pants and he's gonna be running around even extra naked. Alright. Damn. This part is like so tricky to get, get through. I mean, I guess I can like go prone on the ground and just try crawling. That will make me like less likely to be seen. Thank God I see, bro. Okay, all we gotta do is just sit over here and chill. This guy's gonna start walking, but... Wait, what? Who saw me? Are you serious? Well, Snake is already used to being naked, so small sacrifices, maybe. I should be crawling, you know, I should be crawling. If I crawl, maybe I have less opportunity to be discovered. Damn, I want to just get out of here quick, you know? This time we are like going throughout the entire like uh, Grozny Grad without any gear. So I can't use tranquilizers, I have no camouflage. This part is almost impossible to sneak out of, you know? You gotta be extra, extra patient. I'm trying to like brute force it without having to wait the whole time for the soldiers to like, you know, not be in position. Okay, maybe I should just wait. Oh, I'm negative 10 if I'm if I'm running around. No wonder they could see me so easy. If I'm crouched, you know, I have way better chance. I'm so hungry. See, at least I'm 20% camouflage if I'm on the ground. 
Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry guys, this part this part I guess I just gotta get past this part. It's so difficult. No camouflage. How am I supposed to get out of here? I don't recall them being any like 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 a uh, crawl space or anything that you can crawl out of this you know this building. Remember, it was, this is Metal Gear Solid. Slow, smooth, smooth equals fast. Yo, you right, you right. Damn, I can't even do CQC because like the you know the the the, the fork that I'm using is not like good. All right, you know what? I'll wait. I'll wait until they are unawares. Right? Because the amount of times that I'm reloading, I could have been waiting. Alright, let's just wait till this guy gets into position. Damn, Snake looks really beat up. I think he really turns his head to the... Ah, he does turn his head to the left. And then he looks right. Damn. Yeah, he literally just stands there. Okay, I gotta wait until one of them turns around. Oh, how did he see me? Oh. Fuck. Oh my god. Dude. I think he turns his head eventually and then like he can see me. And maybe because I'm also moving, that's why. So, damn. I get. I guess when I get to a certain point, I should start crawling. And also, you're half naked, so it's easier to spot. You're right. You're right. Yo, my camo index is really negative five. It's not even zero. It's like negative five. <sighs> How many guards are there? There are about four. There's like uh, three in my immediate area and the next area I'm going to go to, there's one. But basically, if I can get past all of them, I'm pretty like safe. So there are like three guards here, right? This guy walks all the way over there. These two guys are on like... Oh my god, technically I could be running like behind all of them. They might hear footsteps though, that's why I'm like a bit afraid. Technically there's a way, I could be running behind these two guys. Okay, let's try that maybe. Okay, when this guy walks the other way, those two guys turn the other way. See, maybe I was going to the wrong direction the whole time, you know? You might hear footsteps. Oh my god, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay, I, I, I gotta really think. Uh, map wise, how am I supposed to get out of here? Um, okay, so I'm, I'm actually thinking of going into the, man, the, like the underground pipe just so I can get to the next area and save, right? Yes. 
And there's some rats down below here which I can like use for food. See? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to go to the next area in terms of the pipes and then I'm gonna save. That way, you know, like if I get caught again, it's it's not too bad. Poor minions, the lack of labor laws means no guaranteed lunch breaks. Yo, the reason why they are so hungry was because I blew up their provisions uh, uh, room. I blew up their provisions room, that's why they can't eat anything. That's why I think like they are, um, they're performing on a subpar level. That means like if you don't like blow up their provisions room and they are fully fed, uh, they'll be more on alert and like I think they take harder to knock out if you are trying to do some CQC on them. Snake. Alright, I'm gonna skip the I'm gonna skip the movie lesson. But now I'm gonna head back. So I'm kind of out in the open. I'm I think I'm gonna try to like sneak to where Eva like like wanted me to sneak, right? But, um, I gotta find some way out of here first. Forest. Down. Damn, that rat is keeping me alive. Oh. Okay, should I just run here? Oh shit, he's literally looking here. He's turning around. Okay, so there is a crawl space uh going to the other side. And also there is another crawl space going here. Damn. But then the place I gotta go is right there. You kind of feel sorry for them, they're hungry, well, who asked them to be bad guys, you know? Okay, I might get caught again, bro. Uh, let me let me just save, so that like, at least like, if I fail, I can come back here. Saving the game, Snake? Yeah. Prito, thank you so much for the gift sub to Cherry, I appreciate that, man. That is 66 gift subs to the channel, bro, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you so much for your generosity. And Cherry, welcome to the Mongol Oats army and enjoy your sub badge and your sub emotes. You couldn't have given it to a better person, Pareto. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Hot? What? How the fuck he see me? Down. I guess I gotta go through that that door. I gotta I gotta like take the long track around. Uh, it's gonna be so hard to get out of here. Yo, enjoy them emotes, Cherry. Ah, uh, sorry guys, this is so hard. I never done it without the camouflage. I feel like that moment right now, like when Tony Stark is schooling Peter Parker, like if if you're nothing without the suit, you don't deserve the suit, that kind of thing. Alright, I gotta I gotta treat this game with more respect, man. I can't keep trying to brute force this this part. Because I, I do know the, the fortress, right? I kind of know where the soldiers are, but I'm just trying to like test my luck just by running across and hoping I not get caught. Down. I need like some kind of knife or something, you know. I don't know why you can't take like the the knife from the soldiers. Okay, so there's a soldier over here guarding that door, right? And once he turns around, I will go through this door. Grozny Gred, Northeast. Bro, Northeast, bro. 
Okay, I'm gonna make a save right here and... They are so hungry, they are hyper vigilant for possibility of prey. They are like a T-Rex. Yo, that's true, man. If you're hungry, your senses actually are more sharper. I kind of realized that when I was like fasting to get my body fat down, because I was trying to get abs at the time, I was hyper aware of like even the slightest sounds. Maybe that's what it is, man. Maybe they're like extra, extra... Fuck, there's a soldier here. Okay. Oh shit, I think someone almost- What?! He sees me! This is so difficult, man! Holy fuck. I never experienced like a stealth on like this level, man. This is insane. Sorry guys, I think they're doing construction like really far away. Damn, I, I, dude, I'm, I'm, this is really testing my limits of a stealth, as a stealth player, man, because like, I, I don't know how to sneak past them, like, in my condition. I mean, I can crawl on the ground, but I don't know if that's enough. Shit. <sighs> Is there like another crawl space? Um Okay, so how are we gonna get all the way left? Um, man, I wish I got the Reich of this guys right now, you know? Okay, so we still got to sneak towards the left side. Oh my god, I totally forgot. They got another soldier over there. I gotta wait for the exact right moment to get out of here, you know? Uh oh. Oh shit. Okay, it's do or die. I think I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. It, this this area here is impossible to stealth through, man. Holy fuck. <sighs> I think I'm gonna go back to the previous room. That that felt much easier compared to right now. Oh my god. I wonder if I roll on them, like if I do a rolling thing on them, will they get knocked out quicker? I kind of have to test it out. I don't know if they get like knocked out quicker, man. Okay, so this is going to be a test, but if I fail this, I got to kind of restart it. Oh, I think they got an item over there. Oh, I totally can slam this guy to the ground. Even if I don't have my CQC item, I haven't slammed people on the ground for a while. Huh? 
Oh shit, why can I not slam him? <laughs> Damn. Bro. This is whack. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just gonna double check. Can you do CQC without a weapon? Can you do CQC without weapon? MGS3. I feel like you can't even do CQC without weapons. Uh... Okay. I can't even grab him. As is with with my with my thing, I can't even grab him. Yeah, you need like I think you need a knife or something at least to do CQC. Damn. Because like if you grab them, you can't base you can't even like um Kojima. I think you can like slam them to the ground, but then like, I don't know. Yo, what's up uh, AI Thor? What's up, dude? What's with all the weird numbers behind your name? <laughs> 31416. Wait, what the fuck? Why do I still have these like attached to my body, bro? Fake death pill. Okay. Oh, that's the pi number. Are you like a scientist or something? Oh, maybe I should distract this guy. Get this guy to come out and then like, you know. I think I'm going to try to roll on this guy and like try to attack him. Oh, you're Pibu. Damn, why did you change your name? Now I don't recognize you, man. Okay, I'm gonna experiment just running and rolling at him. Oh, he knocks out instantly. Oh, we got a box. Okay, does he have any items on him? Grenade. And what else? Bandages. We got the box, bro. Oh, I didn't know you can just roll on them to get knocked out. Oh, look at that. That's because they are so hungry. They get knocked out so easily. I remember that. That was definitely a mechanic, but they don't really like tell you like to your face like, you know, that's a possibility. Oh my god, that's dope as fuck. Okay, wait, is there any items underneath? Okay, no items. Okay, I'm solid, I'm solid. Yo! And we get to be a box. Meth number hurts your brain, me too. I was really bad with meth. I was the only one in my entire school to like skip meth examination. Okay, I gotta save, I gotta save. But this is like so awesome because because you can like you can take out you can take out all the guards like this. It's so easy. I didn't know that. Because I had the foresight of destroying their provisions room, bro. All I gotta do is roll on them. Boom, they get knocked out. Just like that. Damn. It's like my dividends for like my all my earlier sneaking paid off. Okay. Are there any items here? Damn, I want to I want to get past this guy quick. I think they probably can hear footsteps. Ooh. See, just like that, he gets knocked out. 
Ooh, SAA bullet. Oh, we get bullets. Okay, smoke grenade. Okay. So I get bullets for this. But... Should I knock out that other soldier? Oh shit. Okay. Ooh, rations? Okay, I'll take that. Okay, bandages. Okay, uh I remember there were items here, but grenade smoke full. Oh shit, that soldier woke up. Oh my god. Okay, they're going to alert mode. Holy shit. If a half grown full man lunge at you, you'll be knocked out too. Yo, that's right. You're right, you're right. Okay, we gotta wait. So knocking them out is not like very advisable because if they do wake up and they will wake up very quickly, we will go into alert phase. Okay, so here's the thing. Um... I'm trying to take a look at the map just to see what I can do. So, we are here, we are at the bottom right now, but all we gotta do is go go towards the, um... Damn. It would actually make my life so much easier if I can cut through the middle. Oh my god. Box screen mode activated. Yo, I'ma just chill. I'ma just chill. You can ca kind of see Snake's face if you like pan the camera down, I think. We just gotta wait for a minute. Yo, we can actually wait till these rations go bad and then we can probably like use them as like items to like make this soldier sick. Sick! Okay, 60 seconds. I've been streaming for 1 hour 24 minutes, yes. Minus I think at least 10 minutes for the pre-stream loading thing. 50 seconds. I got greedy, you know. Actually, I could have just bypassed all of them. But I wanted like items, but it, it's kind of good I guess because I got like SAA bullets. Alright, 20 seconds. I might just literally like fail the, like once I get out of here, but you know. This game looks so different to my PS2 version. Yeah, which, that's because this is the HD trilogy on PlayStation 3. So they definitely bumped up the graphics a little bit, but the game is essentially the same. Five, four, three. 
Ok. I wonder if going on the box makes you like walk over like metal surfaces quieter. Oh shit. Yeah, there's a soldier who appears here. Did someone hear something? Disinfect bandages. Okay, he's turning around. Oh no, he's walking here. Oh, he saw me. What? Why? I thought I thought he was alerted by that sound. Fuck. Okay, that that could be because he heard my uh he heard my footsteps. <sighs> okay, this is difficult. Okay, so I think I got a game plan. I know who to knock out and I I think I'm going up north before I turn left again. This area is really difficult because like they can hear your footsteps and you go to walk extra extra slow. Damn. Da, 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 da. Ba, da, da. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, 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 da. Okay, I still gotta knock out this guy because he got SAA bullets. Grozny Grad. So anyway, just a disclaimer guys, I might fail a couple times in this section, but I'ma keep trying though. Shake that rust off my dude, yo, I got I got some rust. And also, I don't have any equipment because I got caught, I just ex escaped the torture room. Okay, he's gonna get knocked out because he's hungry as fuck. Give me that SAA bullet, okay, cool. Okay, he might have something on him. Oh, more SAE bullet. Beautiful. Okay, smoke grenade. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save right now. <laughs> Only a couple times, man. Only a couple times. Ain't nothing but a thing. I. This is easy, bro. I'm professional. I see Snake is one eye short, such a good cutscene. That was not a good cutscene for my boy. He just lost his eye and you're gonna say he's, that's a good cutscene? Where's your heart, Fox? Tweedo, thank you for gifting Desert Fox a gift sub, man. Professional, Helix. Yo, Desert Fox, enjoy your sub, your sub badge, your sub emote. Welcome back to the Mongolian army and make sure you say thank you to Purito, man. Thanks, Purito. Very generous of you. Appreciate that, sir. What the fuck? Someone saw me? Where?
Oh, fuck. Wait, he's so- What the fuck? I just got here! Oh my god, it's so difficult! Oh. <sighs> okay, man. I wish you can cause like an explosion somewhere and then all the soldiers go check it out and then I can like run past everything. Sorry guys. I'm almost there, I'm almost there, I swear to god. I'm like just one map away from the exit point. It, this is this isn't as difficult as the map I'm gonna to go to next. I should have been patient, I should have waited till he like pops by and then I I run for it. Or better yet, just hide, you know? European Extreme. You see, he instantly sees you no matter what. Ain't nobody here, man. Bro, <laughs> that was too close. Holy shit. That's all patience, bro. Like, no way you can get past this game without having some patience. Gotta have a little patience. Remember that song by Guns N' Roses, Patience? Damn. That's not one of my favorite Roses songs, but I still like it. Okay, I gotta save. So this is the final map that I gotta traverse to get out of here. You want to save? But it's not over yet though, because like eventually when you get out of this place, you gotta go through forests, you gotta go through everything naked. Totally naked. Damn. I don't know what to do, guys. Honestly. This area, you know, I barely could sneak around here with my, my equipment, right? Now I don't have any equipment. I don't know how to do this. So I might be failing a couple of times. Okay, so here's the map, right? I got to sneak all the way from the bottom here all the way to the top. You see that X on the map? Right? So along the way, there are going to be searchlights. There are going to be lots of enemy soldiers. They're going to be like... um. It's not easy and and like the only way I can knock out people is by rolling on them because they are already starving so if I do that it knocks them out but only temporarily. That means if they wake up they're going to assume that an enemy attacked them and they're going to call in reinforcement. You should unscrew a light bulb and notify them of the problem. The guards will be there for hours. It's foolproof. But how are you going to notify them without getting discovered? It's impossible, bro. Okay, I'm just gonna chill here and just like try and like figure figure out like what I can do, you know? See that searchlight? That's not all, man. There's like dogs, there's like all kinds of shit. I wonder if you can shoot the searchlight. I don't think it's possible. Should I try it? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google. I'm gonna Google, man. Uh, yo, what's up, pickles and gravy? You had a frustrating day at the poker tables. Get I, glad I can unwind here with the oats, fam. Yo, how much did you lose, though, Fox? That's the mo most important question. Too bad you can't drive that car. I don't have the keys. Can you shoot? Search lights. Grozny Grad. Um. Let's see. 
I don't think you can, right? Damn. It doesn't say, like, uh, if you can shoot the, the searchlights. You rather not say, but it was enough. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. I feel your pain. See, I, I, see, I think, like, two soldiers convene in, in over there. Oh my god, even this is a guard like walking up and down over here. It's pretty difficult. Okay, the guards are moving. Please, oh please, oh please, oh please. Wait, what? Oh, the dog hurt me. Oh my god. That's because the dog can hear, um... Because the dog can hear, uh, the, the metal. <sighs> Poker can be a cruel mistress. I hear you, bro. Holy shit. But that was, I think I saw a way out of that place, man. I think the, the dog gave away my position. But it's like such a fine window to sneak past all of them, like run past all of them. Because like, I think the longer you drag out the stealth sequence, the more chances that there is for you to get discovered. Oh my god. Uh. It's like a little bit of a waiting game, but it's also a little bit of a patience game. I wonder if you can knock out the, the dogs by rolling on them. But they will probably like let out a yelp. Which wouldn't be good. Okay, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting till this guy turns around. Oh my god. Oh, you know what? I could have used the food. I could throw the food as a distraction. So that if there's food over there, all of them will be rushing to one spot. Even the dog, I think. I think a soldier will appear here. Yep, there he is. This guy can definitely see you. You gotta wait till he starts moving. Okay, that's our cue to start moving. Okay, this part here, I'm a little stuck. Okay, uh, I can throw the bat, I guess. Kobe! Oh no, shit. Oh, he, he smells me no matter what! Oh my god. Throw the food and they rush for it. Are the guards or pigeons? 
they're, they're really hungry because I, I broke their provisions. Okay, this, this could be like, this could be handled in like a few ways, right? I think like that dog is a problem. So we got to put that dog to sleep. But also, I, that means I got to, I think like feeding the dog is probably better than feeding the guys. Hmm. Gaming royalty, my daughter said she wanted a Cinderella themed birthday party, so I invited all her friends over and made them clean the house. <laughs> Yo, that's a good joke. Is that a dad joke? A Cinderella themed party. The lack of camo inc certainly increases the difficulty, like crazy, man. And also the dog can smell you. So that's a problem. I don't know how to handle the dog though, like... If I throw the food, the, the soldiers will also get really excited. So <sighs> yeah man, it's like waiting for the perfect time. Um... I guess I can roll on top of the dog and knock the dog out. But I I think the dog's yelp will like wake up, the, uh, like they will alert the guards. The dog will smell me no matter what, even if I crawl in front of it. The best way to put the dog to sleep is to feed it and then when it goes to sleep, that's when you like freaking, you know. This is very, very difficult. There's only like one opening to get out of here. Oh, is the dog actually walking? Oh, the dog is walking. Oh, I see. The dog actually walks towards the back. Hey, Dragonfly, thank you so much for the gift sub to Gaming Royalty. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Gaming Royalty, enjoy your sub badge, your sub emotes. And I hope you say a big thank you to Dragonfly. Thank you so much, Dragonfly. Oh, fuck. Here's my Q. Here's my Q. I guess it's probably possible to walk around the... Okay, I don't, I don't know how to get past them. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, is he going to sleep again? Oh, he's not sleeping. Oh, I can't freely move. Because if I move, the guy in front will see the box moving. You see there's a guy in front? It's just a box. The joke was funny, it was worth it. Yo, thank you Dragonfly. Yeah, Gaming Royalty did a really good joke. He did a funny. Are you serious? I hope he doesn't discover the box. I guess the solution is actually the box. Holy fuck, he's walking right into the box. Uh, I think I'm gonna get discovered. Oh, he's gonna turn around. Oh, please, please, please don't walk into the box. I can't move. If I move, this guy is gonna see. Ah, uh, no.
Oh my god. Yeah, this is a discovered right here. <laughs> kinda, kinda. Yo! Oh, it's like watching a car crash in slow mo. <laughs> Yo, chill. Chill, 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 chill. Damn, but that. Okay, so the thing that we discovered that works is the box works. As long as you're not in their immediate path, they will look at the box and they'll just think, ah, oh, it's just a box. Right? Damn. Thank you again, Dragonfly and Purito, for the gift subs. I really appreciate y'all. Okay, so. I gotta think, like, where's the best place for me to hide in the box then? The problem is the dog, bro. If I can take out the dog, that would be so beautiful. Oh, you know what? I could potentially take out the dog as long as I throw some food. He's gonna go to sleep and then, you know. So I, all I gotta do is get closer with the box, right? I mean, since the box works, right? Like, I, I might as well be running around the box. But okay, I can't run right now because that guy's looking in, like, right here. Dude, this box, I just found it, like, in the same spot where they kept it. Alright, so same strat as before. Oh, fuck. That guy actually makes a full round. What the fuck? I gotta be aware of that guy's patrol movements, too, man. So at what point does the dog wake up? Shit. Okay, I'm watching the guy over there. Oh my god. Okay, the dog wakes up. The dog walks towards the back. Okay, so the best place to hide is maybe near the traffic cone. Maybe near the traffic cone is the best place to like station be stationary. Okay, I'm going to throw the vampire bat at the dog. Okay, it's go time, it's go time, it's go time. Okay, this is a good place to hide, I hope. Um... Okay, the dog is gonna eat it, hopefully. Once he goes back, and then once the dog is asleep, I should be fine. Oh. Oh, he sees the food, okay. See, once he goes to sleep, I'm kind of home free. Oh man, he's eating it up, all up. Okay, so he's gonna come back here to sleep. And I think he's permanently gonna be asleep, so I don't think it's possible to wake him up. So now there's like two soldiers that can kinda see me. So I'm just gonna wait here. Gonna wait here until the they shift their rotations. So as usual, this guy's walking here, that guy's walking there. 
Damn, that dog is like really deep in sleep, man. Okay, so they're walking to meet in the middle. It'll be so fucked up if that soldier over there actually walks here. This is actually his patrol route. I'll be so, so sad. Because I work so hard. I think he's gonna make a, a big round. All we gotta do is tail behind him, I guess. Oh, he switches positions with that guy. Man, everything in my body is telling me to run right now, man. But like, I gotta observe them a little further. I'm basically waiting like like until they reset their entire patrol route. Hopefully the dog can remain asleep for much longer. Oh fuck, he's walking here. Oh no, is he gonna walk in the path of my box? Oh no. Okay, he's walking towards the traffic cone. Oh no, he's walking behind the traffic cone. Oh, I'm busted. Huh? I'm busted. Evie, if... Oh my god! Uh... <laughs> Why it's gotta be so hard, man? Ah, I tried. Uh, I didn't know that was gonna be his patrol route, bro. Poor old yo. I'm fine. I I I just gotta figure out that thing, right? Like just like damn. Just one time, you know. But it's all good. It's all good. I'm still having fun. Yeah, we got this, we got this. It's just this one section. This is like the ultimate stealth section. Like getting past this without getting seen. Uh, European extreme, bro. Okay, I'm gonna just chill here. Boxcon is both a blessing and a curse. <laughs> blessing and a curse. It is a blessing, bro. I can't say it's a curse because it has helped me so much. It's just that I didn't know that guy's patrol route, you know? Right, we just gotta wait here. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Oh, I forgot to eat my medication. Okay, okay, okay. Move it, move it. I don't got all day. Alright, so this, we are gonna use the same strat, basically. Okay, the moment the you know this guy turns to the other side, we'll run. But this time we'll station myself in a better place. Okay, once he turns uh, turns, then we'll move. Okay, 
Okay, the the dog is sleeping. Okay, the bat. Okay, the dog is going to eat the, 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 the ration. And we should be kind of home free. So he's going to eat it. He's going to fall asleep. <sighs> okay, nice. He's going to come back here and sleep. Okay. Yeah, I can't move because the, the soldiers, like, they are looking this direction right now. But yeah, man, that dog is the key to everything. Man, I feel like so fucking naked, like, in the middle out here. Like, even though I don't think that the guard is going to walk this direction, I feel so scared. My heart is pumping so fast right now, bro. I might still fuck up, so, you know, just a disclaimer right now. But it's pretty cool to know that they don't actually... Oh, fuck. It's pretty cool to know that they don't really 100% like if they see a box they get suspicious. You gotta be like in their way. Oh man, don't tell me he's gonna walk in my way. Please no. Okay, just position myself in a better place. Okay. This is such a tightly guarded area. Oh my god. I could have bumped into him. Real shit. Oh god. Now there's another guard coming from the other side. So I got to factor him too. But I know this guard over there. He's going to go over there. Okay, it's a good thing to probably observe this guy and see like how he moves. Man, that dog is really sleeping, bro. Okay, he walks over here in this line. Okay, that guy is probably going to make a left. I can't move just yet. There's too many eyes. This guy might turn around right now. Oh, he does turn around. Okay, if he looks here, I can't move. If he looks the other direction... I'm watching every time he turns his head. Every time he turns his head, I know his peripheral might catch me. Oh my god, home free. Oh shit.
Holy fuck. Based on how his he turns his head, bro, you gotta be careful. Oh my god. I'm home free. Okay, wait. Oh my god, I'm home free! Oh shit! Oh my god, I'm home free! Holy shit! Holy shit, I did it! Oh! They see me waiting, they hate in, patrolling and trying to catch me spying dirty, trying to catch me spying dirty, trying to catch me spying dirty, trying to catch me playing Metal Gear Solid on European X Extreme. Yo, thank you, Fox. Woohoo! Oh my god, this is where it gets even more serious, man. We are not out of the we are not out of the out of hell. In the sewers, they're gonna be even more yeah, dogs. It's gonna get harder, bro. I'm coming to meet you now. The door at the north end is open, right? Uh, snake. Let me <sighs> There's a problem. a problem. Yeah. What is it this time? The colonel found out you escaped. Of course, bro. I figured as much. Yeah, and now all of Grozny Grad is on red alert. Just my luck. But once I'm out of the fortress... You can't get out. I can't. When the fortress went on red alert, they sealed off the sewers. Ah, oh, shit. Got to be kidding me. I'm serious. And that means the escape route. Ah, oh, Eva, you stupid off. bitch. Right. Somebody clipped that. <laughs> Yo, Down you're right, Cherry. Uh huh. They'll be there any minute now. You've got to get out quick. But isn't the exit sealed off? You should be able to get out by heading straight north. Book it, Snake. If they find you, you're dead. Holy shit. Okay, I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save. Oh my god, this was so difficult, bro. You going to save? Of course I'm gonna save. Holy shit. It's gonna get really hard because I remember there were dogs over here. I mean, I'm, I could find some food to put them to sleep, but... Good luck. Okay. I gotta make sure I eat too, man. Okay, life med. Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, there's another item over here. Life med. I might have used up like all my life med. Oh, I got bullets, but I don't want to kill dogs, bro. I want to go non-lethal. Unless like dogs are considered like animals, I guess. Ooh, rations. Okay, the rations I could use for the dogs. Ooh, there's a hole here, but... Should I crawl through it? I don't exactly know where this one leads. Isn't this where I came from? Oh, I think it's it's just a it's just a it's it's just a dead end. <sighs> there might be guards here though, so I better be careful. I can hear like little footsteps. Like I think the dogs are walking around. <gasps> oh, wait, there's a frog. I could eat the frog. It's a tree frog. Can I eat it one more time? It doesn't seem to have died, but I think I ate it somehow. Okay, nice. So my, my stamina is full. I can't see shit. It's like so dark.
think that's a little too high for me to climb. What's that? Life mad. Oh, I need that. Okay, how can I climb this thing? No, I can't. Okay, I gotta go to the other side and remember to come back here. Okay, there's a rat. I need to kill that rat. There might be a dog, bro. Okay, uh, let me see. I got one ration, I guess. Uh oh, the dog might be behind the, 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 the thing. Oh, he can see me. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's barking. Okay, I think if he doesn't see me, he'll stop barking. Okay, I want to get that live mat on the other side, but how do I do that? Oh. Oh shit! Is it down? Oh shit! I rolled on it. I, I didn't- I hope I didn't kill it. I just rolled on it. Oh shit, there's another dog. SAA bullet full. Holy crap. Okay, life mad. Okay, life mad, bro. Uh oh. Holy crap. I wonder if I move around in a, in a box, will they get like fuck? Will they get like? Okay, I can't. I can't go through in a box. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, he is here, he's here. Oh, I wanted to roll! Okay, that, that knocks him out, it doesn't injure him. Shit. Is it the same dog that woke up? Okay, I got two live men. Um, maybe this is the way? Oh shit. Oh shit. No! Oh my god, okay. That should knock them out. Why would a tree frog be in a sewer? I think it's possible for one to be in a- Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, is there items here? Oh, there- I can't go through. Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Whoa! Oh wait, I think the forest later there'll be soldiers waiting for me. The spats not soldiers are gonna be waiting for me. Holy shit! Yo! Book it, bro! Holy shit! Damn, this is incredible, man. Yo! Yo, 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 just do it, just jump! Whoa. I don't even know how he's running with the bullet into his... Bro, this is insane, man. 
Oh, he's slipping, bro. Uh oh. I've been waiting I've for been this waiting morning. For this. <laughs> yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. Nobody interfere. Yeah, he's gonna like shoot me with his lucky bullet, I guess. Oh my god. This is where it ends. Hell no, bro. Oh, I think Snake I think Snake is passing out. Snake! I think the reason why Snake fell was because he felt like kinda weak. Oh my god. If that wasn't the greatest scene in video game history, I don't know what is, bro. Oh, I remember. This is where we get to fight the sorrow, right? And depending on how many people you kill... Bam! Sayonara, motherfucker. <sighs> oh man, we're gonna be fighting the Sorrow. And the Sorrow is gonna conjure up all the people we kill. And I don't think there's anyone. I think. I, I don't know if they'll factor in like food you kill though. Damn, that's crazy. See? The Sorrow fight. So if you went through this entire game killing people, you will see the ghost of every single people you kill appear here. Every single ghost. Yo, can I save? Alright, let me adjust my AC. It's getting a little cold, man. Yes. Sad. Sad. So sad. So sad. Oh, here's a quick tidbit. The, the sorrow. His name is the sorrow, but he always smiles. The boss's name is called the joy, but she never smiles. And you are one of them. I didn't kill no one, man. I'm a. I'm a good person. I am the sorrow. That's Ocelot's dad. Like you, I too am filled with sadness. You crazy. This world is one of sadness. Battle brings death. Death brings sorrow. The living may not hear them. Their voices may fall upon deaf ears. But make no mistake. I didn't kill no one, man. I am not, I ain't afraid. Are not silent. Now you will know the sorrow of those oh, shit. lives you have ended. I didn't kill anyone, except like maybe animals. You wanna count that? Or oh, what the fuck? Okay, so there's no real way to defeat the sorrow. All you gotta do is wake up, I guess. Can I save? Damn, I think Snake is like passed out, man. But we, we're just gonna see this fight a little bit. I wanna see like exactly how many people I kill because I haven't killed anyone. And like depending on how you kill the people, right? If you kill like a guy like near vultures, you'll see like a guy being eaten by vultures. It's, it's kind of weird. But... See, I don't, I don't see any, I don't see any ghosts. You see that? No ghosts. I haven't killed anyone. 
Oh, I see some fishes. Some dead fishes. Wait a minute, isn't that the pain? I didn't kill the pain, bro. I didn't kill the pain. I, I did like non-lethal on the pain. I swear to God, I didn't kill the pain. I used non-lethal uh, uh, like uh, on the pain. Why is he dead? I guess he killed himself, bro. Why you blame me? Oh, that's the that's the fear, bro. I didn't kill the fucking fear. He killed himself. Damn. Yeah. It feels really like like I feel really accomplished. You will all be killed by your own sons. Is I see talking about Solid Snake. Oh, look at all the dead fishes. I don't remember killing all these fishes. Yeah, man, I ain't afraid of your sh- I didn't- I didn't kill the bird? Oh, that's the end. Grandpa, Grandpa! I think he says good because like I didn't kill anyone, right? Oh, that's the fury. Damn. That's the fury. See? Nobody. I didn't kill no one. Isn't that awesome? I'm like a real stealth god, bro. Whoa, okay, that's the corpse of- Okay, that's the Soros, that's the Soros corpse. And the way you, you- the way you revive is you take the revival pill. And that's how you wake up. That's how you defeat the Soros. I didn't kill anyone, that was insane. All those ghosts we saw are only bosses. Oh my god, is that what happened? You'll have to shoot me. The spirit of the warrior will always be with you. Holy shit, is that how the sorrow Don't died? Be sad. We'll meet again someday. Holy shit. Yeah, the sorrow and the boss are lovers, right? And they gave birth to Asla. <laughs> Yo, man, that 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 bolt, that wound on his eye must sting like crazy. Like the amount of bacteria inside that river, it's probably lit. Ew. Yo, we made it out of Grozny Gred. And we are back in the forest. But I remember that like the Spatsnats unit are probably waiting for me. Did I get rid of the I got rid of the transmitter, right? Oh my god. I hope I got rid of the transmitter in time. Snake, are you alright? That was a close call. What the hell happened to me? You were halfway drowned at the bottom of the river. Almost crossed over to the other side. Other side? So that really was. Something on your mind, Snake? Major, was there a man in the Cobra unit called the Sorrow? Yes, I've heard of him. He was an uncanny soldier who fought alongside the boss. What kind of man was he? The Sorrow was a man with Whoa. Well, special power. He had ESP, which was a subject ESP. of extensive research in the Soviet Union at the time. He was especially gifted as a medium. The Sorrow. Medium. 
someone who can communicate with the spirit world and evoke the spirits of the dead. In other words, he could talk to ghosts. They say he could find out what was going on in a battle by talking to dead soldiers. What about him and the boss? What was the story between them? I don't know the details. Why don't we ask Sigurd? Yo, I finished Yo, I almost this forgot about this guy. guy. A while ago. Thought you guys already knew though. Knew what? That he's dead. He's been dead for two years now. Died two years ago? At Selino Yarsk. Selino Yarsk. And the boss is the one who did him in. The boss? Yep. Two years ago, the boss was sent by the CIA on a secret mission to Selino Yarsk. That's when she met the Sorrow, who'd gone back to the Soviet Union after the Cobras broke up at the end of the war. Except this time they were enemies. And then what? The boss killed the Sorrow herself and accomplished her mission. At least, that's what the records say. So, he was never there in the first place. He just couldn't let go of the boss. You okay, Snake? Yeah, I'm fine. It looks like it's not time for me to die yet. I sure hope not. Otherwise, the whole mission is shot. We're counting on you, pal. Roger that. Okay. Eva? Snake, you didn't call. I was worried. Are you alright? Yeah. Ooh, we got a trophy. River of Pain. What are you Sick. About? Nothing. Forget it. Let's just say I'm back. Good. I'm back. How did you escape from the sewers? I jumped into the river. From all the way up there? We're out of control. Damn, she hot. Yeah. I got carried away by the current and almost drowned. Great. That's perfect. What do you mean that's perfect? I mean, if you ended up in the river, then I know a good spot nearby. Let's meet up there. Where is it? Keep going upstream until you get to a waterfall. A waterfall, huh? Right. Waterfall, huh? That waterfall, there's a cave. We'll meet in there. The cave behind the waterfall upstream. Got it. See you there. Okay, there's a transmitter in my gear, right? Can I get rid of it? Or maybe I'm too late to get rid of it. Food. Instant noodles. Cure. Damn, how do I get rid of it? Grenade, rations, fork, SAA, noodles. Okay, let me let me try, try to Google it because I remember there was a transmitter on me. If the transmitter is on me, later in the forest, I will encounter spats, not soldiers. How to get rid of transmitter on snake. Oh, uh, okay, so here's the thing. Um, it can be removed with the fork. If it's left in its place, the player will have to avoid a unit of Ocelot soldiers reaching Tikor Gornij. Alright, so the cool thing is we already removed it, right? So I guess we left it in the prison. So we should be fine. And uh, I think I want to like... F okay, let me save. You want to save? Hold on a sec. I want to kill that goat. I want to kill that goat and get some food. European extreme, baby. No alerts, no deaths. No, non-lethal, man. I'm so happy. We got all the Cobra unit non-lethal except like the boss. And Wolgin. I think we might be finishing this game by today or maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I need some Markor. Ooh, there's a keratin over here, but I'm not really into the keratin, man. Whoa, they got fishes and shit. I guess I can hunt for some fishes, but I don't think these taste very good. Okay, it's okay. Oh, we gotta be hyper aware of traps and shit. Um... How do I go through? Do I have to swim? Ooh, you got a crab. Okay, I got a fork. Let me kill this thing. 
Oh, I just ate it. Oh, that's a snake. I instantly eat like stuff I pick up. I think that's because like I don't have a backpack. A buck buck. Those, those are birds. Whoa, it's so pretty in here. Okay, I can go here or I can go here. But there ain't nothing here. Damn, I hope there's no soldiers in here, you know? Ooh, there's a mushroom. Oh, isn't this the mushroom that can cure my health? Oh no, I'm poisoned! Shit. Okay, uh, cure. Uh, use antidote. Damn. That was too close. Ooh, is that another crab? Man's gotta eat, bro. Okay, so I'm gonna be meeting Eva behind the waterfall, right? Okay, let me look around for any additional items. Someday you feed on a tree frog. Da bum. Ba ba da 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 Alright, I'm good. S oh shit. The snake. Is that an anaconda? He doesn't even see how tasty it is, you know? Ooh. Sea mat. I don't know what sea mat is. Oh, sea mad. Oh, sexy time. Sexy time. I remember I got Vietnam flashbacks of Eva being all sexual with the bikini. I wonder if they did it here. I can't remember. Yo, we got our gear back. Damn. Grodny Gred. Ooh, ramen. And that is Eva's transmitter. Is she gonna get the jump on me? Still warm. Oh, she's gonna get the jump on me. Might as well go naked for the rest of the way. <laughs> Hell no, man. No! She's a bad bitch, bro. She's a bad bitch. Damn! Cut the engine, bro. Everyone's gonna hear. Nice to meet you, Snake. I'm Tatiana. I knew that already. Come on, give me my gear. I saved up all my gear really hard, bro. Here's your equipment. Yeah. Eva, you could use a towel. Sexy ass. So could you. <laughs> I'm already naked, girl. Damn! That was tight. That was tight. Man. Bro, I love this game so much. And it's gonna feel like so great to finish this on European Extreme. All the Cobra units are already down. Except Baus and Wolgin. And Aslat. Still a lot of people to fight, bro. Tasty. Damn. Want some? No thanks. Ooh, damn. She's sexual, man. <clears throat> Don't like snakes. Not for dinner. Look at that shit. You like that, Cherry? You have to eat them at the KGB. In my training, we always got the good stuff. French, Italian, that kind of thing. 
a regular Matahari. The least you could do is call me Cynthia. Tell me something. How does it feel to spy on your own country? I can't say it feels good, but it's my job. Can't even eat a snake during a mission, huh? I wouldn't mind eating you. Damn. Holy shit. She did that cat woman thing. When this mission's over, you'll have to treat me to a nice dinner. What do you want to eat? <laughs> you looked away for a minute, now you see this? This is nice. Sushi. It's Japanese. I hear it's all the rage right now. It's Japanese, bro. It's made from raw fish. Raw fish? Just the place for my survival techniques. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, it's a moth. I wonder what the moth symbolizes. Snake. Because he also forms like Thank you, Snake. he also forms a moth with the the C3. Oh yeah, technically he saved Ocelot from shooting Eva. That's why he got his eye like blacked out. Man. This is romantic as fuck, bro. But you're so Thank you, Snake. Whoa, they're about to get it on. Woohoo! The, the fire symbolizes their passion for sexual encounters. Oh, no sex yet. Because the mission ain't complete. Don't worry about it. Are you alright? Snake needs to eat his Viagra to get it up. I've got one good eye and can still fire a gun. He's acting tough. Good. Down. Eva, didn't you steal some explosives out of the fortress? C3, a highly potent explosive from the West. It can be molded into any shape, like clay. With just this much, you could blow up the Shagohat and the lab along with it. Is that right? Yeah, but there's a trick to using it. Tell me about it. <coughs> well, what do you think? It's a heart, damn. Okay. The Shagohad's booster unit uses liquid fuel. The fuel tanks are in the main wing of the weapons lab in the hangar housing the Shagohad itself. So I should blow up the tanks? That's the basic idea. It should be enough to blow up the entire hangar. There are four fuel tanks. In order to destroy the hangar, you'll have to set explosives on each of those tanks. All four of them? It should be no sweat for you. Besides, the scientists had the day off today. So the hangar's completely deserted? Not quite. They've still got guards posted there. So what do I do after I set the C3? The bombs run off a timer. Once the timer has been set, the countdown will begin. When the timer reaches zero, the bombs will all go off at once. How long do I have? 20 minutes. Once the phase two trials are finished, I wouldn't be surprised if they kill all the scientists to prevent them from talking. So you've got to act fast. I'll take care of it. Eva, did you get the data on the Shagohod from Sokolov? Yeah, that's the mission I was given. By Khrushchev? Khrushchev. Mm -hmm. America doesn't have any use for it, does it? Huh. But I haven't forgotten my other mission either. Helping you out. Damn. Follow this cave and go up the ladder at the end. You'll come out inside Groznygrad, just southwest of the weapons lab. Oh, we're going back to Groznygrad? Why?
Do you remember when you went to rescue Sokolov? Remember there was a locked door when you entered the main wing from the second floor of the east wing? Yeah. That's the entrance to the Shagohad's hangar. Yeah, I remember that. Use this key to open that door. The door right when I entered the Shouldn't she wing. give me the key like way Got earlier? It. What about you? I'll get things ready for our escape. There's a rail bridge to the north. I'm gonna set a bomb there, so I'm taking half of the C3 with me. Right. I'll set off the weapons lab then. Try not to be in the neighborhood when it happens. Gotcha. And watch out for Ocelot. He suspects you're not who you say you are. Don't worry. The Colonel still trusts me. And I have my ways. There's not a man alive who can resist my charms. Uh, Damn. Besides you, of course. <laughs> I'm just warning you, Eva. That's all. <sighs> okay, let's go. You seem like you were born on one of those. <laughs> if I didn't ride every day, I couldn't go on living. Huh? When I'm riding, the wind hits me so hard that it hurts. That pain keeps my mind off the pain of having to be someone else. She wanted the D first before giving him the key. She didn't get it though, Dread. What's up, Dread? It's only when I'm on the bike that I'm free to be the real me. Damn. I only get off my bike when I fall in love or fall dead. What's your name? Tatiana. No. Your real your name. Your real name. <laughs> What's wrong with Tanya? Huh. Okay, Tanya. Don't let anyone see you. Oh, sh she take a photo? It's a button camera. Whoa. It's like a spy button camera. Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good. To make sure you don't double cross me. She took a photo? Why? Ah, uh, shit. Damn. So we got back our outfit, and I'm pretty stoked, bro. Hopefully she put some, like, cool shit in my backpack, like, you know. Okay, so here's the thing. Food-wise... Are you serious? What happened to the, all the food I got? Are you kidding me, bro? Like, okay, wait. Dude, what happened to all the food that I collected? Are you serious? I collected so much food. Okay, wait. Let me see. Uh, is there a way? Somebody robbed all my calorie mates, bro. Dread says I never got to play this. The only Metal Gear Solid you beat in was 2. That's pretty good. I mean, 2 is still a, a classic. Damn. Wait. Let me Google this. Food all missing after Eva. Uh, MGS3. What happened to my food, bro? Uh... What happened? Dude, what happened? Is is it because is it because my my like my inventory was too full? That's why I couldn't like get more food. Yo, I had like all my calorie mates, all my instant noodles, and I never got to use them. Okay, is there a way I can get my food back? There's got to be a way, right? Okay, there's some items around here. Okay, that's a suppressor for my Mark Twenty Two. Dude, I'm so pissed off, bro. Like, what the hell? Okay, let's unequip some stuff first. Oh my god. I was farming the calorie mates. I really kept all of them. You know, I even caught anacondas. So the anacondas were like a great form of like food. Um. Okay, how do I Google this? Where is my food? MGS3, Eva. Uh, what the fuck? Can anyone confirm this? Like, is your, is your food supposed to be missing? 
These days when you save, the game rec 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 records your data as if it was your first time entering the area. Anything you collected won't be saved unless you enter another area and save. Wait, what What you mean? No, no, here's the thing. She gave me back my stuff, right? But when I open up my food, these are the food that I actually caught earlier. Like, this is the things that I really caught earlier, but I- But what happened to my original, like, supply? Um... Okay, when Eva gives me back my gear, my food is missing, and just three. Nobody says anything, bro. What the fuck? Are you serious? Maybe Eva ate it? Yo, she can't eat like fucking 20 like instant noodles and calorie meats, man. I'm, you know, I, I'm kind of like pissed off because like basically oh my god oh my god bro nobody actually talks about it uh get back gear from eva and just three okay i think there's a there's a forum thread about it Oh shit, okay, so this is a forum thread from 12 years ago. Somebody was asking, like, hey, where's my food, right? And then, like, you know, someone said in the forum chat, like, it's all in your backpack, except your food. She and Ocelot are selfish pigs. Yeah, your food are gone. So if you had any instant noodles, she had a ball with those. Oh, that makes sense. Because remember, there was a cutscene, right? There was a cutscene with a packet of instant noodles on the floor. And, you know, like, I think she ate all of it. Oh, Dread says, so what's a calorie mate? A calorie mate is an item in the game. It's a dry food that if you eat it, you recover a lot of your stamina. So unlike Metal Gear Solid 2, in Metal Gear Solid 3, you gotta eat food to maintain your stamina because it rapidly drops depending on your actions. If you are doing a lot of like, a lot of physical activity, your stamina drops uh, major. And if you have a very low stamina, it affects the way you sneak. The enemies can hear your stomach grumble. Um, you can't aim straight. That's why food is important. And this is calorie made if you're wondering how it looks like. It's an actual real item that you can buy from uh, Japanese supermarkets. If you go to a Japanese bakery, you might be able to find this. Basically what it is, it's, it's just like a... It's just like an energy bar. Oh snap. Yo, I got a real calorie mate, bruh. I ain't playing. Okay, so first thing first. Let's equip all our... Uh, all our uh, stuff. It's not that hard to get. You can get like different flavors. You can get like chocolate, cheese, um, you know, like what else? You can get like, um, fruits. So is this the hardest Metal Gear Solid? I wouldn't say it's the hardest. It's really hard to say if it's the hardest because everyone, everyone has, you know, different abilities and skills. Like, you know, this might be easy for me, but this might be hard for you. You know, or this might be hard for you, but this is easy for me. That kind of thing, like mix it, mix and match. So it's it also depends on the, your difficulty setting, right? So I'm playing this on European Extreme, so technically it is the dif most difficult setting. <laughs> Calorie mate eater, yo, you know what's up? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I'm gonna have to re-equip all my items because basically what I want to do is I want to make sure um, I got the right stuff. So my Mark 22 is still here. M1911A1. Okay, I'm gonna basically equip my non-lethal stuff first because I don't tend to want to take my enemies out with lethal shit. Oh, we got magazine. We can use this to distract enemies. We can throw the magazines and, you know, create a sound or something like that. T 
TNT is great for blowing up shit. C3. Okay, that's good. Okay, so for like my other gear, let's equip... Um, I don't really use the fake death pill anymore. Uh, cigar for good luck, binoculars, thermal, night vision, camera, box A and C, crocodile. Okay, I, I'm gonna unequip the box, get me the crocodile cap. Bug juice, I don't really use that much. Okay, so we got like, okay, we got like all our stuff ready. Right, let's make sure our camouflage is like like uh decent because I think we're indoors right now. Okay, let's not go blackface. Yo, we got the freaking eye patch. We got the big boss look right now. Dread says I ask because the food thing makes it sound hard. Stomach growling guards will hear it. That sounds like a challenging game. It is. It is. Uh, it's. I would say it's. You might be right about this game being the most difficult Metal Gear Solid game because they actually factor in, you know, finding food and, you know, stamina, which I don't think other Metal Gear games do. Hey, what's up, Raul? Hey, if you guys enjoy my content so far and if you're new to my channel, do consider hitting that follow button. I would really appreciate it. It's probably the most fun in MGS though. Yo, it depends, right? It depends if you're the type of person that likes to take their game slow. You know, like I, I like to take my game slow, right? I like to just chill. You wanna save? Hold on a sec. Damn, she ate all my fucking food, bro. I'm so pissed off. But I guess it makes us, you know, able to hunt for more food in a way. Should I double back to the forest to go look for more like stuff to like food? Raul says I'm doing good out. It's been playing Genshin Impact a lot right now. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Snake. I heard like people are really into Genshin Impact. It's like it, it feels like it's a bootleg version of like Legend of Zelda. Terko Gornij. Hopefully there are no soldiers here because I wanna like get some um I wanna hunt for some food. Ooh, is that a snake? Okay, that looks like a snake. Okay, so that could be an anaconda. Okay, so the reason why it's a giant anaconda, very tasty. And the reason why I'm catch ca capturing this with a tranquilizer is because so it doesn't rot in my backpack. Because any food that you kill and you put in your backpack, if you don't eat it like fast enough, uh, it will rot. Okay, there's some mushrooms here. I think these could be poisonous. Uh, let me use my knife. Oh shit, I forgot to equip my survival knife. My bad. Okay, I can't equip any more items. Let me unequip something. Maybe I maybe the shaft grenade. I don't really need the shaft grenade. Rao says I'm not that into that type of game. It makes me addicted a lot. Plus it's free to play game, so why not? Well, you know, like the thing that I kind of worry about like games like that is like, you know, they are kind of actively encouraging you to buy DLC or cosmetics. So that means like you are not really getting the full experience until you pay for it. Okay, I got a mushroom. So the mushroom I got is a fly or er, agaric. So it was poisonous. Hmm. I mean, I could feed it to the... um. I could probably feed it to the uh, the guards, right? Okay, the frog. What frog is this? It's an Auden Auden frog. It was pretty tasty. I should probably have like trank it. You still trying to beat MGS four? MGS four is not that hard. MGS four is easier than MGS three, in my opinion. You know, like, it's different strokes for different folks, so it might be different for you. Whoa, you can crawl to the other side. But do I want to? I mean, I can just climb on top of it, right? Is there underneath- is there anything underneath this tree? Yeah, I don't see any items, so I don't think there's a reason. Okay, so I'm still looking for some snakes. 
Also, you can farm for medical items if you, uh, you know, like, like, whack some, like, some stuff. Okay, I'm looking for snakes. Okay, they got a Markov, so that's cool. I mean, I already killed a Markov, but I don't think it's possible to keep it alive in a cage. That would be funny. Okay, I'm gonna, like, have my thermals just so I can see. Okay, they got a bird in that bush, but... I don't think birds taste very good. Oh, they got a flying squirrel. I don't know how a flying squirrel tastes like, man. I'ma try it, I'ma try it. It could taste like ass. Not so great. Yeah, it tastes like shit. Ah, uh, Dreads is well, I have so many games, I end up getting a new PlayStation 3 and still ha have to start over for MGS4. Yo, I would say, you know, like, if you have a PlayStation 3, get the uh, Metal Gear Solid HD Trilogy. You should be able to get, like, all the Metal Gear games. Metal Gear 1, 2, 3. Ooh. Okay, that's a- that's an anaconda, that's great. Okay, it should be sleeping in a cage. Alright, I got two giant anacondas. So these are, like, technically one of the best items to get, you know? Not a bit. It's a frog. Otten frog. Yo, these, these things are delicious. Okay, should I kill, kill the Markov again? I need food, bro. Okay, how about this thing? This thing should be poisonous, I think. Mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna Google this real quick. Just in case, like, I don't kill- accidentally kill soldiers by giving them poisonous food. Yes, there's a trilogy. Uh, this is the trilogy. I recommend you get it. It's called the Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection. You get every single Metal Gear game here. Except the Metal Gear 5, right? Obviously, because this is PlayStation 3. You even get, like, the, the original Metal Gear games that are, like, on the MSX. Like before Metal Gear Solid 1 on PlayStation, right? There was like a top-down Metal Gear game. You even get that. You get Peace Walker, Metal Gear Solid 1, Metal Gear Solid 2, um, Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. You even get the uh, visual novel, I think. Bande Dasine. You get the VR missions. You get Guns of the Patriots, Metal Gear Solid 4. You get, uh, yep. It's pretty cool. Alright. Hope that helps, man. You have 2, 3, and Peace Walker for Vita, but you don't didn't have no I have all four of them together. Yeah. You get all four of them together. That's the awesome part. You download an MGS4 digitally? Well, that works too. You know. That works. Personally, Metal Gear Solid 4 is like. It was a really exciting game when it first came out. But I think it, you know, it's. It did sacrifice a lot of gameplay on the altar of graphics, in my opinion. Because I still think like Metal Gear Solid 3 has more mechanics than MGS4. Even though Metal Gear Solid 4 has, you know, the Octo Camo. Uh, I really enjoyed that one. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm good on food, so I, I'm, I think I'm gonna head back to the mission. Da 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 ba 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 da 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 You know, I I I also feel like I don't really agree with like what they did to Snake in MGS4. You know, I'm not really a big fan of what they did to Snake. I I guess like his ending is like a little more bittersweet, but um. It really hurt to see him age like so, so like bad, you know? Ooh, does that mean the, 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 the snake probably respawned? 
Let me see this, if the snake actually respawned. Ah, uh, I don't think the snake respawns. Ah, uh, it's cool. Alright, let me go. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm overkilling all the wildlife here because I'm prepping for food. And also, you know, if the food rots, it's a good thing. We can use that on soldiers. Uh, okay, let me Google this real quick. Okay, does poisonous mushrooms kill soldiers? Does poisonous mushrooms kill soldiers? And the reason why I'm asking about this is because I'm playing this entire game as non-lethal. Uh, okay, so someone asked about this, right? Okay, so zero kills even though he at least gave guards poisonous food. Okay, this is like a little bit difficult. Okay, not a kill. Things that do not count as kills. Giving enemies poisonous food and causing them to die from food poisoning. Tranquilizing enemies on hover platforms and causing them to crash. Tranquilizing enemies on motorcycles and causing them to crash. Killing any kind of animal. Killing animals by means of explosion, exploding oil drum. Oh, if you shoot like exploding oil drums, it doesn't count as a kill. Other actions you take might or might not count towards your kill record are killing guards by meaning of throwing them into electrical fences or throwing a live poison stick at a guard. Okay. So giving them poisonous food doesn't count as a kill. The food rots too. The food rots, but it's great. It's great because it means that the food is like, you know, you can give the food to like a soldier who's hungry. Oh, and I forgot, Dread, you can blow up provisions uh, rooms and armories. And if you do that, the soldiers will become hungry. They will become more weakened. And, you know, if you blow up the armories, they don't have enough, like, bullets and weapons. It's really good. Okay, there's some bats here, bro. I could shoot the bat. There's, like, a rat. I think I should kill it and eat it right now. Okay, let me see. I could use some food. My stamina is dropping a little bit. Markor, I think they taste incredible, right? Let me try one. Mm. Ah. Pretty tasty. It's pretty tasty, but it's not like delicious like an anaconda, bro. Ooh, we got a suppressor, okay. I can't go through, can I? This thing looks breakable, I think. Seems to be a room here. Let me see the map. Can I access this place? So this is mostly a realistic game. Well, it's trying to use realistic elements to make the game like more fun. To make it more challenging. So I would say probably this is the most realistic Metal Gear game, but it's not hyper-realistic, right? I mean, there are certain things that are like, they, they can't happen in real life. So... Okay, can I blow this door open? Oh, I don't know if they got soldiers here though. I don't think it's possible to blow open those doors. I want to see if, if the map actually lists them as, as like openable like doors. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you can go through. Okay, there's some like rats here. I, I might as well like farm the rats. Okay, they got three frogs here too. Tree frogs are okay. You can use them as like... 
Okay, they got like a bandage. Oh, they got like green uh, glow caps. So green glow caps can actually help you recharge your batteries. It doesn't make sense, right? But it's kind of like that. Okay, so we got the Markor. Fly Agaric. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw this away. Okay, what is this item? MK22 bullets. Alright, that's nice. Man, this is a really long tunnel. AK-47. Okay, I'm gonna kill this rat too. I feel bad, bro, but I need the food. Okay, my food is full. So, I think, like, it's probably a good idea to get rid of the poisonous mushroom. Because even though it technically doesn't kill the soldier, I'm not gonna risk it. Oh, they got another, like, uh, glow... These are great. Okay, let me eat one. How's the battery like for my thermal gr uh, goggles? Okay, I'm gonna eat one to recharge it. Hey, what's up, KD? How's life? Are you still working on the food truck? Oh man, I thought it was gonna like, like, um... Damn! Emmy Knightley, thank you so much for the raid, dude! Thank you! Yo, Emmy Knightley, um, thank you. Welcome. What were you streaming before this? We're, oh, I think I, I think you were streaming Metal Gear Solid 3, right? Hade hade. Yo guys, if you're new to my channel, my name is Oats, you're watching Oats Curry TV. I'm a variety gaming streamer, and I'm playing Metal Gear Solid 3 on European Extreme. And this, you know, this is like kind of my first playthrough after like so many years. The last time I played this was on the PlayStation 2. Yo, welcome everyone. Yo, what's up, Yosuke? Juice Mark. And uh, shout out to Emmy Knightley, man. Thank you so much, Emmy Knightley. Oh, you just finished Metal Gear Solid 3, so you wanted to share the love. Aw, oh, thank you so much. Zoom Zababui. Thank you so much for popping in. Tiny Frisk. Hello. Welcome, guys. Uh, yo, if you guys you got any questions for me, you want to get to know me better, feel free to shoot in chat. And, um, yo, shout outs again to Emmy Knightley, yo. You guys, please go to Emmy Knightley's channel and show her some love. I would really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, man. So I've been a streamer for about two and a half years. And uh, I stream all kinds of games like Dark Souls, Sekiro, Metal Gear, Animal Crossing, Legend of Zelda, everything. Barbie's Fun House, like Elmo's like adventure, whatever. I, I I play all of them. Hey, no problem, man. Thank you so much again for the raid. I appreciate that. You like your layout a lot. Very cute art. Aw, oh, thank you. I, I worked really hard on them. I, I even have like a loading screen, which is like kind of animated. So whenever like, you know, I'm, I'm setting up the stream. I want to like put like a, I put a timer on the top left. Because like prior to this, I was actually working as a concept artist for the video game industry. So I've been working for about 10 years. So I decided to, you know, do like do art. Yo, what time is it, by the way? It's 11.57. I'm, I'm checking the time to feed my cat. I'm actually kind of working on like, you know, like um, upgrading my, my break screen because like whenever I go take a break, it's mostly to go feed my cat. So I'm kind of animating like what I can like do to feed my, like have, have my character here feed my cat. Uh, yeah, man. So it's a lot of work, but I appreciate you enjoying my art and my layout. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, they got some gear over here. So what do you think about Metal Gear Solid 3, uh, Emmy? Like, is this your first time finishing it? Or have you played it before and then, you know, you're just replaying it like me? Oh, they got a cardboard box uh, B. I wonder how this one looks like. Ooh, you got the Russian Soviet star on top of it. Okay. Oh, you played it before, but haven't played the HD version yet. Yep, that's the same with me. I bet you played it on the PlayStation 3, right? Oh shit, I should be more careful. <laughs> I just busted through that door. Ah, oh, rations, Russian rations. MK22 bullet full. Okay, should I get rid of something to collect this Russian ration? The PS2 subsistence version, got you. PS2 subsistence version. P 
PS2 subsistent version. I just got done playing, um, oh yeah, the subsistent version in Metal Gear Solid 3 has the free roaming camera. That was before, like, you know, um, you know, before that, like the camera in Metal Gear Solid 3 was also fixed. Uh, yeah, I think you were talking about this. Right? I got the physical copy because, you know, I used to play it back then. Uh, but this one is the Japanese version. I got, I also got the English version, but like I kept it, you know, in, in my, in my drawer somewhere. Yeah, man. Subsistence was tight. I think Subsistence introduced like Metal Gear Online. Like Metal Gear was one of those first few games back on the PlayStation 2 that, you know, it had an online mode where you can versus like other players, you can do like missions together, things like that. JDM for cool points. I don't know what JDM is. The first time I played MGS3 was the, for the, from the Metal Gear Solid Essential Collection. So I never played the OG. Oh, I think I have that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called, I think it's called the, uh, is, is that, is that the HD trilogy? Because they also have another one called the Legacy one. So this is the Legacy one, right? Oh, Japanese domestic market. Ah, is that what it's called? JDM? Yeah, it was really fun playing it on the Japanese version because like the voice actors are also different. So even the jokes are different because, you know, certain jokes, you know, told in Japanese, uh, it's a little hard to translate that into English. So when they are like, you know, they are like localizing a Japanese game into English, a lot of the jokes are replaced with more American jokes. Ah, uh, separate from the legacy. The essential version was one, two, and three packaged in three separate PS2 packages with a cardboard package for all three. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, wait a minute. I think I remember. And then the cardboard. Oh no, I think I'm thinking of a different thing. Yeah, because I, I think like there was a thing I remember that they have like cardboard boxes, like tiny ones, and they have like different art on them. Damn. Zababui. I like your name, bruh. Zababui. You know, actually, I wanted to name myself Oats Curry, you know, without the TV, but, you know, like, somebody else already had it. Grozny Grez Northwest. Hey, take your time, Emmy, and thank you so much again for the raid. I appreciate you. And you guys, please show Emmy nightly uh, some love. Go to her channel. Make sure you follow her. Check out her stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, it's morning already. Oh, I remember this place. This was so hard to sneak through, man. Okay, I guess I gotta save quickly. Whoa! I think I might be finishing this game too, Frisk. Where are all the soldiers? Ah, oh, no. Ah, no, they covered my manhole. That was my exit. Zoom says thanks. Just was just Zoom Zabba added the boy as a joke on the stream and he kept it because people liked it. I like it. Zabba boy. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna save first. I'm gonna save first. Damn, am I going to get a Kodak call? Colonel. Okay, so... Alright, I'm just going to lay out some ground rules, you know, because you guys are new here. I'd appreciate if there's no backseating. Um, I already know the story, so if you guys keep spoilers to a minimum, that's... That would be cool. Um, oh, shit. And also, like, I'm playing this on European Extreme, right? So whenever I get discovered, it's an automatic game over. Like, I, I can't get seen even once, right? Um, you wanna save? And also, I'm attempting a non-lethal run, so I try my best not to kill any soldiers at all. Hey, what's up, Jay Duran? Imagine if Snake was 30 seconds late. Yo, hi, by the way. Hi, how you doing, man? I, I, I think you were lurking in chat, right, this whole time? You always lurk, bro. What's up? All right, I'm safe. Snake, have you ever seen- Yeah man, if you guys want to introduce yourself, you want to talk more about where you're from or what's your favorite Metal Gear game, uh, go for it. Yo, what the fuck? 
What are these soldiers like hanging around here for? How am I gonna get past all of them? Okay, so I kind of forgot. Where am I supposed to go? Um, do they tell you where to go? Ah, oh, I gotta get back inside, right? And then I gotta go towards the, uh, the freaking, like, um, yeah, we gotta go towards the Shagohod. But I don't know if I'm supposed to go back to the same entrance. Oh, wait. Do I have the, uh, do I have the camouflage of the, like, like, so, like, what was his name? Rykov? I still do, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, this might work. Okay, I got one eye missing, though, so that's not a good look. I don't know if this will work, though. Oh, he's being a ninja, just like you, Sineki. Duran says, yeah, I tend to lyric. Metal Gear, one of those games that make me talk, though. Yo, I got you. Scrub J, what's up, man? You only played the original MGS3, but even that was my favorite Metal Gear experience. That's what I'm talking about, man. This is my favorite Metal Gear of all time. So I can't wait to actually play MGS5. Uh, I think out of all the Metal Gear games, those are ones I haven't touched. Because, you know, I was kind of salty that, uh, you know, like David Hayter isn't going to be in that game. I wonder if I can... Oh, the Raiden outfit doesn't work. What the fuck? No. Okay, that was a good test. That was a good test. At least we kind of like, you know, at least we kind of test it out, right? It doesn't work. It's okay. You really should play the HD version. The camera fixes alone should make it a great experience. Yeah. But also, you know, if you don't have a PlayStation 3, you, you don't have the HD trilogy, you could technically emulate this game on PC, but I tried it. It looks, it actually looked way better than any HD trilogy. Emulating this game on PC is such a treat. But you know, like when I streamed it that time, you know, in one hour, my game crashed like five times. So it's not very stable. Ah, oh, you were gonna tell me, but you didn't want to backseat. Ah, oh, yeah, don't do that. Don't backseat. I think like discovering things and like you guys getting my genuine reaction is way more rewarding. You know, that because if I knew that already, I'll be like, ah, man, you know, I, I don't try it, right? Fuck, I honestly don't know. I guess I got like an empty magazine I can use to throw and distract them. Okay, I'm gonna equip a box because like, you know, if I... Just for emergency. Scrap says you did get the PS3 version a few years back, but I'm also curious at how it, this is on Vita. Yo, I don't know, man. I never tried it on Vita, but I definitely played this game on uh, Nintendo DS. I got the DS version. It was pretty good. The one eye snake, yeah. You emulated this once? It was not a good experience. I got you. It looks beautiful. Emulated. Oh, fuck. The dog is walking here. Oh my god. They even got a guard like patrolling up there. You know, I kind of forgot that I technically got my, my tranquilizer gun back, so I can probably start shooting it up. Yeah, they made a DS version. It was like... The frame rate was kind of sus. It wasn't that good of a frame rate, but it was a good experience. They, they try to add like other elements into the game. Where's that other guard? Isn't there supposed to be a guard in front? It's very difficult because they, we have a guard like that. It's permanently looking over here. And now they got like guards at the, the, the watchtowers. See that? JD Ren says, quick question about your extreme. Did the game offer you a no game over the discovered option? I know it, it asks on extreme, but I've yet to try your extreme. Uh, no, Euro extreme actually is, the, the difference is Euro extreme like doesn't like give you like any option. If you game over, if you get, if you get discovered, you game over. Yeah, so European extreme is basically extreme 
with more extreme factors and whenever you get alert game over so if you don't want that you might want to just play extreme extreme is fine I might get discovered bro I don't even know how the soldier in front of me is not like seeing this Yo, it's been a while since I did some CQC. Yo, in European Extreme, they can see really far away. That's why I'm kind of worried. So I'm kind of watching the guy's head. Whenever he turns his head, I, I I move my box a little by little. Honestly, I don't even know if like going this direction is a good idea though. I kind of wonder if like the place I gotta go is like through that staircase. If that's the case, I think I might be going the wrong direction. Okay, I, I might need some backseating in this one, man. Uh, do you guys know exactly, like, where to go in order to, like... Okay, wait, here's the thing. I don't think you're supposed to go through here, right? Because the door here doesn't have a symbol that you can open it. I mean, when you can open up a door, they will have a symbol. You're not sure to be honest, Frisk? Ah, uh, no problem, man. We'll figure it out together. Okay, so I'm here right now. Where's that soldier? There was a soldier here. I think occasionally he does appear, but I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, so he only like stands there. That's the only, that's, that's only the extent of his uh, search. He doesn't really come here very much. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my god, that was too close. Okay, I think this is where we, we should go. Grozny Grad Southwest. Oh shit, maybe not. Maybe we gotta get past that other soldier. Because Southwest is not where I wanna go, right? Uh, map. Yeah, I wanted to actually access the door like above me. Uh, should I risk going back? Okay, I think I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and save. Do you want a direct answer or do you want alternate routes? Uh, okay, so I just need help exactly like knowing where where's my target is. How do I get back into? Uh, the building because we, we we basically got to blow up the uh, what you call it the shadow heart right we basically got to plant the c3 around like where the shadow heart is yeah so i i it's back okay okay let me save first let me save let me save one more time and i'm trying to just gonna try stealth through this area the it's the door above in the stairs really it's the door above in the stairs are you sure? Me who just played this, I don't know what to do. Really? Yo, Amy, do you know where to go? Okay, so just to get catch you up with like where I am, I'm back at Groznygrad after meeting up with Eva. So Eva just gave me back all my gear, right? And I, I snuck back here. But I don't know where to go. Like I'm back here and it's already morning. So I'm kind of guessing that I gotta go like here, right? You see this thing, like it's like a stairs and there's a door 
It was locked before, right? I think it's open now. Go to where you grabbed Rykov. The building to the right section. Ah, okay, so right here. Yeah, I remember this building. Direct route's the same door you used to sneak in with where you first snuck in Grod Nigrad. Okay, so alternate route is like that thing there, right? But this area is so heavily guarded. It's not possible. Well, kind it might be possible because they don't have like any more searchlights. And instead of walking across the walkway to where you saw Sokolov, instead a door is open now. Uh. Okay, okay. I think I got you. I'm famished. Wait, is there a soldier here? You're bad at explaining? Ah, you're good. Don't worry about it. Uh, I I haven't I haven't done CQC in a while, bro. I gotta practice. Huh? What was that? Okay, I hope you didn't hear my footsteps. Actually, that would really suck. Nothing here. Huh? <coughs> Answer me. When throwing a grenade, if shot. Okay. Answer me. <laughs> oh, it's trying to remember Do some it. basics of CQC. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. It's been a while. When throwing a grenade. Okay, he might have some items on him. So let me search. Okay, M one nine one one bullet full. You can't interrogate someone without accidentally cutting their neck. What a pro! Ah, oh, thank you. Well, okay, so here's the thing. If you're playing this on PlayStation 3, the PlayStation 3 controller has, um, it has a, it has like a sen sensitive trigger button. If you just barely like press it, you will grab them without slitting their throat. If you press down the entire button, you will slit their throat. And I have made that mistake. Trust me. You know, I'm not that professional. Okay, so here's the thing. He's gonna wake up, right? And when he wakes up, um, he will alert everyone, so we should put him to sleep. If we put him to sleep, if he wakes up, he's gonna think it's it was all a bad dream. Okay, so by the way, I'm just experimenting like, you know, this area. I'm not really sure if this is the best place to be. Oh my god, the dog is still there. Oh shit, someone woke him up. Damn it, bro, what the hell? Okay, I don't know if I have any rotten food, right? So what I did earlier was I discovered they have a provisions um, shack and they also had an armory shack. So what I did was I blew them up. Right, I, I planted some TNT and blew them up. So these guys are very, very hungry. So there's a benefit of them being hungry, right? If they're really hungry, you can throw any kind of food out there. If the food is rotten, they will eat it and they will get sick. And they are so weak right now that I can just do a roll on them. And the guy will get knocked out. Um, But it's only a one star, so I got to use that sparingly. Oh, you forgot there was a possibility? Yeah, there was. Is that snake? Why is he hungry? Or is that a soldier? Yeah, all those soldiers that are complaining like, ah, I'm hungry. Yeah, that's because we fucked with their food supply. I mean, since I was saying on stream that MGS3 had so much content that you can play it like five times without discovering everything you can do. Yeah. Like a lot of times like, when I discovered like new things, you know, it's during a second playthrough. I think it's possible to just go across. Okay, I might get caught. I might get caught, but I'm just basically... Oh my god, they got a, they got a guard up there. The guard up there might be a problem, bro. Oh, shit. Their patrol routes are like more indirect, man. 
Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I need to put that dog to sleep so I can pass through. But technically, like, we can just run past him, right? Okay, I, I don't want to risk it, so I'm, I think I'm going to throw him, like, a... Do I have like any food that kind of like is whatever? Okay, this is a Russian ration. Okay, I gotta I gotta unequip something. So I'm gonna unequip the TNT. I'm gonna like equip the Russian ration. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make the dog fall asleep. I'm gonna throw it someplace. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna fall asleep, and then he can't alert the guards. Do you lose if the dog detects you? Not really, but the dog will definitely bark, and he will alert other guards to come here. Duran says it's fun discovering things you've never seen and also fun showing off things you I haven't seen too. Exactly. So this is a kind of a game that like, if, you know, I can play this like five years later, ten years later, and I would be a better Metal Gear player. Okay, he's gonna eat it. And he's gonna fall asleep. Okay, he's kind of busy right now. Oh fuck, okay, there's... There's a guard up there. Yeah, he might see me. Oh, he's going to sleep. See, the dog is now asleep. He's not going to bother me. I can't get through! So I was right the whole time, I can't get through. Ah oh, man. Yeah, this is not an alternate route. You can't go through here. So I kind of wasted my time like coming all the way here thinking that this was like another entrance. But it's good, you know. Hey, you don't worry Frisk, you, you're alright. Don't worry about it. So what I'll do is I'll quit. So, you know, in a sense, I don't lose like my supplies, like the rations and, you know, whatnot. But it's okay. It's part of the, it's part of Metal Gear. Metal Gear is like that. It's like part of like trial and error. Yeah, it's not going to be open. So I guess we got to follow what Emmy suggested. We got to go back through the original door where we found Sokolov. Oh, I mean like Rykov. I think. Could have sworn I watched Emmy go through there. I think it was probably another, like, uh, door. They all look alike, so I don't blame you, bro. Alright, but no more backseating. So I kind of got, like, an idea of where to go. Man, this is so difficult because their patrol routes are, like, way more, like, um, random. Like, you, you can see, like, soldiers all, like, hang out in one spot. And then when they are not, like... Okay. Alright, you wanna see some cool shit, guys? I'm gonna show you something. Did you know you can, like, slam a guy to the floor and then you can, like, like, stick him up? So, I'm gonna teach you some basics on how to interrogate a guy, right? You gotta hold him up without slitting his throat. Okay, once he turns around, we go grab him. Nothing here. Okay, grab him. Just press the circle like gently. Interrogate. When throwing a grenade, if shot. Okay, so actually, what I wanted to show you guys was the ability to slam him down to the, the ground on the left or the right, and pointing your gun at him to stick him up. But I think because he's hungry already, if I did that, that would just knock him out. And also, my gun doesn't have a silencer on it, so I don't want to risk like accidentally blowing off a shot, right? So, okay, let me double check to see if you got any gear. M1911 bullet, okay, that one is full.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through that door. That should take me to the other side. That's actually what you usually do, I got you. I mean, it's pretty reliable. But did you know that you can instantly knock them out if you tap the circle button? If you tap the circle button, you can wake them, you can knock them out. And you know, it, it, unlike Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid 2 is a pain, right? What the fuck? I just heard someone say move. J2 says, I want to add comments to that, but I'm not sure if it qualifies as a gameplay spoiler. Okay, so if you feel like you want to share something, but you're not sure, you can ask me first. And yo, go for it, J. Duran. And thank you for asking, man. If you want to talk about gameplay, yeah, tell me. I want to get better at this game for sure. I definitely have my mechanics down, but I'm not per se, you know, like a speedrunner level like Metal Gear Solid player where all my mechanics are perfect. Why are they moving? You heard the guy yelling move, right? Is this even the right- Okay, this is- Oh, they're doing drills. Throwing them down after grabbing them won't knock them out even if they're hungry. Ah, oh, I got you, I got you. Oh! I think someone just saw me. Yeah, I think someone saw me through the gate. Uh, I was in fact with that. Remember the gate on the left side where it's the next, the other section? I forgot soldiers can still see you through that. So they're doing drills. Which is good because like, you know, it kind of masks the, the sound of bullets actually, but I'm not like trying to kill them. I guess well, while they're busy, we can like kind of sneak past them. Oh, I'm kind of curious to sneak into the provisions room because I think they might have like more calorie made for me to get. Cause since I got my gear back from Eva, all my food is gone. She ate all my food, right? So I think going back to their provisions room to stock up on like, uh, like calorie made is going to be good. Oh, oh shit. This guy is doing shuttle runs, I respect that. Damn. Look at how low he's going, man. Oh shit, I think a soldier almost saw me. Uh oh, uh oh. I think there's a soldier here. Okay, so... Is it tacos? Yeah, I really- I feel like when I first played, I really underutilized camo index. That's okay. Yo, welcome back, Emmy. What you got for dinner, though? Bibimbap? Yo, that's nice. Bibimbap is delicious. Okay, that's a problem because I still gotta go through them, right? Let me see the map. I wonder if it's actually worth, like... I wonder if it's worth sneaking through to the provision store just to get like more loot. Uh, okay. What I can do as kind of an insurance save is I can go through, um, I can go through this hole and then I'll s immediately save. So if I get caught, at least I don't have to go back all the way there. Your first playthrough you was a constant menu shuffle to maximize the camel percentage. That's actually how you should play it. That's actually a good way to play it. Bibimbap, man. Bibimbap sounds like so healthy. You wanna say? How do you get your Hold Korean food, man? Do you like order it or do you make it? Man, I wanna eat bibimbap. But all the good bibib bi the bibimbap around my area is like so expensive. Because like, I live in Singapore, but Korean food is considered like exotic, right? So it's expensive. I'll be in touch. Oh, you have to make it at your, your own Korean food. Cool. I love Korean food. Okay, so I'm going to increase my camouflage if that's possible. Uh, okay, here's a quick tip, right? 
Spider camo is a camouflage that you get from the fear if you beat him non-lethally. That means you kill him with uh, just tranquilizers or whatnot. But if you wear this, this is so tempting to wear, right? It gives you plus 10 camouflage. Your stamina will rapidly go down. It's really, it sucks. So this is technically the best I got. Oh shit, there's a soldier over there. <gasps> oh my god, this is soldier literally right here. What the fuck? I almost got discovered. Yeah, this is a really bad place. I just like came here just to save, you know? It came in like one of those delivery boxes that give you ingredients and instructions. Oh, those kinds. I like those. Oh, you're making you hungry? Yo, I'm hungry. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. You know, technically, this is the best place. You know what? I think I'm not going to raid your provisions uh, shack because, like, it's too risky. Huh? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I think someone almost saw me. Holy shit. I forgot there was a soldier there. Okay, I should put this guy to sleep. I guess I can put this guy to sleep, but someone might come. Okay, someone might actually come in and investigate him. Okay, he might have some items on him, so let's shake his his stuff. Okay, we got some additional Mark 22 bullets, so that's a free refill. And that's a supp suppressor for XM. Okay, that soldier is looking over there, so I'm a bit afraid to just run across. You make your own kimchi, you were gifted a clay pot and dedicated to give it a try. I made my own kimchi when I was a teenager, bro. My family wasn't like feeling it. Oh shit. Okay, this might suck. Okay. He got suspicious over the box. I might fuck it up, but I think I have a way to like uh, deal with this. He's gonna kick me. So the box faces him. And then he's gonna look down. Right? And then he's gonna try to pick up the box, but we're gonna like quickly unequip and roll over him. So we're gonna knock him out that way. Very fast. All right, we in there, we in there, we in there. Yo, we in there, baby. Yo, stealth god, bae. Hey, thank you, Duran. I appreciate that. Thank you, Zed boy. Okay, I gotta save, I gotta save. Yo, thank you, Frisk. Yo. You wanna save? I can't fucking walk, a a walk around here in like my uh, Rykov outfit, right? See, it doesn't work with the soldiers outside, but I don't really know if it doesn't work here. Like, why wouldn't it work? Oh, we can dress as a scientist. Yes, we can dress as a scientist. Yes, 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 yes. I almost forgot about that. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I'm, I'm a legit Metal Gear player. Let me make my mistakes. I swear to God, it's worth it. Okay, chill. We got this. Oh, oh, we got an eye patch right now. So I don't know, bruh. Damn, we are like the most badass scientists of all time. Okay, so if I can like minimize my contact with the soldiers, that would be great. Um, fuck. Oh, fuck. Because there's a soldier here. I remember there was a scientist here. Okay, let's go upstairs. Gonna find my baby, gonna hold her tight, gonna grab some afternoon delight. My motto's always been when it's right, it's right. Why waiting for the middle of a cold, dark night? 
Ooh, handkerchief bullets. Ooh, I'm full. This is making me want to play MGS3 right now. Aw. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. My name is Headband iPad Scientist. Yo. I solve problems with stealth. Ooh, what is this? <gasps> oh! We got the sneaking uniform. I totally forgot about this. I swear to God. I, I came here because like I felt nostalgic for like burying like Rykov there. Oh, advanced suit. But it, it is made by the USSR. <laughs> da, 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 da. Bitch ass Raiden. Look at that Raiden poster, bro. Making me all feel all sexually confused that if he's even a girl or a boy. Sexy sneaking suit, baby. Yo, I'ma save, I'ma save. Every time I go to a new- What the fuck? Oh shit! Okay, mandatory Kodak call. Let's see what this boy gotta say. Snake, I see you've managed to sneak into the hang. Yeah, the Shagahard's in here. Oh shit, I gotta go feed my cat. It's already 12.30 p.m. You can't allow it to be mass produced. You've got to destroy it. Eva's got the data on the Shagahard. Do you think that's safe? Man, do you guys mind waiting for like 10 to 15 minutes? I know it's quite a long time. You guys can go do something else, but I gotta go feed my cat Kaya, man. Volgin, however, is a different Volgin. He's planning to use the Shag. Volgin. Comrade. Suka Blit. Cats can be needy. No, she needs to eat her meal, uh, Jay. I'm not gonna try to starve her out. Exactly. Metal Gear. Shago hard. I'll let Sigint fill you in on how to destroy it. Yo. Yo, like what's up, player? If you're looking to blow Real up shit, go street represent. Ways to take out those liquid fuel tanks with the C3. You feel me, say? You know what I'm saying? You know there's four tanks in there, right? You have to You know the words that are coming out of my mouth? To the C3 charge, all you got to do is equip the Oh, you can wait there and thank you, man. Button while standing in front of a tank. Just like TNT. TNT, uh, I'm dynamite. TNT. I always have to take 15 minutes at work to go feed the colony behind our place. Really? It's really nice of you. How many cats are there, like behind your office? So don't go using any heavy firepower near the tanks unless you're aiming to get yourself barbecue. Barbecue chicken. The C3 charges all have to go off at once if you want to. Oh, for that you know of. That's really kind of you to do that. So if I were you. I'd wait until I, I love animals, especially cats, so, you know, whenever I can, like, if I, if I know there are strays living near my house, I would, like, like, bring an extra, like, can of food. 20 minutes. So make sure you get your ass out of that place. Make sure you get your ass out of there, snake. all I've got. The rest is up to you. Good luck, pal. Later, player. We are counting on you, snake. It's, like, so cool. We got a British guy, and then we got, like, you know, an American. America. America. Fuck yeah. Yo. You always learn to always have a can with me. Yo, that's what I do. I always like whenever I go anywhere, I would bring a tote back with me. And you know, like I see a cat. I'm like, yo, I got this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You want? You guys want to see my cat? Let me see if I got some pictures here. So yeah, I got, I, it's my cat, Kaya. So I adopted her about four months ago. She's almost a year old. Uh, you know, this December, she's going to be a year old, right? Uh, she's really sweet. She's a local breed, right? And she had problems with one eye. Like what she couldn't see well from one eye. And apparently the reason why was because when she was found, um, the security guard who found her, you know, saw her walking in circles. And at the time, she had a swelling on her head, which leads me to believe that she was injured, like, on the head. But thankfully, you know, according to, like, you know, the peop like, you know, the doctor, you know, the, the swelling subsided. And, you know, but she can't really see from one eye, right? It, the eye looks normal, but sometimes, you know, you can start to see the eye, like, you know, like a little, like, funky. But uh, she's a really gorgeous cat, man. And, you know, like, I feel so grateful to, like, earn her trust. Because, like, you know, when she first lived in my place, she was, like, so scared. So she, like, didn't, like, um, you know, she didn't want to, like, like, 
come and cuddle or she doesn't want to get patted uh you know she was like really tentative about everything like even if i put food there she she isn't sure if she's supposed to eat but right now she's like a spoiled kid right like she loves me so much that whenever i wake up in the morning she will start meowing like crazy like and she wants to eat she wants to play you know and i try to entertain her right this is how I entertain my cat. <laughs> and you know, I, I make sure I play with her. Um, I give her lots of love. Yeah, this is like, I think this was taken like about two weeks ago. I think I was watching Aliens 2. You know, the one with like, uh, the James Cameron alien movie. And then, and then like, while like, like Ripley was blasting aliens, like, you know, Kaya was sleeping next to me with her belly. Oh, what time is it? It's about 12.40 p.m., about lunchtime. So it's just about her lunch. Yeah, man, so that's my cat. Um, yeah, man, hope you guys enjoyed that little presentation. Oh, I taught my cat how to pee using the bathroom. I taught my cat to be toilet trained. And um, right now, she doesn't even need, like, the whole tray. So, you know, she can go in the toilet on her own. So every morning... All I got to do is flush her waist. It's so awesome. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go feed my cat. It's only going to take 10 to 15 minutes. Stick around. I'll be back with more Metal Gear Solid. And I think it's a possibility that we might be able to finish this game today. So, I don't know. We still got like one more stream tomorrow before, you know, I usually take off for the weekend. But stick around. Thanks for waiting. I appreciate that. My cat doesn't seem to finish her all her food in one go, so you know, like I left the bowl there, so for her to like occasionally come back to finish off her meal. Uh, is that normal for you guys? Do you guys have cats where you feed them and they don't finish everything one go, but they kind of like take off and come back from time to time to finish up their meal? Sometimes I try to pick up my cat and try to like set her down to like get her to finish her food, right? But, you know, I think she's like an aristocrat. She like, she loves to eat it whenever she feels like. Hey, what's up, B? What's up, Purito? Genshin Impact? Yo, I've been hearing about that, bro. But like, I don't know if I, sh if I want to like play it. Yeah, the oldest cat I know eats like a bird. Damn. Oh, I think they eat less when they become adults, right? Because like, there's a, like an experiment that says that, you know, animals tend to live longer if they eat less. I think even to a certain extent, like humans, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, wait a minute. Before I go in, do we have items around the corner? They might have some, like, items around the corner, bro. Oh, no. Yo, I wonder what happens if I go through here. There might be some items, man. I'm gonna go check. JC, if that makes sense, the youngest one has a bottomless pit for her stomach. Yeah, I agree. Like, when my cat was young, like, no meal will satisfy her. Whoa, we got some cool items. Life med. Suppressor. Oh, I can't go through. But this, that was cool. There was a cool discovery. And you can look outside. That's even cooler. Yo, life med, bro. Like, I, I think on, like, your extreme, you only can carry three. Like, I think, like, other difficulties, you might be able to carry more. I'm not sure. Tiny Fist is as much as I love to watch more Metal Gear Solid 3, I gotta go. I've been, like, on this six-hour stream before this, and I'm kind of drained. You seem like a cool streamer, and your art is really awesome. I'm glad that Emmy rated you. Hope I'll catch you again soon. Bye. Yo, thank you for hanging out, Frisk, and thank you so much for joining Emmy on that raid. It was a real pleasure to meet your acquaintance, and I uh, hope you have a great rest, dude. Hey, what's up, little mag- Maggles? What's up, little Maggles? Yo, let's save, let's save one time. I, I since I got, like, the suppressor and stuff, right? Alright, so... If I recall correctly... I do remember a little detail when I was playing this game as a kid, right? If you actually eliminate the scientists who are working on the Shagohot right now, the Shagohot later will have, like, issues. It will have problems. Chin up. Oh. It's Rare Diamond, but I changed the name. Yo. Alright, I'm gonna try to remember it's you, uh, Maggles. 
Yo. Can a scientist be here? Oh, a, a, a scientist can't be here? Wait, what? Okay, I was experimenting. I, I, a scientist can't be here. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Oh, do we have like a maintenance outfit? It's possible, right? We can get, get a maintenance outfit. How's this game going? I was thinking of getting it. How are you going to get it though? It's an old game, Maggles. You gotta, you gotta be playing, you gotta have a PlayStation 3 in order to get it. It's a good game, great game. It's a masterpiece. I love it. And how is the kitty? Kitty's fine. Kitty's fine. I, I just gave her some lunch. She didn't finish the whole thing, so I kind of left the bowl there. So I gotta go back and clean it up later. I hope the ants don't get to it first before I clean it, otherwise it's gonna be gross. Yeah, my kitty is like, she's like, she tends to eat less nowadays. I don't know if that's she's growing out of her kitty face. You know, because like kittens, they eat three meals a day, but full grown cats eat two. So I think she's reaching that full grown cat phase. Damn. Bro, I don't have a maintenance outfit. Okay, can I hide in a box? The guy is coming over to check me out, right? I want to interrogate him to see if he knows anything else. Okay, I'm gonna equip my mark. Okay, wait, I gotta switch camouflage because like apparently my camouflage doesn't even work here. Uh, I guess I'll wear an olive drab. For my face, we can go for woodland or splitter. Splitter is cool. I wanna like get this guy, interrogate him and see what he knows and then we'll put him to sleep. Hmm. Is he coming here or what? Uh, I, I can hear his footsteps. Yeah, it's taking him forever to get up here. Okay, I think he's like almost here. Oh no, he fell asleep. I wanted to interrogate him, but he fell asleep. Okay, he might have some items on him. Let me check. Okay, M1911 bullet. I don't need that. Grenade full. Okay. Uh, should I put this guy to sleep? I think I should put this guy to sleep. Because if he wakes up, he's going to alert like everyone. If he's asleep, he's going to assume that it's a dream. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so here's the thing. Um... I gotta be planting C3 all over this place, right? Oh, maybe I should interrogate that guy. I should interrogate this guy. See if he knows anything. Is this guy hungry or what? The treading behemoth. Answer me. The armor on Shagohan's connecting sections is weak. Oh. oh speak. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna put this guy to sleep. Uh, maybe aim towards the head. 
Okay, maybe he got some items on him. Ooh, rations. My food is full. Battery, cool. Wait, what? Oh shit, there was a soldier. Okay, I think we should put him to sleep. If we put all of them to sleep, that'll be great. Okay, let's see. Is there something here that I can take? Wait, what? Oh, one of the engineers saw me. Damn it. Oh my god, how does the guy all the way at the bottom there see me? That guy must have the eyesight of a freaking like Hawkeye, bro. That guy should be in the Avengers. He can see me without binoculars. Right? Yeah, that was my bad. Damn. Shagohad. I think I should put all of them to sleep. You know, I got like lots of Mark 22 bullets. So I might as well just put it to good use. I wish I got rotten food by now, you know? Just so I can like poison all of them. Your extreme vision ranges are scary. You're super scary. Super scary, bro. Like half a map away that guy sees me. Okay, uh, let's wear a better camouflage. So let's wear a splitter. Wait, olive drab actually works better here. Face, let's wear splitter. Okay. Damn, I can't wait if, you know to get that like special item like where you get to like become stealth. Like you go you go invisible. But I think you only get that if you finish the whole game with zero alerts. Okay, that's like double the dose, bro. Huh? Oh no, he's gonna report it. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Damn, man. Oh shit, I can see the support unit coming down. Oh, there's an item here. Oh, Mossin Bullet. This guy's waking up pretty soon, man. Da -da. Uh, do you see the sleeping scientists? Are they gonna call off the alert? Oh shit. You love the older games like these. Me too, man. Oh no! I forgot to equip an item! I can't grab him and do CQC unless I have an item. My bad. Damn! <sighs> okay.
Okay, you know what? I should take this really slow. I'm, I think I'm rushing it. So that's why, like, you know, my... Man, my skills are getting so sloppy. <sighs> Damn. I, I really hate big spaces like these, right? Because there's not much, like, ways to hide. I should try to be more methodical. Like, if I'm, if I'm going a certain area, I should just focus on that area. If I use the Masin Nagan, like, the bullet will be too loud, right? There's no way that you can, like, do it with quietly. Is it possible? Is the Masin Nagan, like, a silenced weapon? Okay, Masin Nagan. But I also should save the bullets for, like, a more important fight, like a boss fight. It's possible, but these those guys have to be pretty far, got you. Okay, uh, I've got to change our camo again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, okay, Olive Drab. And for face mask, let's go with Splitter. Okay, so the guy, the guy over here, he's the, like the quickest guy to, to notice me. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Okay, there's an item over here. Moss and bullet. They seem to be giving you a lot of moss and bullets, man. Which makes me, like, believe that they might be a reason. Okay, uh... Yo, I'ma just experiment. I might get caught, but like I wanna try just shooting them with the Mossin. So can I equip it? Okay, I gotta unequip something. Unequip smoke grenade Mossin. Oh, they can hear the gunshots! They can hear the gunshot. But they're not calling for backup though, because I guess they're like ordinary engineers. They don't know any better. Okay, we gotta up this guy's medication. Okay, we should probably put that, that engineer to sleep. Okay, we can also put this guy to sleep. We should, right? Ah, oh, so hard. Oh no 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 no! I thought he was gonna ring the uh, the the bell. Okay, okay. I wonder if these guys actually have items on them. Okay, wait, Phil, so first thing first, uh, I gotta equip the C3. C3. Is that good? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh shit, he saw me. Ah, uh, fuck. He's gonna see the corpse of the guy first, right? Okay, this might be a game over. Ah, uh, okay, wait. First thing first, I gotta eat something. So let's eat the... 
I want to make some rotten food. I want to keep some rotten food, bro. Corpse, aren't they just sleeping? Well, I call it a corpse, though. Yeah, he probably will see that corpse. Jadrid says, I don't know how far these guys can hear in your extreme, so I'm guessing very far. Yeah, very far. Mossin Nagan, a very versatile rifle. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love the rifle a lot. Yeah, we eating lamb. I I don't know if this is considered lamb. I think it's more like goat. It's like mutton. Okay, I gotta I gotta knock out the soldier who's coming upstairs. He's gonna see the, the sleeping guy. <gasps> what the fuck? What's wrong? Answer me. I hope I I hope I can get some intel. The crane. You can climb to the top. And Speak. what crane? Let me go. Wonder what items you can get. Oh, you get you can get medical supplies. Oh, it's mutton. What what's what is lamb by the way? Is lamb like a baby goat or some shit? The reason I put him to sleep is because if you knock him out normally, uh and he wakes up, he's gonna call it in. If he's asleep, he'll think it's a dream. Lamb are from sheep. Oh I got you. Ah, okay, so lamb is like basically meat from a she of sheep. It's kind of like what pork is to pig, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, there's a door over here. Can I go through the, the door? Oh, the door actually takes you to a room. I don't know if there's anyone through the door. Oh shit. I can't go through. It, it does say, on the map it does say there's a room inside, but I don't know how to access it. Mutton is old sheep, goat is goat. We are sheep and old is the shepherd. <laughs> exactly. Okay, uh, C3, we gotta plant it here. That's one, right? Snake? Eba. I finished planting the bomb on the rail bridge. If we get rid of the bridge, the enemy won't be able to follow us. Okay, whatever, man. I think that's the alarm. Is that an engineer? Oh, there's a soldier here. Okay, what is inside the, the van though? I want to see. Okay, nothing inside the van. Okay, uh, get back in the box. So where's the other locations of the, uh, the things? Let me see the map. Okay, we got one C3 here, another C3 here. I mean, we can cut through here, I guess. Okay, there, there, I think this engineer woke up. If he sees me, it's alert and it's game over. Ah, oh, shit. Damn. Woohoo! Uh oh. Oh, there's a so. Oh shit, no, I think this might be a fail, bro. There's like too many of them. 
It's just a box, bro. Yeah, that guy's looking at me. It's just a box. You didn't see shit. Look somewhere else. Are you serious? He will not divert his gaze. And all the guys that I shot earlier are now awake. Huh. Oh my god, that soldier actually comes downstairs. What the fuck? Professional shepherd. Professional. Uh oh. Yeesh. Oh. Okay, okay. Damn, I want to shoot that engineer, but. I think the engineer is probably going to come back down here. It's so dark, I can't see shit. Oh, this is one of the things I got to plant a bomb at. Okay, wait. Okay, uh, C3. Okay, that's the third bomb. Uh-oh, this guy might be waking up soon. Oh, shit. Is he coming here? I don't know where the engineer went. What the hell? Did he just disappear? Oh fuck. Oh shit. He might have saw me. Ah, oh, this guy's gonna wake up. Shoot him in the dick. Nasu. I think we got one last bomb to plant. Uh oh, 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 uh uh, okay, C3. Oh, I did it! Okay, so that was professional cutscene time. <sighs> Damn. We got 20 minutes, right? Damn. Stupid ass Eva giving me a heart shaped C3. I'm gonna make it into a moth. I wonder that what that symbolizes, like, snake? Oh, that also could symbolize a butterfly because snake is like a butterfly, right? Because like once he graduate by defeating all the, the enemies, like, you know. Damn. Got you this time. Got you this time. Yo. Metal Gear, bro. Metal Gear. Uh oh. Do we have to get out of here, though? Major, I finished planting the C3. I'm on my way out now. Hurry, Snake. Is Eva taking care of the escape route? Yeah. Are you sure? She can handle it. Alright then, we'll hurry up and get out of there. 
I think Sokolov is dead. Remember behind the waterfall when he tried to catch the butterfly but couldn't? That's what he mean by gotcha this time. Yo, I remember, I remember. That wasn't a butterfly actually, that was like a moth. Ah shit. Wolgin. Ah oh, shit. Why is the boss still kicking my ass? I'm professional, bro. That's my gun. Why'd you come back? The boy. <laughs> the boy? You mean like Ocelot? Or you mean Snake? Oh, she professional as fuck. Ocelot is your favorite. I got you. You call him the boy. <laughs> Yo, I know Kung Fu, bitch. Watch out. But Snake is getting closer to beating her. Oh shit. Damn. One, three, zero. Oh no, he's showing the timer. That guy is showing the timer. Okay, so we got past this part, but we got a long way to go. The boss had a smile there when they are fighting. They did? Really? Did she smile? I didn't notice that. I think she got surprised. I don't think she smiled. I think she was like, huh? He's gotten better. Damn. I think this is where we have the Volgan fight. The Volgan boss that fight. woman was found snooping around my underground vault. When she was captured, look what we found on her. The Philosopher's Legacy. The Philosopher's Legacy. Yeah, that's all the money in the world, bro. I think that's like what like Snake used to open this up Outer Heaven. Film contains all the information oh my god, the, the sorrow. 12 minutes. I say that this film itself is the Philosopher's Legacy. It was the smell that gave You're her away. You're pretty good. No, not the perfume. It was gasoline. Down. Motorcycle gasoline. She reeked of it. Holy shit. To think that lovely Tatiana was a spy. We found this radio along with her too. Damn. No more contact for you, Such girl. A fine woman she was. Almost pains me to have to kill her. Damn. <laughs> yes, she was an obedient one. She was my precious little pet. Oh! No more babies for Isn't you, girl! That right? Well, technically, that's not true because she's the mom of Solid Snake and Liquid. She was more like what the surrogate, that? like, Do test you tube for so- Whoa. She about to put one Go off. To hell. You dirty whore. I've had enough kisses from you. Ooh. Look at the sorrow. <laughs> 10 minutes 30 seconds. Just like the KGB to send something so beautiful yet so deadly. Spoiler, what she's not from the KGB. Legacy? She ain't from the KGB, Very bro. Well. I'll explain it before I kill you. Ah shit. The sorrow having fun. Yeah. We got like how many minutes? Ah. Uh, all right, pay During attention. This part is important. War, the most powerful men in America, China, and the Soviet Union had a secret pact. China. The pact was a blueprint for defeating Huge. the Axis powers and creating a new world order. To secure victory in the war, this is like the Illuminati. Three countries pooled their resources to conduct the most covert types of operations and research. The atomic bomb, rocket technology. The Cobra unit. Cobra unit was part of them? 
And they amassed an enormous sum of money to fund these projects. Enough to fight the war five times over. Holy shit. I think it was like a hundred billion. That wealth is the philosopher's legacy. Imagine what you could do won, with that much money. Three countries were to divide hmm, the philosopher's what legacy I do amongst with that money? I don't know, this bro. This explains why the United States. I really don't know what I would be doing with that money. Steal away the best scientific minds in Germany as soon as the war ended. But our great motherland has far surpassed its pathetic rise. I guess I would like try to enjoy life. We possess enormous wealth. Try to like fly to like travel, play games, power, visit like every like game country. studio. Invest, I guess. My father was one of the men in charge of managing the philosopher's legacy. Just a, his, his father is M. Bison the that from Street after Fighter. The war ended, he devised a series of ingenious plots to ensure that the Soviet Union would have total control over the legacy. The money was divided up and laundered through banks all over the world. Zawardo. Switzerland, Australia, and Hong Kong. Australia. Good night, mate. This microfilm contains a record of all those transactions. After my father's death, I learned of this secret and obtained the microfilm. That's like the credit card to all With the money? With this money and the support of Brezhnev and his allies, Brezhnev. I built this fortress of Groznygrad Groznygrad. research facility. His dad can dive horizontally in the air for more than 40 seconds. Fool, Brennan, His dad was the, results, the was like the was boss in Street Fighter. Dog Sokolov, uh, his invention, the Shagohard. Ooh, Shagodelic. Behave. My position in Gru made it too troublesome to attack Sokolov's facility directly. But the spy network established by the secret pact still existed. I used it to contact the boss suggested that she defect it's like every bad guy in like every movie and game have to explain things my way the world was once one even in james bond the right they, they have the, the time to explain to you like the whole plan in two. we will use the legacy to heal that rift she looks super young this is the end the end looks like kind of like younger to too. do this we need strength an unstoppable trump card with enough power to bring order to the world Shagohad. Trump card Metal to Gear. Be the Shagohad and the Cobra unit. But we just got done killing all the um, shit like uh, Cobra unit boys. They were tryhards, bro. Super tryhards. <laughs> Jumping on trees and shit. I have thinking they the Cobras, slick. But I still have the Shagohad and the legacy. There is nothing America can do to stop us. America. Yo. Boss. Take this someplace safe. Oh my gosh, she gave it to the boss. He's gonna pull away his hand. Almost like a sense like, hey, you better hold on to that shit, girl. I think this was Take her mission all it. along. Her mission all along was to acquire the Philosopher's Legacy for America. He wouldn't have come waltzing back in here unless he had a reason. The C3's been stolen. He must be planning some sort of sabotage. I'll go see if there are any surprises waiting for us. I'll dispose of her as well. I wonder if he starts to suspect a boss. Leave everything to me. Oh shit. I think she's trying to protect like uh like Eva. And be gonna fight Volgen. I'm gonna go use like all CQC fight on Volgen. Like a warrior, Volgen. But of course. But of course. I don't know what's that look like Ocelot gave the boss. That's weird. I wonder if Let if they me know. Face him. I've been waiting for this moment. Time to get even. Jesus, man. Gotta watch this like Jack o Jack face like do his thing. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. No more judo and no more field strips.
Enough of this. Oh shit, he taking the gloves off. Damn. He's mine. You will stand right there and watch. Got it? Please, Colonel, let me Silence! Silence! <laughs> Such a spoiled bitch, man. I love Ocelot. I think Ocelot is my favorite character in this game. Volgan to gonna do a rock lead, bruh. Huh? Oh shit. Oh shit, it's a sorrow. <laughs> Seven minutes less. Damn. Sorry for the delay. Let's get started, shall we? Ah! Ooh. I didn't know this thing was a platform. Okay, we gotta save before we do this fight, though. This is a once-in-a-lifetime battle. Let's make it a good one. He's like the first, like a cyborg. I think he is, right? It's just you and me now. I'm gonna try to beat him just using CQC, bro. Five minutes, holy oh, fuck. That FPS drop when the lightning strikes. I didn't notice that. Oh shit. Oh damn, he's gonna give me weapons. I love Ocelot bro, Ocelot is like so like flamboyant and shit. Oh shit. CQC, baby. Okay, I gotta see first. You're mine, son of the boss. Bro, I might beat this game today, man. If I do, I might take a break tomorrow. Okay, I'm a save. You wanna save? All right. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I think that's the song of his boss fight, man. I remember having a lot of problems with this boss fight. Yep, there it is. Holy oh, shit. Oh shit, what is that? Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit, I'm vomiting. Alright, 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 alright. I gotta cure myself. Uh, bone fracture, holy shit. Ralph called. Damn, I vomited. You need some rubber gloves. Dude, I don't have rubber gloves. I, I might die, bro. I'm just gonna make it right very clear that I might fail this one, but you know. Yo, he hits super hard. But this is European Extreme, man. Oh my god, I can't touch him. I can't touch him when he's on electricity. Ah, someone call Luffy the monkey. Can he defeat him? Volgan is pretty hard, bro. Emmy, how did you do it? And I'm trying to beat him in a non-lethal way. That's why I'm using only like CQC. Damn. 
Oh, you was on normal first of all. I got you. I got you. And I I don't think you were playing non-lethal, right? You're playing to kill. Yeah, that's how it is, guys. Whenever it's game over, I gotta I gotta reload the game because you know European Extreme and all that. Oh, you were doing non-lethal. That's a really good challenge. Any tips? I'm gonna try to just do it, do it like with CQC, you know. Oh shit! Oh, I didn't know you get electrocute you like that. Here it comes. Let's see your dog this one. I'm dead. Holy shit. Oh wait. Don't I have like body armor? I don't think I do. You shoot him with the Mossin or the Mark 22. Got you, got you. But when he's on electricity, he doesn't like actually like um get hurt, right? By Mossin or Mark 22. Damn. I just get hit twice and it's over. I wonder if I crouch on the floor while he's shooting, does he miss? When he's electric, don't shoot. All right, I got you. Oh, I did get the sneaking suit. Should I wear that? Does that, does that work? I don't know if that works. It works? Oh wait, how does it work? Oh, the sneaking suit halves the damage. Damn, that's helpful. Thank you, Amy. I'm gonna wear that, I'm gonna wear that. Camouflage. Okay, sneaking suit. Where is it? Damn, like a badass, bro. Game gameplay advice okay for now? Yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's okay for now. I'm not gonna use the glow cap thing, because like, I don't know. I don't know if it really works. I think the shaft grenade might work too, really? Die. I'm using basically skills that I remembered when I was a kid, right? Shit, no, no, no. <sighs> Three minutes, bro. Oh, shit. Okay, yo, chill, chill, chill. Okay, I, I got shot by bullets. Gotta like extract that, disinfect, styptic, and what else? Uh, bandages? Okay, so do I use a life mat now or do I just push on? Woohoo! I got a trophy! What's up, Fox? It's okay when Oats is scared of cat. Wait, what? I'm not scared. I'm like using a, uh, I'm using CQC. Equipping the right Oh, equipping Rykov. I forgot about that. Yo, okay, wait. I'm not gonna equip Rykov mask. I think that's cheap. I wanna like defeat him with my own skills. You got frazzled and couldn't tell if it worked, but I remember it being a thing. Thank you, Emmy. Oh, what the fuck? That's cheating! Yeah, 
I wanted to like get him, but he's on he's on electric. Oh shit! Okay, I don't I don't know how to deal with his bullets. Ocelot being a bro. I don't know how to deal with his bullets, like I don't know what to do when he's shooting me like that, right? Like, do I go in the box or... With the gun move, you kind of just want to run. Ah, I got you, I got you. But sometimes there's not really much space to run. Like, sometimes I'm like near a wall and he's kind of got me. But so far, I'm defeating him with CQC. I'm not even using like my Mark 22. And if I can defeat him with purely CQC, I think that's gonna be quite an achievement. I suggest blinding him with stun grenades when he's about to shoot you. I got you. Okay, blinding him with stun grenades. Dodge jumping stops you long enough to get you got. Running seems to get you ahead of it. Okay. Okay, I got you. So, yeah, jumping is gonna like make you slow down and he's gonna like eventually like fucking get you. Okay, this is where I equip the camouflage. Okay, so the camouflage halves the damage, I think. Here it comes. Damn, the music is so good. Okay, I'm just waiting for him to shoot me so I can like get him. Is he gonna start shooting? Ah. Oh my god, I got hit! I still got hit by the bullets, man. It's, it's like, even when I'm running, he tries to readjust the trajectory of the bullets to hit me. I don't know if I should be using the life mat or should I be saving it? I can't touch him when he's electric. Oh, I should I shouldn't I shouldn't do that. I should roll. But you know what? I think I'm gonna use a live mat. I is it advisable if I use a live mat right now? Oh, it's not. You know why? Because later when we go on the um, there there's gonna be like a a level where a bunch of soldiers are gonna be chasing you and Eva, right? They're gonna be shooting a lot at you, and I think the live mat could be used to like save yourself. Ah, he got me. Ah, the fight is just really hard. When I played as a baby, it took me 20 tries probably got you. And that was not easy. Oh, crap. How do you how do you dodge the bullet? Like, I, I can't seem to, even though I'm running. Hmm. I guess like maybe the best way to go about it is to. What what if you go prone? If you go prone on the ground, will he still target you? I was thinking of actually like maybe like getting close to him. Or maybe like running further from him is better because he takes like more winding arcs. Yeah, getting further from away from him could work. Could work. Because I think like the closer you are to him, like the more like Yeah, I think so. I think the the quicker he can turn. Okay, camouflage. Just a guess though, I got you. I mean, it might work, it might work. But sometimes he just stands there. Here it comes. I 
wonder if you can do anything right now. Oh, he doesn't work. You remember running around in a circle. Okay, he might shoot bullets right now. Yeah, he's gonna shoot bullets. He seems to work. I can't I can't attack him though once you know I avoid that thing. I got three minutes. I remember when he does double combos, that's when you want to CQC him. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Ah, oh, he's gonna recharge. Oh shit, he got me, he got me. Okay, okay, chill. So, so far, it's... I don't know, it's kind of working. Like, like I said, like, this game is kind of like... A puzzle. You gotta, you gotta solve it. Okay, I might still die though, so I don't know. Oh fuck. I think you might be able to shoot him in the back when he's electrified, maybe, okay. Okay, I- fuck. Oh, when he's about to shoot bullets, you can actually like- okay, so the thing is... When he's about to shoot bullets, you can actually CQC him, because like when he's in the bullet mode... Uh, he's actually vulnerable. So instead of running away from him, I should be running towards him. He un electrifies. Yeah, the music is really good. Yeah. Okay, alright, chill, chill, chill. I'm watching out for him if he does like a double combo. If he does a double combo, he un electrifies. Okay, that's like, okay, that's first phase, right? He, ha he has two phases. And all CQC, so that's pretty good. All right, I might still fail, Amy, so let's not get excited. I might fail the second phase. I don't have any health. <laughs> Ocelot is like, what a pussy, man. CQC only is pretty impressive. Thank you, Jay Do you Durin. hear me? I said shoot him! I might still fail, so I, I, I have a feeling I might need to try this boss Sorry, fight two Colonel. to three times. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Wait, what? That's his Silence. mom. I, I wonder what was his officer. promise to the boss. <laughs> Holy shit, he's for real, bro. He's for real. You can't stop Ocelot. Oh, that weakened him even more. Are you questioning my authority? Respect my authority. I have no health, bro. Fight like a man, Volgin. Oh shit, that was what like the boss said, I think. Volgin. Emergency. Explosives have been detected. All ah, shit. personnel must evacuate immediately. Ocelot, find those bombs. 
Hey, he he ain't gonna find those bombs, bro. Repeat, explosives have been detected. All non EOD personnel. EOD? I don't know what EOD stands for. Move it! Huh. Huh. I might fail this. I guys, don't hold your hopes up. I need to fight this guy like probably two to three times. You're pretty good. <laughs> Volgan is like, what the fuck is wrong with that dude? Ah shit. My hope is way up there. Damn. Ready Explosive ordinance disposal. Snake. snake. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I wasn't quick enough. I, I know you got to crouch during that time, right? Because when I was a kid, I did that. He, he flies bullets everywhere. Okay, so we kind of got the first phase down, right? So once we get to the first phase, we know when the cutscene shows up, I'm not going to watch the cutscene. Good luck with Volgan and Beyond. I gotta get to bed. Nice to meet you. Yo, thank you, Jay. Have a good rest and I'll see you next time. Yeah, I shouldn't have touched him because I kind of got greedy. Like when he did his thing, I was like, damn, he was ready to like, to knock down. I gotta try to get it perfect. I think it's possible for me to do this entire fight without getting injured. EOD, yeah, we got that first. Thank you, man. I think he's gonna start shooting the electric first and before he tries the bullet. Okay, now he's gonna do the bullet, right? He's probably going to do the bullet. Die. Oh! He was open! He was open! Ah, I'm dead. He was open! Holy shit! I think part of it is because like I don't have my sneaking suit on. Welcome back, Frisk. But yeah, like whenever he's about to shoot the bullet, that's when he is ready. I think like, if I can't safely CQC him, I think I should just roll at him. Open is one way of putting it. Damn. Uh, I can do this. I can totally do this without even taking a single damage. But I, it's more like, it's still, it's, it's like, I'm still figuring out like, um, what you call it? The, um, I'm still figuring out like the, the first phase. But it's pretty cool that at the start you get like a free CQC like uh, slam. Okay, change the camouflage to the sneaking suit. So hopefully we can lower the, uh, what you call it? Lower the damage. Hey, thank you, Fox. You might fall asleep. Yo, no problem, Frisk. If you fall asleep, um, that means you get some rest, you know? Okay, he's gonna shoot the electric first, right? I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't see you see him. It's, it's like, he has like, he has basically like, uh, what you call it? He's like invincible. Like you can't hurt him until like the last second. So I might die again, but it's okay. And then he's going to shoot the electric, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's gonna shoot the electric. Okay, now he's gonna go back to bullet mode, I think. I got him! I was in front of him! I just got him! I don't know why they didn't allow me to grab him. Okay, I might die. Okay, he's gonna shoot electricity. Okay, he's gonna go electric. Okay, he might go into bullet mode. Whose side are you on? Bullet mode. Uh oh. Okay, he's going to bullet mode. I'm dead. Ah. Uh. So I think like. Trying to take him out when he goes into bullet mode is actually, like, very unsafe. It's possible for those speedrunners, you know the exact, like, frame, like, you can do it, but I don't think it's advisable. I think it's, it's not that hard first. I think it's possible. Like, if I can take the fight, like, slower, and that ensures my win better, right? But it's possible. It's possible. Like, remember we got to second phase, like, quite quickly? Don't worry guys, I got this fight. It's more like I'm trying to get used to his animations, I'm just trying to like bait out certain moves. The rules in Vulnerable Fames run out that soon, huh? Interesting. I think it's like more like the bullets, man. I think even if you roll, you still get hit. And I don't know if I should like, if I roll... Like should I like, should I like run back? Whenever he shoots the um the bullet. By the way, just a disclaimer, I might lose again, but I'm a, I'm gonna try. Okay, he's gonna shoot out electric. Uh, that that I know for sure. So this one is electric. He's such a show off, man. Oh shit! Oh! I, I, I wanted to grab him, but... Oh my god. I took some unnecessary damage. Okay, he might be shooting bullets. Okay, so that... Okay, he's gonna shoot electric, right? Okay, he's gonna shoot electric. Is he gonna shoot, like, uh, bullets? Oh! Oh, shit! Alright, he's gonna shoot bullets. Yep, playing safer is much more worth it, man. Okay, is he gonna go electric? That's like almost half his stamina. Oh, he's bullet time. Bullet time. Ah, shit. Is that- is this phase 2? I don't- <laughs> Asla is a real one, bro. He does like a two-hit combo. Oh, he's doing electric, okay. Oh no, that's bullet! That's bullet! Oh, I might die, I might die. Holy fuck. 
Yeah, this is hard, man. Ah, <sighs> that was like almost like a perfect like run, man. It's so hard to tell sometimes which 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 one he'll do first. Oh, I'm dead, bro. Okay, he's gonna do the electric. Nice suit. <laughs> You're ready to regret this. Okay. Oh, okay. So my food is really low. I should eat something. Uh, Markor. Hey, this works. So hopefully my health can recover because my stamina is up. Oh. All right, it's okay. All right, electric. Okay. First phase done. It's not that hard. It's not that hard, son. Okay, I'm going to skip this cutscene. Oh fuck. <gasps> Why did I roll at him? I wanted to I wanted to go prone. I rolled at him. Oh! Okay, I got first phase down though. I got first phase down. I wanted to go down on the ground. Damn. I got first phase down though. I think like phase two is like the same as phase one, except that he does that whole bullet storm thing. That's where you just got to go prone. That's it. I want to finish like this fight with no health damage taken too, man, because it will like help so much in the later, like the, like the later stages, man. The later stages is like so bullshit, you know? Excuse me. Man. Clean, very clean, very clean. Okay, sneaking suit to take less damage. Are you saving the life mats? Yes, I am. I'm saving it for like the later chase sequence where it probably will get fucking real, man. Probably gonna go to bullet mode. I should be running at him also. But I'm trying to play it safe. I'm waiting for him to do electric. Alright, there we go, there we go. He's gonna do electric. Okay, he's probably gonna do bullet mode next. Yep, he's gonna do bullet mode. Oh, I got hit. Oh shit, no, I got greedy, I got greedy. I, I wanted to run at him, fucking hell, bro. That was so perfect until I got greedy. I wanted to like knock him down. <sighs> All right, let me just do this. Quiet Ocelot! 
he's gonna uh, he's going to go bullet mode. All right, don't attempt to hit him. He's gonna go. Okay. Okay, he's gonna electric. Oh shit! Oh, that's bullet mode. Oh, I totally forgot. That was my bad, that was my bad. If I knew he was going to go bullet mode, I would have like played that different. I would have gone to the edge. That way I can kind of like make him shoot further. The mix up, yo, the mix up. Because when he did electric, I thought the next one, damn, actually technically it shouldn't be surprising. He did a mix up. <sighs> okay, don't get greedy. Don't attack him in even in bullet mode. Just play safe. You don't need to speed run this fucking shit. Just no damage, no healing items, pure CQC fight. We got this. We got this. Even the fact whenever I knock him down to the ground and I roll over his body, do you know why I did that? Because when I attempted to like kick him, he immediately like electrics and he like burns my leg. <laughs> so rolling on him is like way better. Okay, knock him down one time. Roll. Okay, now change change your camouflage to sneaking. So it's almost like once you know the pattern, like the first few damage is kind of guaranteed. Now he's gonna do like an electric wave. Yeah, the electric wave is where... Just stand here. Yep. Nice suit. Alright, now he might- he, he wanted to late hit me, for sure. Alright, and then he's gonna do the bullet. Alright, that's okay. He's gonna do the electric wave next. Alright, he's gonna do electric wave. Okay, now he's gonna go to back to bullet. Okay, bullet. Alright, bullet. Alright, nice. Nice Sue! Okay, now he's going... He should be going back to electric. No, no, no. Oh! Oh! I shouldn't like run away from him. I should be going near him. Okay. He's going to go bullet. Bullet is like when you want to go far from him. But when he does the electric thing, you want to go near. Okay, it's okay. At least I, I learned that mistake. I think he's gonna recharge from the machine. Yeah. So you can't do anything right now. Let's see what items they got. SAA bullet. Oh shit. If he does a two call. Okay. Oh, I fucked up. I thought he was gonna do it in electric. I thought he was gonna do it in electric. Every time he goes back to refill from that machine, he immediately goes to bullet. So I might die this round. It's okay. I'm trying to get him to do like the mix up. Okay, he's going to do electric. Okay, he's going to do bullet next. I thought you will regret this. Okay, he's gonna do a bullet. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, the next one is gonna be bullet. He's gonna do bullet. Yeah, he's gonna do a bullet. Oh no! Oh no, that's electric! Oh shit. I don't know why is he doing standing there. Is he gonna do bullet next? Oh, he's gonna do bullet. Oh shit. Down. Doesn't give you much window to be reactive, that's true. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. So phase two, get on the ground. 60 seconds, bro. I is that Yeah, I can't I can't slam him. You got literally 60 seconds. Is that bullet? Oh my god, we got 30 seconds. I don't know how to beat him in 30 seconds. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh. Okay, this time I think like we have no choice, but like when he goes into bullet mode, we should also still try to take him down. Because I, I waste a lot of seconds, right? Whenever he's in bullet mode, like this, when he goes to bullet mode, I will in, like just be running around him till I can, when he de-electrifies, then we take him down. I think there's no point in going far from him anymore. It's like whenever he, he does his thing, you know, the closer you are to him, the more, I mean, it's, it's still a risk, man. Bullet is like when you go are like so close to him, boom. I wonder if I can roll away from the bullet and then run at him to take him down. Thunderbolt not fucking around. Yo, he doesn't fuck around. He's pretty hard. Okay, let me see. Camouflage. Sneaking. I might have to waste my life mat. I don't know. I might regret it because later, like, life mat is so important. I wonder if he can do anything. I tried to throw a magazine at his head. It didn't work. Oh, I did it! I did it! When he went to bullet mode, I managed to slam him down. Alright, he's going to electric mode. Okay, he's going to bullet mode next, for sure. Alright, he's going to bullet mode. Oh shit! No, no, no! Fuck. I didn't know why I didn't CQC see him that time. Okay, now he's going to go to bullet mode, I think. Yeah, when he staggers back... Oh shit! No, 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 no! Shit. 
shit. I, I think I'm too far from him when he goes to bullet mode, man. It's like... It's like space management. Okay, I'm gonna like eat something so that like hopefully my... My, uh, what you call it, my health recovers over time. But damn, I, I kind of got him a little bit. You gotta play very close to the edge though. Okay, this one is easy. The greed is real. No, it's not greed. It's it's tactical skill. Because we don't have much time to fight him. Oh, he did two combos. He was de-electrified. De See, he was de-electrified. Okay, yeah, right here, right here, right here. See, when he goes into bullet mode, you can, you can like knock him down. Don't question me, Fox. Don't question me. You don't know this game. You don't play this game. That's the difference between us. Oh, he was right there. Oh my god! Okay, phase two. Oh, uh, phase two is such a bitch, bro. I got phase one down. Phase two is another level. Oh my god. And also what I don't understand is like he was he wasn't electrified, right? Why couldn't I grab him? Like when he was shooting the bullets, he wasn't like electrified. When I tried to grab him to slam him down, I got electrocuted. Either that's a glitch or I don't know, man. <sighs> but I, I did prove a point. Whenever he goes into bullet mode, you can take him down if you're in close enough. You don't have to like run away because like each time you run away, it's precious seconds on the clock. The timing seems pretty precise. It is. But you wouldn't know anything about that, right, Fox? It's very easy to talk shit about when someone is playing the game and you're not. And especially coming from a guy who doesn't really really play Metal Gear Solid 3. Come on, man. Hey, this works. Alright, you can't do anything right now. So I'm just just chill. The first the first attack he's gonna do is the electric wave. So you just wait for it to stop, he de-electrifies, and then you take him down. So he de electrifies about now. Oh! Oh! I don't know why I didn't like fucking like. But... Oh, dude. Can I can I restart the fight? <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna kill myself. Yo, I'm I I, I want to restart. Damn! It's it's like when you run at him, you gotta press the right button. Otherwise, you start doing attacks. Damn! I fucking hate I how precise you gotta be, man. It's okay. <sighs> Damn, I'm so salty. I know how to beat this guy, but I'm so salty. Also, I think like maybe in phase two, when he goes into bullet mode, maybe I should play it safe there. Unlike phase one. I got this. Man, Volgan actually makes me feel like the boss fight is even gonna get crazier, you know? Cause boss is supposed to be way better than Volgan, right? No hate, yo, no hate, then keep like don't be negative. Like whenever I try something, don't be a bitch. Just just like enjoy the stream. Don't say like yo, you're greedy, yo, you're doing it wrong. Why don't you play this game in stream and like play this on European Extreme? Use your Mongol powers. Okay, I will use my Mongol powers. <laughs> Yo. Okay, sneaking suit. Here it comes. Only love. Thank you, Maggles. Fox likes to criticize the way you play games, but he doesn't even play this game, even on this difficulty. I don't like hypocrites. If you're gonna if you're gonna like comment on something, you should achieve like the equal amount, right? You should at least play this game on hard. Then maybe I'll take what you say seriously. Ah. 
So we are baiting out all his attack moves so he goes into bullet mode. Oh, I got him! I got him before he shot! I got him before he shot it off! I'm so tilted, man. I'm so fucking tilted. Alright, electric... Sometimes you're lucky he does like a double combo. Or he's going to go bullet mode. Oh shit, I got him! Oh, fuck, I was too far from him. That was my bad. Yeah, this is still bad performance, man. Nice too. Nice. See bullet mode. Ah, uh, he's gonna he's gonna refill. Okay, he is going to go bullet mode. Okay, I can't get him from here. He might be doing bullet mode again. Whose side are you on? Uh, electric wave. Okay, this is not. Oh no, bullet mode. Don't let it beat you. Damn. Damn, I might die though. I have literally no health. Okay, eat something. Oh no, this is in the cage. I shouldn't eat that. I might need still like two to three more rounds to figure him out, guys. Okay, is he gonna do bullet mode? Okay, phase two, phase two. Phase two. This is gonna be very tricky, man. I don't know if I can just do CQC for this. Oh, oh, he de-electrifies for a quick second, so I got up to slam him down, but it's only for a second. Uh, uh, but so far, we're doing good on time. So far, we're doing good on time. The last time I did this fight, I think I only had like 60 seconds left. Oh, I wonder if you skipped all the cutscenes earlier, could you have like allowed the boss fight to have more time? Or I think they they'll they'll only give you a few few minutes. They'll not change it. Because this boss fight is like very like technical. I wanna catch him so bad when he does bullet man. It's just like I'm so afraid to be near him whenever he does the electric thing, which I shouldn't, because he's as long as I don't touch him I'm fine, right? Do you want to change the fight always starts with 5 minutes? Skipping the cutscenes does nothing. I got you, got you. Sounds about right. That means like it must be the most perfect 5 minute fight of your life. Here it comes. Let's see your dark this one. Bullet mode, bullet mode. Oh, I touched him too soon. I touched him too soon. I touched him too soon, bro. Oh my god. Sometimes he delays it for so long that you're like, oh my god, I just want to like knock him down. So the timing was off. 
Ocelot! Whose side are you on? Ha! Okay, electric? Okay. Now he's gonna go bullet. I had him! I'm dead. I had him! I touched him when as soon as he... It's almost like you gotta like be so precise to grab him as soon as he de-electrifies because like... If not, he will shoot you first. Damn, bro. Maybe he got to shoot the bullet first before he get you get to like grab him. Because when I grab him when he goes into like like when he's about to shoot it, he still has like a little bit of electricity. I can't remember exactly what I did to like grab him properly. And also like when he shoots the bullet at me, is it because he's like spewing electric out of it? That's why I'm getting shocked. I still don't understand, bro. Like, how how do I did it the first time so smooth? Okay, that's for free. Sneaking outfit. Nice. Okay, bait out his 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 uh his CQC. Yep, that was nice. When he does a double combo, he de electrifies. Oh come on! Why couldn't I grab him? I guess like when you're really close to him, he does like two combo moves. Okay, he's gonna do bullet storm again. Oh shit, I didn't mean to touch him. I guess you gotta like, you, you can't, you gotta like grab him only once he starts firing off the first bullet. Because before he starts firing off the first bullet, he's, he's still in actually like in um, like electric phase, even though it's not visible on screen. Okay, I might lose this one again, but you know, I kind of find out more things. Oh, what the fuck is that? I don't know what that is. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. I think like, what I like to try to do is like, I like to try to like hop over like the first bullet, like the first bullet wave. If I first, if I hop over the first bullet wave, I wonder if he'll still do a sweeping motion. Because if he still goes the same sweeping motion over the other direction, I think we can run towards him and knock him down. Possibly. Which means that it's a safer method to take him down when he goes into that bullet mode. I think. Damn. But this boss fight is quite satisfying so far. Like, I love boss fights that are so difficult that... 
It's like, if you don't do the right things at the right time, you did. It reminds me of definitely of Dark Souls-esque, like, like level boss fights, you know? See? Hey, go to sleep, Cherry. Go to sleep. He's always got to show off, you know? Yo, much love, Sherry. It's so, like, random he does the two combo, you know? Oh, he, he, he will, he will home those things at you. He will home those guns, bullets at you. So I tried it, it didn't work. So whenever he's volleying at it, if you roll the other side, he will just point it back at you. Damn. I want him to do a double combo, but I don't know how to trigger it. Oh, I can't grab him! I can't grab him! I can't grab him! Yeah. I think for bullet, bullet face, we gotta like play more safe, man. Okay, phase two. So, I still struggle a little bit with the bullet thing, but still consistently made it to like phase two. Oh shit. What was that? It went left and then it went right. Damn. And he doesn't open up like a lot of space for you to take him down anymore in phase two. In phase two, he like, he's like always electrified, always. <sighs> okay, so again, this time when he goes into bullet mode, he fires off the first bullet, then we grab him. <sighs> so technical, man. And it's like so tempting, like once he de-electrifies, I just want to grab him as, as soon as possible. <sighs> okay, camouflage, stealth. Sneaking. Here it comes. Oh, an electric, electric wave. Nice zoo. Alright, do the double combo. Damn. Nice. Oh shit! Damn! Fucking hell, he does that bullet thing, bro. Ah. <sighs> Does anyone know, like, definitively if there's a way I can, like, 
Oh my god. Shit, I still haven't figured that one out. Ocelot, whose side are you on? Okay, like, can I beat out like the double combo thing again? Quiet Ocelot. Oh shit, I'm dead. I touched him. Damn. How was I able to grab him after he like goes into bullet mode? I think I gotta like watch the animation. Like whenever the electric just ends, immediately grab him. I'm still gonna try it. I think I'm gonna try it a couple of times. I'm not gonna play it safe when he goes to bullet. Man. Man, how do I do it so perfect? I remember there was like one fight I did with him where he went into bullet mode. I grabbed him, throw him to the ground. How did I do that? What if I just stood in front of him next time? I wanna like stand in front of him when he does he goes into bullet mode. Maybe that'll help. Kojima likes like hack and slash boss battles, man. Cause there's nothing like salty about this one. It's just like pure violence. Okay, bullet time. Oh, I can't grab him! I can't grab him, man. Fuck. Nice, Sue. He doesn't do the two combo anymore. Oh! Oh, I think the secret is to get his back. Whenever he, he just goes into bullet, get his back. And then when he turns around, then you like try to drop him. Okay, that's electric, I think. Yeah, so the bullet thing is like get his back, right? Quiet us a lot. I want him to pull out the, the two combo, man. Easy, get get his back, get his back. Oh my god. I figured it out. The bullet combo only works. You gotta get his back. Oh shit, I wanted to grab him, I wanted to grab him. Oh my god, I think I might be able to do it. Oh my god, you're doing it. Oh my god, we're doing it! We got all two minutes left. Oh shit. Oh! Oh shit. What the fuck? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I wanted. I wanted to grab him! 
I wanted to grab him, but he went back to full electric mode. Yo, but yo, we we are getting that Duran. Yo, we are learning though. We are learning though. That bullet like thing, like I had so much trouble with, just get his back. Yo, but that was tight though, right? That was tight. I'm so happy, man. I'm so happy I died so many times. Because like in the future, in the future when I play this game again, I'm gonna remember this thing these things clearer. And I'm gonna be an even better like like Metal Gear player. Bam. Is also positioning is very important. So whenever you know his next phase is gonna be a bullet phase, you kinda wanna get him in the center so that he he can turn around. See, it's, it's like, damn, once you figure him out, it's like so fun. Because people are going to suffer with this guy, right? But you have a way to defeat him that is consistent. It and it's also pretty badass. At the right distance, he doesn't back off. He, he immediately starts shooting. I want him to do the double combo, man. Alright, he's gonna do the bullet. Get his back, get his back, get his back. Oh, I got his back, but I still got hit? I still got his back, but I still got hit. That is kind of a little cheese. Oh my god. Down. I still got hit, man. Oh, I, I tried to grab him. I couldn't. Man, it's still like not guaranteed, man. Electric waves. Ah, uh, he's gonna do bullet. Oh fuck. I'm dead. You can kind of roll at him, man. Damn. I think I'm gonna die this round again. Down. Uh, ha, ha, ha. What did I do differently? Remember I ran behind him when he does the bullet thing and then he has to spin around and then I immediately slam him to the ground? Damn. Uh, I think I might only be able to defeat the boss tomorrow, man. But I want to defeat her today. I want to finish the game today. Hey, what's up, Crazy8? How is, how's it going, man? And welcome. Welcome to the stream. By the way, do you know how to beat Volgan? I don't ask for a lot of help, but I, I suffer with one of his attacks, man. He got one bullet attack. I know, like, you're supposed to run away, but so far I managed to, like, attack him when he did that. It seemed to work. Man, he's such a show off, man.
Nice too. Okay, he's gonna do the bullet thing. Die. I think you gotta be a certain distance away from him and then run at him. That one seemed to work. I want him to do the double combo so I can slam him, but he, he doesn't pull that out often. Okay, he's gonna do the electric wave. Oh, he saw that? He did the double combo. Uh, 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 he's gonna do the bullet hell thing. Oh shit! Oh my god, okay, okay. That, that, that. Oh my god, she's gonna hit me. I was, I was, I wanna go eat something. When he's on the ground, shoot him. Uh, but I'm doing only a CQC battle, dude. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, I should roll. Okay, that's phase one. Well, wait, you interrupted his shooting? That was weird. That wasn't weird. That's only like, um... Uh... Damn, that wasn't weird. You can interrupt his bullet thing, but you gotta like, you gotta do it the right way. You gotta like have a lot of space. I think that that part where he's like, you know, he's against the wall. I should have just avoided it. But I got like two minutes, 30 seconds on the clock. Oh shit, okay, okay, I thought he would, he, I thought he de electrified. I, I died, but no, don't feel bad. Yo, I'll, I'm getting closer. Feel happy that I got this close. You know, the thing is, I don't want to defeat him and not know how to deal with his abilities, right? No, it's not about that one CQC throw away, Duran. It's about knowing exactly what he does and how to, like, defeat that, right? Because people brute force this game like, yo, I just want to win. So they don't care that like certain abilities can be dodged or you could be like parried, things like that. They just beat the boss and they don't learn anything. Hey, I see you later, Perito. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Catch you on the flip side, man. Man, I've been streaming for almost six hours. I might, I might power through and finish this game today. I don't know. Power through, yo, thank you, Mangle. Maybe, I don't know. Once I defeat him, I might be exhausted. Got work in the morning, yo, I'll see you later, Duran.
This will be a highlight on YouTube, so you wouldn't miss it. Uh oh. Okay. Because he's against the wall, I didn't want to fight against his bullets, right? Uh, electric wave? Damn, that's really late. We interrupted his bullet. Alright, he's gonna do a, a like electric wave. Okay, phase two. Phase two. Oh my god. We beat him with just CQC. We beat him with just CQC. Holy shit. Yo. Just CQC. Hey, how many people have done that on European Extreme? Tell me. How many people have done that? You ain't a Metal Gear fan if you have never beat this game on European Extreme CQC Volgan. Grounded. Thank you, Duran. I want to do that fight again. That fight was fun. Now if I do that fight again and again and again, I could be so good. I did take some like health damage earlier though, so that wasn't a good thing. I got his camouflage man, I'm so happy. I think if you play this game again, you can... Repeat. European Extreme CPC only, can't see I've seen that done before. Aw, oh, thank you, man. It's the first time for everything, right? I feel that was like, CQC was way more effective than the MK22, man. Oh man. It's always CQC, Moss in the Gun. But those are like, also like, legit, but... You gotta aim it. CQC is only like... Damn, he's happy Snake got away. Ocelot's a real one, man. He doesn't shy away from, like, danger and shit. <sighs> Hop in. Okay, can I save? I gotta save, right? Step on it.
Yo, Duran, thank you, man, for the generous 500. Thank you, man, for that epic CQC only fight. Thank you, man. Thank you, thank you for your generosity. The boss let me go. Yo, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm only gonna defeat the boss with just CQC. How about that? How about that? I'm gonna defeat the boss with just CQC. The Shagglehot ain't dead yet, man. Down. She's at the lake. All her, all her boobies She's popping out. For waiting for me. Sounds like a plan. Yo, I'm a, I'm a do boss fight only CQC. I was hoping I wouldn't have to tell you. Oh shit, Leffy gotta go, dude. Why are we talking? Ah oh, shit. I don't want you to fight her. Yo, I'm gonna see you later, Duran. Thank I, you, man. I'm gonna have a good one. I you have a good rest. Relationship between you two. Damn, this is emotional and shit. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I hmm. envy you. Really, I do. Yo, I think we're gonna finish this game today, I man. I just can't understand it. And I, I can't wait to see my rank at the end. I better have she a fucking badass rank, bro. I've never seen someone with such clear eyes. Clear eyes. What does that mean? Well, I said it. Ready to go? Yep. Yeah. That's Volgan, right? Damn, it's not able to chase us with the speed we're going at. Can I save? Okay, I gotta save. Damn. I think we're gonna finish this game today. If I finish this game today, I'm gonna rest tomorrow, man. I can't, I can't like spend the last stream, like the last stream of the week, you know, playing some other game. How's my health? Do I got a fresh stick of health? Oh, I got a fresh stick of health. Oh, I got infinity ammo. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I think it's possible to like injure the Shagohot here. Okay, wait. Uh, what can I equip? RPG? And do I have a stinger? I don't think I have any of those. Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit. Oh I got infinity stun grenades. Why is she stopping man? Did that work? Oh shit. Down. Taking hella damage, bro. <laughs> Are you serious? Ah, 
Ah, oh, shit. My health isn't looking too fresh. Can I still shoot it with the, the, the RPG? I'm afraid of like injuring like some soldiers, you know? Oh, shit. That doesn't do anything to the Shagglehot, man. Oh, that did a little bit. Okay, yo. This fight is tight, man. Damn. Holy shit. If you go to a new area, will they give us... <laughs> oh shit, if they die it ain't my fault bro. RPG can't put a dent in that armor. We did a little bit. Bridge. I thought you bring the receipt, right? I did. We'll lure him onto the bridge. Blow him up along with it. Good plan. The bridge is on the other side of the runway. We'll have to cut through the middle of the base. You ready? Step on it. If it catches up to us, we're done for. Oh shit, Asla. <laughs> okay, Damn, go. you see that boogies jiggle? Damn. <laughs> Yo, Asla, bro. Ah shit. Whoa, he got a bite. Whoa. Damn, he's riding it like a horse, bro. Holy fuck, I saw this the truth. <laughs> this clown, man. Whoa! Did he shoot his arm? Damn, snake in the sidecar is fun, man. Oh, he knows. Oh my god. <laughs> this girl. Ah, shit. Whoa, Snake, Snake knows exactly how that thing moves, man. That was so sick. What a cutscene, man. They don't make cutscenes like that anymore. Okay, should I save? Okay, I think I should save in a different save file because like... I don't want to corrupt like one. If, if I accidentally kill any soldiers, at least I can trace back. Okay, I remember you can like... Oh, fuck. Whoa! Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, shit. Why is she stopping, man? Don't stop! Damn. My health, my health is half, though. Shit.
just like they practice. Down. I hope I didn't kill anyone, man. Why does she keep driving into them? Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Why does she keep driving into them? We gotta get out of here. Oh my god. <laughs> we did. Okay. Bro. Uh. Damn. I was almost out of there. I think later, like, it gets way harder with the motorcycles and all of them chasing after you. So far, I haven't spent my life mad and I don't intend to spend it, but, you know. Bro... Maybe stun grenades work better, you know? Oh, stun grenades work better! Okay, uh, Mark 22. Fuck, I can't see shit. No, 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 no! Stun grenade. <laughs> nah, I can't see shit. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, no. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, my God. <sighs> okay, half my health is already gone, bro. I don't know if this is possible. I, I probably need to use my life, man. Ah, uh, here we go. Whoa, is that who who is flying that chopper? Oh, that shaggle heart is gonna fuck up that chopper, bro. Stormtroopers. <laughs> they dead. Just get out of there, you dummies. Are you serious? What the fuck? That's what happens when you work with bad people, bro. <laughs> Bro, you gotta take off, man. Just run to the side. You don't have to run in front. <sighs> Whoa. He's even faster, man. Is he using a PlayStation controller to control the Shaggo Hot? That'll be funny. 
Okay, so what do? I didn't kill them, man. I, I read it up. It says if you shoot them with the tranquilizer, it's cool. Non stop, bro. Oh, man. <laughs> bro, I didn't kill them. These, the, that is a tranquilizer. Ah. <sighs> Should I save? I think I should probably save. Oh, he's gonna fuck up that MIG. I think that's a MIG, right? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> he looks like, yo, bitch. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Damn, Ocelot. You won't be getting away oh shit. Time. Ooh. Let's go to the left. Whoa! How did Ocelot survive that? He should be dead. Damn, he actually knows Ocelot is at the back. Oh, I think he burned his face a little bit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, yo. Uh RPG. Oh shit. Sure. Oh, I supposed to shoot the missiles. I forgot about that. Oh my god, I think I'm about to die. I think if I if I hit center mess. That seems to work a little bit. That seems to kind of work a little bit. I wonder if I should use my uh, life med right now. gonna overshoot. What an idiot. <laughs> what a bum. Whoa, he can break? Come on, dude, can twist. Damn, that's pretty epic. Tch. Bro, this is the bridge. only got one chance. We'll lure him over towards the other side. When the Shadow Hot is on the bridge, shoot the explosives. The oh shit. Strut up the bridge. Oh 
you serious? Let's go. Damn. Okay, can I save one time? Uh oh. Holy crap. Shoot it? I don't remember. Oh shit. I Can I save? Okay, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. <sighs> Damn. Okay, I gotta make sure I save on a separate save file because I don't know if I might fuck it up here. <sighs> Man, this is exhilarating, man. And this is- how is this like stealth? <laughs> I love Metal Gear Solid 3 so much, but sometimes like, these parts like kind of get me. A little more to the right. Shoot! Three more bombs left. What? Three more? More to the left. More to the left. Ah, oh, shit. Shoot! Two more left. It's here! Shoot! Hurry! Only one. Never no, I, I'm, I'm fuck. I'm. You suck. Did she just call? Did she just say I suck? Oh my god, you stupid bitch. Why do you plant it in such a fucked up place? Why can't you plant it in a place where it's easy to shoot? Stupid bitch. Damn. Now look at what you gonna make me do. Reload my game. Uh Kojima, bro. Boom 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 boom. I wonder if you can delete all save files, you know? I got I wanna delete like one save file when I'm done. Cause I only I, I'm OCD like that. I prefer only one save file. I planted four C3 charges. Up! Three more bombs. Shit. Shoot! Two more left. Okay, Shagohot is not here yet, though. Okay, he's not here yet. I'm gonna just chill. Nasu, I'm the best. Okay. Ooh. Damn, those guys are gonna die. How sick is it? Like, that thing can, like, fucking clear that ramp. Oh, he's also gonna do it? Nah, he's not gonna do it. He pussy. No, that's his gun. This got half his face burnt. We did it! I did it. You didn't do shit. You drove horribly. You almost killed both of us, girl. Oh shit. It's over. Nah, it ain't over till it's over, bro. He's gonna drive out of that shit, bro. Look. 
down. He just he just dropped his payload. Whoa! Oh shit! Down. Down. Music is so epic, man. This is such cheesy ass dialogue, yeah. Kojima. I was getting tired of running away anyway. You virgin. Da -da -da -da. Kojima is such a virgin, bro. <laughs> oh shit. Da -da 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 -da. For luck. Eva is such a hole, man. Okay, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna fucking save, bro. Okay, yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. So my... Okay, my health is like kind of low right now. Okay, let's save it in like my backup save file because I don't want to ruin my perfect run. European Extreme, bro. I don't play. I don't play. This is going to be the greatest Metal Gear run of all time. Okay. Okay, okay. RPG. Why is she not going towards his back? Come on, Eva. Drive better. Why is this happening? Open fire. Woo! Fuck up them threads. Damn, nice. Man, no, it's too high. Woohoo, what's up, Helix?
Damn, he's almost dead, but I can't get his back. Damn. I can't move. He's got a little bit, bit more health left. Woo! We did it! Oh, we did it. Okay, so can I save once we go to the next section? Yeah, you can't move. Let's see. I remember he gets out of the, the shaggle hot to control it. No. Damn. Yo, you look at all those bullets outside his... Can we save? I don't know how, how, how is this logical, man. He basically controls it and then he like... He controls it like a, a like a beast, you know. Morgan is a man that defies logic. He's the best. Gotta lure it back here. You're gonna use yourself as bait? Are you insane? Go, dude! You gotta go. <laughs> like snakes get mowed over, man. Game over. Oh! Come on, you blockhead! Huh? Okay, so same strat. We shoot his legs, and then we shoot him. Vogan is so dumb, man. He's easily distracted. Oh, there's a gun over there. Are you gonna play chicken? Come on, bro. Yeah, you really play chicken. Okay, I think I'm gonna make it safe. I'm gonna make it safe. Okay, okay, safe, safe. safe. I don't care about Eva. I wanna. I want. I don't wanna die. Holy crap! All right, so I made a second save a uh, slot just in case I fuck up, right? In case I kill any soldiers by mistake, because this is a non-lethal run. I want to have a good rank. Okay, so we got to shoot the treads. And also... Also, we got to make sure we got the moss in. Okay, so backpack-wise, weapon, we got the RPG. Let's see. Okay, moss in is unequipped. Okay. Moss in. Oh shit! Okay. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh shit! I'm dead. Holy fuck, is that like pure energy or some shit? Okay, I might lose. Oh, no, no, no. I'm dead. Mossin? Or should I just use the, uh, the Mark 22? I'm dead, I'm dead. <laughs> Shit! What if you shoot Eva? Yo, that's true. It's okay, we just saved, we just saved. So we didn't, nothing happened, nothing happened. That was just a trial run. And I, I refuse to use my life med, right? Like, I think this is probably a good place to use the life med, but I don't know, man. Is there cover? Oh, there might be. But I, I wasn't playing smart. I was trying to play like brute force. I think this is like one of the last things we gotta do before 
I think we're almost going to end the game. There's an irritating section after this where Eva gets injured and you got to sneak with Eva through the forest. And, you know, once you, like, beat it, you get to fight the boss. And once you fight the boss, game over. He moves like too fucking fast, bro. I guess this kind of like cover a little bit. I don't know why Eva is not getting him now. Oh shit. Oh. oh shit, no, no, I'm dead. Why isn't Eva like using him as distraction? Oh shit, oh shit, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh. <sighs> okay. Damn. Maybe I gotta use my life, man. I don't know. Uh. <sighs> I'm so close to finishing this game, bro. Should I use my shaft grenades? I haven't never used my shaft grenades this entire game, man. Because there's like no security cameras, there's none of that. Okay, maybe I gotta equip the Mossin Nagan. Mossin probably does more damage. Okay, backpack, weapon. Uh, Mossin? Alright, Mossin time. Oh shit. Ugh. Okay, Mossin? Oh shit! Are you serious? I thought Eva is supposed to be distracting this dude. Damn. I'm dead. Oh. Okay, I need I need like a better gun. I need a better gun to shoot those uh, missiles, man. Damn. <sighs> Maybe it's time to pull out the life mat for this one. But also, then again, there's going to be a second chase. A second chase sequence where they're going to chase you through the jungle. Damn. <sighs> I wonder if actually if I go near the uh, like Volgan, is that better? This boss fight is actually way more challenging than the uh, the CQC version. It's like every boss fight is steps it up in terms of difficulty. Mm. 
Okay, so backpack wise, let's equip the moss in. And for this one, let's, you know what? I'm gonna equip, I'm gonna equip the, the life medicine. Okay, I'm gonna heal myself. Is this the SVD or the Mawson? Oh shit, where is he? Mossing works. Ah, shit. Okay, yo, how do I deal with this? Down. Woo, mossing works. Um, she's not doing anything, bro. Oh, damn. Is it getting darker? Damn. Damn, it's raining, bro. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh. oh, shit. Oh, come on, dude! Shit. Oh, come on, I shot him! I did it! I did it. I think he might have dropped something. I heard him drop something. I I did use one live mat though. <laughs> GG easy, Shagadelic. You got a trophy for that. It wasn't that hard. It was more like Shit, are we still gonna fight? I thought that was the last time. Oh, I, I know what happens. I know what happens. He forgot to say Kuwabara Kuwabara. He always says Kuwabara Kuwabara because he, he's afraid of thunder. I mean, he respects thunder. Oh man, the frame rate drop is insane. Yo, that's why you don't fuck with God, bro. That was Zeus from God of War. He's basically a lightning god, exactly. God of War, Metal Gear Solid connection confirmed. That was Zeus, bro. 
Oh my god. I I don't feel satisfied seeing him die this way. I kind of feel sad for him. He's fucked up, but man, like nobody deserves to burn to death like that, man. Nice firework. I feel bad for the guy. Like I wouldn't mind if he died if he fell off a cliff. But that was kind of fucked up. How ironic. A fitting end. A fitting end. It's finally over. Ah, uh, it ain't over till it's over, man. Damn, it's like fireworks. And they do like sexy time. But she friend zoned him hard. I don't remember it raining like this, like back then, man. And I don't remember it like blowing on like fireworks like that. Ah, shit. <laughs> Look at those guys. No time for this now. Look at this fucking ass. We gotta save. Damn, he's dead for real. Oh, maybe he's still alive, man. Wolgin. All right, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save in my second save file, just in case. Just in case I accidentally kill some guy. Do I get full health for this? Damn, what an ending. Like most games, like that should be the end, right? But Kojima is like, nah, bro, that's just the beginning. Okay, how's my health? Oh, my health, I get full health for that. Oh, cool. Down. Where are the flying boys? Yo, we good? I think we good. Yo, I, I should unequip my life, man, and keep. What the fuck? Nice suit. <laughs> nice suit, nice suit. That was sick. This is like the ending battle for Metal Gear Solid 1, except like more exciting and shit. Yo! What's with that music? Just keep kept like going. She shouldn't have stopped. Wait, what? What the fuck? Losorejo South. Okay, sh should I save? I think I should save. Damn. You're like racing towards the end. Yeah, hopefully I didn't kill anyone, man. Cause like, I didn't play this entire game just to have one dude croak on me and end up my- fuck up my whole rank. Good. Oh shit. Yeah, 
non-lethal shots. Oh shit. Up ahead? This is long. Oh shit. Did we do it? Did they that fucking crash? Holy shit. Lazo Rivo North. Okay, save. Oh my god. This is insane. Hey, are you saving? Yes. Yes, I am. Ma'am. Oh boy. Man, I hope I didn't kill anyone. I, I feel like so like scared right now for my rank. Oh shit. Damn. Hmm. Always shoot the driver first. Come on! Woohoo! Was I supposed to be pressing something? That was okay. Yeah, I lost half my health though. Zao Zyorji Wist. Oh shit. Uh oh. Looks like they finally gave up. Don't start celebrating yet. We're leaking fuel. Damn. How did Damn that it. bullet miss us? Tank shot up. No, look at the road. Crap. Damn, that was Stink's fault, bro. I hate this part, man. I I know you gotta sneak with Eva like out of there. Damn, that was technically my fault, man. Eva, I'm over here. Ah, 
God, this game is long. I know I shouldn't be complaining, but I just want to get to the boss fight. Oh man, I want to see my rank. What? Do I, how do I do? Ooh. Snake. How's it look? It's not that bad, bro. I don't think it hit any vitals. Eva. What about you, Snake? Chill. I'm fine. That's good to hear. We have to get away from here, Eva. Let's go. Leave me. Eva! The boss is waiting for you. You have to go. Give me a gun. No, we're getting out of here. If we're still far away from the lake, I'll never make it. I can't believe this. Uh -huh. I never thought I'd see you act this week. Damn. It's like they're in a relationship mean? already. Listen to me, Eva. We're doing this together. No, you... Eva, I need you. To fly the, the plane. Say that one more time. I need you. I can't fly the wig by myself. Exactly. <laughs> I think she wanted it to be romantic, but it ain't gonna happen. Let's go. All right then. I guess I'd better help you out. Yeesh. Jesus! We should, we should like uh, suture her up. <sighs> You're lucky to have me. Sure. Damn. All right, we're gonna patch her up, we then save the game, and then we try to get out of here. But this should be easy, right? Because like we got like um, we got a lot of MK22 bullets. Snake. Okay, so we go to go to the cure viewer. I gotta skip that paramedic codec because like, this game is kind of long. Oh, Snake also got fucked up. Uh, bleeding. Okay, let's uh, step tick for bleeding. Uh, disinfect and bandage up. Deep cut. Oh, suture. Bone fracture. Okay, splinter. And bandage. Uh, okay, how about snake? Eva, okay. Damn, Eva's pretty sexy, man. Uh, okay, suffering from a deep cut. Okay, um. Styptic. Disinfect. Suture and bandage. Bleeding. Okay. Disinfect, styptic, suture, bandage. Okay, how's that look? <clears throat> okay, let's go. Can you walk? Yeah, I think so. I sew that up. You should be fine. <laughs> he keeps all your blood within your body. Damn. She got a little bit of a like a bump on her nose. Very interesting detail. Here. Oh shit. Single action army. It's different from the Mauser. When you're using a two-hand grip, you have to be careful where you put your hands or your fingers will get burned by the exhaust gas from the cylinder gap. Damn. What a thrill. Damn. European extreme, bro. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, let's save. Okay, I'm gonna save it the second file. 
hopefully, bro, if 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 I don't get a good rank where I did this non-lethal with zero alerts, I'll be so sad. The Sorrow is the best boss fight ever. It's the easiest. It's the easiest. It's not really the best, in my opinion. I think, you know, bias aside, the end is the best boss fight. It's not my favorite. My favorite boss fight is probably the boss. Why are they still calling me, bro? Okay, uh, Mark 22. Okay, so Eva's... How's Eva's stamina? Okay, Eva's stamina is rapidly going down. Okay, let me check my food again. Should I give this to Eva? How do I give this to Eva? I guess it could be really close to Eva. Oh, you gotta be close to Eva, I think. Hmm. Oh, Triangle gets here to follow you, okay. Okay, wait, shoot this snake. Come on, Eva, let's go. Quickly. Oh, Eva's health is actually recovering. That's impressive. I saw her health go up a little bit. Okay, this is not an ideal camouflage for the jungle, so I think I'm going to increase it to... Uh, leaf... Spider? No. Uh oh, cutscene. Yeah, look at all those soldiers. It's not gonna be that hard, I got enough Mark 22 bullets for all of them. Down. The super hype. I don't remember this song. Holy shit. What the fuck? How many soldiers are there? It doesn't matter because like for when I fight the boss, I'm not gonna even use my mark 22. I'm gonna use all CQC. Damn. Okay, can I save again? <sighs> okay, quickly save. Snake, are you saving? I don't think the sequence is very long, but it's very like tricky. I also gotta make sure I have like stun grenades, you know? Good luck. Okay, backpack wise, let's see. Mark 22, do I have stun? Yes, I do have stun. Okay, that's great. Oh, they might be hiding. Okay, let me take a look at the map. I don't really remember this place. What the? Oh shit, they're behind me. Huh? Oh shit. I didn't know they were behind me, bro. Okay, Eva's health is going down. We better eat. I didn't know they were behind me. Eva. Hmm. 
Damn, she eating all my food. Oh shit, they're, they're really chasing after us. Follow me, bitch. Quickly! Uh oh. Quickly, girl, we don't have time. Damn, she's slow as fuck. Uh oh. Okay, we better check the map. I hope I'm going the right place. Okay, it is the right place. Uh oh, I don't know if she can climb this. Okay, who's calling me? What do you want? Snake, the lake is just over that cliff. Eva should be able to climb it if you help her. Keep her close to you. Okay. Quickly, we gotta go. Okay. So, is this over? The lake is behind us, right? Come on, princess. Mow it, women. With respect, though. With respect, though. You gotta say with respect, then it's fully respectful. <sighs> Damn, that was quick. I used to remember like I did this section like way harder last time. With respect. With respect. Huh. Fuck. We still we got still shit to do, man. You wanna save? I'll get right on it. Okay, this the shitty part is we got we just like um wasted all my stun grenades. But the good part is we are almost there. <sighs> Come back. The real waifu is paramedic, you know? Okay, so here's the thing. For food wise, let's give let's give her something to eat. And also my character. Hey, this works. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck is that sound? Quickly, women. Quickly. I don't think they're gonna wake up that- Wait, what the fuck? Women! What the fuck? Quickly! Oh my god, I only got 12 more bullets. Holy oh shit, maybe this guy got- Okay, we, we gotta lift this guy up. Maybe he got like more bullets for me. Oh, thank god. Okay, thank god I checked. Thank god I was resourceful and handsome. Like Snake. Okay, I got 20 bullets. That's good. Okay, let's see. Um, map wise, we could either go right or left. I think I'm gonna go left. Damn, 
Damn, she's slow as fuck. Hurry up. Girl. The music sounds a little bit like, um, what you might call it? The, um, you know, Frank Underwood's theme from uh, House of Cards. Okay, do I have better camouflage for this area? It sounds a little bit like House of Cards, right? Oh, wait, I got the spirit camo. I think it might work here, but I better be careful because I don't want to like waste stamina as I'm using this. Okay, woodland. Oh shit, that guy's that guy think he's sneaky. Down. Oh shit! Oh no! I, my 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 silencer finished. Oh my god. Oh no, I gotta re I gotta redo one entire section. It's okay, it's okay. It is my fault. My silencer like was done, but and then I didn't refill it. Damn it, man. I thought that was a perfect run. <sighs> you know, honestly, this is still pretty fun, I guess, but like on I think this is a little bit extra fat on the game. I'm I'm still having fun though, so it's not that bad of a fat. But I guess like the reason why I want to go without this this area is because I feel a lot of stress. I kind of don't like like stuff that makes me too stressed out, like the uh the boss battle with the end, you know this this sequence right here. But I think it's very crucial for the game. Fuck! I gotta redo this section. What is what? It's a snake, you dumbass. Oh shit, is the snake gonna bite her? What's that? Oh no. Yeah, it was about to bite me. Okay, my food is full. Okay, let's feed Eva a little bit. Damn. Mm. Markov eat. Mm. Ah, pretty tasty. I got like enough food to last us like two winners, man. Quickly. Quickly, women. Oh wait, forgot to change my camel. Okay, so spirit camel, maybe? Uh, I guess I'm wearing the best camel.
Okay. Are we good? Oh my god, there's a guy down there. I almost I almost didn't see him here. Holy shit. Okay, he might have some ammo on him, so I'm gonna shake him. M19 bullet. Okay, MK, please. Okay, thank you. Okay, we better start feeding Eva some more. Okay, food. See, it's not that hard, right? It's just a little bit annoying. Hey, this works. Canyon Mangrove. Let's give Eva. Isn't there supposed to be a soldier here somewhere? Oh, I think he was further down. Okay, let me see. Um, map wise. Yep, we're pretty close. I'm literally like clearing the way and rolling out the red carpet for her. Quickly! Before more show up. Is this it? I hope this is just... This is it. If there's some one more section, it's gonna be so painful. Let's go! Oh, I think this is it. I think this is it. Maybe? No? Oh, fuck. That's not it. Maybe one more, or two more. Shit. Oh, this is it. Oh my god, this is the fight. Boss fight. The boss. And this is us finishing the game. Damn, now she can run? Come on, Snake. Hey, you're forgetting one thing, bro. Over there. Snake about to get some. Exactly. Oh no. It's the boss, isn't it? But I'll go get the wig ready to take off. <sighs> right. Jam. I'll leave you two alone. But come back in one piece, okay? Damn, that shit kind of gay. Don't tell like sweet nothings to me, bro. I'm a hardened soldier. I don't need no women. With respect. With respect. Fuck out of here. I got shit to do, girl. I got shit to defeat. I'm about to be legendary. Seeing this while I play MBS5 connects a lot of stuff, right? Oh, what the fuck? Ooh Damn, I can't wait to play MBS5, bro. Oh, I think she just shot the Davy Crockett, maybe. I think. Life's end. Yeah, she did. Isn't it beautiful? Hell no. It's almost tragic. When life ends, it gives off a final lingering aroma. Light is but a farewell gift from the darkness to those on their way to die. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Waiting for your birth, your growth. This is the best and fight of all time? Yes. It is. Boss. Why are you doing this? Why? She's saving America. One again. She's saving America. The world used to be whole. But with the end of the Second World War, the philosophers began to fight amongst themselves, and the world was torn apart. 
The Cobras, my comrades, who trained and fought alongside me, were torn apart as well. The foibles of politics and the march of time can turn friends into enemies just as easily as the wind changes. Ridiculous, isn't it? Can I stretch? Yesterday's oh my god, you hear that back crack? Opposition. And this Cold War? Think back. When I was leading the Cobras, America and Russia were fighting together. America. Now, consider whether America and Russia will still be enemies in the 21st century. Somehow, I doubt it. Enemies change along with the times, the flow of the ages, and we soldiers are forced to play along. I didn't raise you and shape you into the man you are today just so we could face each other in battle. A soldier's skills aren't meant to be used to hurt friends. That's why I'm taking you out non-lethal so style, what lady. Is, an enemy? is there such a thing as an such an epic scene? Enemy? There is no such thing, and never has been. And the reason is that our enemies are human beings like us. They can only be our enemies in relative terms. The world must be made whole again. The philosophers must be reunited. I will devote my skills to that purpose. The philosophers. And with the Colonel's money, I will achieve that end. Just as I once created the Cobras. They are my family. Oh my god, I got chills. I think like Snake got the idea of Outer Heaven from the boss. When he made Outer Heaven, he got the idea from the boss, bro. Holy shit. It was November 1st, 1951. I was in the Nevada desert participating in atomic testing. The name Nevada is derived from Spanish. Covered in snow, white as snow. Is she is that why she's wearing and white? Snow is exactly what I saw in that Nevada desert. It froze my blood white. Snake, you were an atomic test subject, weren't you? On Bikini Atoll. That's part of the reason I was drawn to you. Oh, he you was a I test died. subject. I, I I forgot Big Boss was we're a both test subject. Slowly being eaten away by the karma of others. We'll never have the chance to die peacefully of old age. We have no tomorrow. But we can still have hope for the future. Whoa, that's a In young snake. I saw a vision of the ideal future from space. Oh, did she go to space? Three years earlier, the Soviet Union had succeeded in launching Sputnik, the first man-made satellite in history, into orbit. This came as a huge shock to the United States. In response, America threw everything it had into its own manned spaceflight project, the Mercury Program. Mercury Program. Even as the Soviets seemed poised to send their first man into space, America was still experimenting with chimpanzees and rockets. Damn. America was like so far behind. The government wanted human data. So they secretly decided to send a human being into space. Oh, they sent the boss to space. I was the one they chose. Holy shit. At the time, they didn't have the technology to block out cosmic rays. And whoever they sent up would inevitably be exposed to heavy radiation. That's why they chose me. After all, I'd already been irradiated once. Of course, you won't find any of this in the history books. I could see the planet as it appeared from space. That's when it finally hit me. Space exploration is nothing but another game in the power struggle between the US and the USSR. Politics, economics, the arms race, they're all just arenas for meaningless competition. I'm sure you can see that, but the Earth itself has no boundaries. No East, no West, no Cold War. 
And the irony of it is, the United States and the Soviet Union are spending billions on the space program. I remember Outer Heaven's motto, Soldiers Without Borders. Oh, is that how he got the 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 motto? In the 21st century, everyone will be able to see that we are all just inhabitants of a little celestial body. Soldiers Without Borders, man, Outer Heaven. A world without communism or capitalism, that is the world I wanted to see. Without communism and capitalism, so. But reality continued to betray me. In 1961, I was sent to Cuba, to buy a de Cuchillo. Oh, so did you play Ground Zero? No, I haven't. I I did play a little bit it of uh, Peace of Walker though. It was part of the sponsored invasion, under the guise of taking Cuban exiles back to their country. But the U.S. government betrayed them. Our weak-need president held back their air support. Defenseless, the exiles were annihilated by the Cuban army. All I could do was watch in silence. Cuba. I was set up by the very country I'd sacrificed so much for, by the very government I dedicated my life to defending. I was driven from the surface world, and I went underground. Then, two years ago, I faced the sorrow, my old comrade in battle. He was my friend. But one of us had to die. I was left with no choice. You can actually see the corpse of the sorrow the at the sorrow early stages of the game. The scene where, like, you know, uh, the no boss threw snake off the bridge. One must live, and one must die. That was the mission. The ones who gave me that mission were the philosophers. Oh, so the philosophers Early were in the twentieth century. The true holders of power in the United States, the Republic of China, and the newly formed Soviet Union gathered together in a secret meeting that would later be known as the. You can't wait. I didn't play it, but you want to see what happened. I'll play Ground Zeroes for sure. Mark the beginning of the philosophers. But the last of the original members died in the 1930s. Oh. After that, the organization began to run out of control, and the Wise Men's Committee degenerated into a mere shell of its former self. The philosophers of today have no sense of good or evil. Their influence extends to countries and organizations involved in every aspect of every war. They have become war itself. That's how they operate. The sacrifices of war cause a shift in the times. This shift leads to renewed conflict, and in turn triggers the next war. Like a nuclear chain reaction, each conflict sparks countless others, forming an endless spiral that will continue on for eternity. Do you understand what I'm saying, Snake? By consuming me and you, the philosophers intend to keep that cycle going forever. It was my father who explained all of this to me. Who was your father? He was one of them. Oh. You see, I am the last remaining child of the philosophers. I forgot about that. But after he revealed the truth, my father was killed by that same shapeless, formless organization. And my father isn't the only thing the philosophers have taken from me. In June of 1944, the Cobras and I took part in the landing at Normandy. We'd been given a top-secret mission to locate and destroy enemy V2 rocket installations. I was pregnant at the time. The sorrow was the father. I gave birth on the field of battle. A beautiful baby boy. But my child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. Philosophers, bro. That, that's before they were known as the Patriots, right? The Lali Lule Lo. Damn. Look at this scar. This is proof that I was once a mother. I gave up my body and my child for my country. That's the worst C-section I've ever seen, man. There's nothing left inside me now. Nothing at all. No hatred, not even regret. 
And yet sometimes at night, I can still feel That's an S section. Up inside me. <laughs> Why they gotta cut it all away from her chest, bro? What the fuck? That's fucked up. I've never talked this much about myself before. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me. I feel content. Snake. Commence the operation. I raised you. I loved you. I've given you weapons, taught you techniques, endowed you with knowledge. There is nothing more for me to give you. Oh, I got chills, bro. All that's left for you to take <sighs> is my life by your own hand. One must die and one must live. No victory, no defeat. Such a good scene. The survivor scene. will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. I'll give you 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, Migs will come and bomb the hell out of this place. If you can beat me in less than 10 minutes, you'll be able to escape in time. Let's make this the greatest 10 minutes of our lives, Jack. Boss. You're a soldier. Finish your mission. Prove your loyalty. Can I save first? I'm gonna save first. All right, let me save. Okay, I'm gonna save first. So, I'd like to defeat her with only CQC. You wanna save? I'm gonna defeat her with only CQC to prove to prove that I'm the ultimate one, man. But I gotta parry her whenever she grabs me. That's the difficult part. Oh man, my heart is already beating so fast. <sighs> Chill. Good luck. Thank you. <clears throat> Oh shit! Run quick. Why is it a fixed camera? Brace yourself. Okay, good parry. Excellent. Why is the camera fixed? Here I come. Okay, good parry. You're better than that. Good parry. Get ready. Good parry. Oh, did I parry? Ah, oh, man, I feel that parry. I feel that parry. Dude, if you're too late or too early with that parry, she will get you. Down. Down, man. Whew, this fight is insane. I kind of got her good though. I think I got her like 25% at least. That was a pretty good like first attempt. CQC only, man. If people are like defeating her with other methods, you're a beach. Like, you gotta, like, use the methods she taught you to defeat her. There only can be one, right? In order to be the master, you gotta beat the master in CQC. Yeah, it is the only way. Same with Volgan, right? I beat Volgan with only CQC. Oh, shit. I think it's gonna happen. Let's see what you're made of. 
All right, good parry. Excellent. Oh, okay. I guess I can like kick her twice. Get ready. Okay, I parried her that time. Oh no no no! What did I do? I wanted to grab her, but all of a sudden I I started like like hitting her. Get ready. Okay, good parry. You're better than I. She sees I'm better than I like than, than she remembered. Get ready. Good parry. Dude, I parried her. I parried her. Oh, I did. I did. I not parry her. Okay, I'm about to die. Run quick. I'm dead. Yo, <laughs> yo, what's up, Outer Heaven? Damn. I did. I was. I did really well. I think I. I got. I got like. Um, I think I got a little like. Uh, I don't know what's the word. Like rusty. Not. That's. That's not the word. I countered her a few times, but like I wasn't quick enough. Damn. <sighs> da, 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 da. No, nothing much just chilling. How are you, boss? I'm doing pretty good. I'm trying to beat this game on European Extreme. And, like, I can't wait to see my final rank. Or should I say big boss? I'm not big boss yet. Well, technically I am. I beat this game a long time ago. Let's see what you're made of. Okay, two is enough. I don't know why the camera is not free flowing. Let's see what you're made of. Okay, that was a good parry, right? Okay, that's like literally only one bar. Brace yourself. Okay, that's like almost one and a half bars, I guess. Get ready. Dude, I gr I parried that. You better run. Oh, I parried that! Why wasn't that a parry? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh! Okay. I got her the few t first few times. Why why was my timing off? I think she changed her like attack a little bit. I think she kind of slowed down her attacks a little bit, man, because like when I first got her, like the pattern was like very like um consistent, right? That's why I was able to parry her, but this time I wasn't. Okay, this time I shouldn't rely on so much on patterns and I should just rely purely on sight and sound. Damn, I gotta really, really, really focus. Oh my god, my, my brain is already at 100%, but I, I feel like fighting her demands like 
200, 300%. Holy fuck. <sighs> Focus. Let's see what you're made of. See, that was a good parry. I love it when she says excellent because I feel like I really earn it. Get ready. Okay, I parried that. I successfully parried that. You're better than I do. Okay, good parry. See, I'm parrying her successfully. I think she changes the, the timing a little bit. Where did you go? There he is. Get ready. Oh, I feel run quick. Okay, I parried her. Your skills have improved. Oh shit. You've gotten stronger. Oh shit. Get ready. Okay. Almost there. I adjusted my parry timing. Let's see what you're made of. Oh, come on. I did I fail? Oh my god, I think I'm going to lose again. You better run. Oh, I'm dead. I parried! I parried! I parried! <sighs> Holy shit, I was so close! <laughs> oh my god. I was so close. <sighs> I wonder if you get like some camel from her if you defeat her with CQC. I did so well, man. Like, I can't believe it. I think she changed her pattern the third time because she she have a faint with her. Thank you, Felix. I got this. I got this. I'm getting better. Like I'm getting better, but it's almost like I feel like so sad that I can't defeat her first try. But it's been so many years. Man, how do you like them parry skills though? Like I managed to parry her CQC attacks quite, uh, quite a few times, man. Try to pill? No, I'm not. That's for pussies. Pussies use pills and like Let's gimmicks. See what you're made of. <laughs> pussies use like like tricks, bro. Why not fight for real? Here I come. <laughs> you're better than I do. I think I can hit her like one more time. She stays down for quite long. Damn, she runs really fast. Here I come. Okay, good parry. Here I come. 
come. Okay, good parry. Your skills have improved. I love it when she says my skills have improved. Oh, I can't kick her three times. You've gotten stronger. She basically uses the uh the, the gun to escape. Oh come on! I parried that time! Okay, I think she really got me this time. Run quick. It's pretty hard to see her. She camouflages really well. Oh, okay. I didn't parry. Didn't I not parry that time? Heads up, snake. I think she's getting like weaker. She, she, her CQC is getting better, man. That's half her stamina already. I already, I can beat her half her stamina. Damn, I don't know what she does that is so different. Like half her health. I think I'm anticipating her like her attacks like a little too slow. And also I find like she blends into the environment like too well, man. Sometimes when her hand comes like to grab me and I'm like, is that a flower or is that her head? <laughs> and I, I don't want to fight her with like the thermal goggles because I think that's kind of pussy. Um, I know sooner or later I'm going to get her. Half, half stamina is already pretty good. And that's less than 10 tries. Damn, I feel like I'm the I'm like the opening scene where he like does that to the soldier, you know? Dun, 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 dun. I can't wait for the CQC in like MGS um the later MGS like five or something. I wanna see like how they improve it. Let's see what you're made of. Okay, that's a parry. Excellent. Brace yourself. You're better than I do. Let's see what you're made of. She likes to faint a little bit. Oh, I think I missed it. Oh wait, I did. Your skills have improved. You've gotten stronger. It's so nice to hear her compliment me like that. It really feels like I did get stronger. Damn, it's almost really hard to track her down. Here I come. Uh. Oh. Ah. You're better than I ah. Okay. Okay, shoot. Get up, shoot. Brace yourself. Oh, I think I missed. I think I missed the parry. I missed the parry. Okay. She, she still she still got the moves, bro. Move or you're dead. Okay, this is where it gets harder, I think. Brace yourself. Okay, I got her. I got her. Okay, I think like maybe two more. Oh, I think I missed. I totally missed that one. She. Oh my god, I think I'm dead. Move or you're dead. I'm dead. Oh, I was so close. That was almost a perfect run, to be honest. Oh. 
But like I said, I'm getting sharper. I fucking hate it when she she faints and then she grabs you because like when she faints, I'm already like countering, right? Damn, she's fucking good, man. Dude, I fell, I fell, I fell a few times for her faints, and I think that was bad positioning on my part. Oh, you hate it when she repeats the same thing over and over? No, I don't mind it. I don't mind it because like I think like. If you perform badly, if you play CQC really badly, she will actually like scold you. She will like tell, say like you haven't learned a damn thing. She will say like things like, you know, you're useless, you know. And that really hurts because like I really love this game and I think I'm pretty good with CQC. As you guys can see, right? Like I, I, I have taken a lot of like soldiers hostage, things like that. Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> Okay, that's a good counter. Excellent. You're pretty good. Thank you, Sia. I hope I need to say your name correct, bro. Thank you, Sia. Sia. I'm not trying to hide, bro. Okay, that's a good counter. I countered her that time. You're better than I Yo, she said uh, that I'm better than how she remembered, bro. Okay, I saw her faint that time. I saw her faint that time. She's now adding like a lot of more tricks to her book. Yeah, I saw her faint that time. Brace yourself. Uh oh. Okay, I saw her faint that time. You saw the faints? She 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 like kind of like faints like she's gonna hit you and then she like does the second one. Okay, I saw the faint. <sighs> okay. Here I come. Okay, I saw the faint. She starts to faint a lot more when like I'm defeating her. I think she's gonna ramp up her faints, bro. Fuck, I don't know where she went. There you are. Oh, okay. She didn't faint this time. This time I really fell for it. This time I really fell for it. Fuck, I think she's gonna beat me again. Here I come. Okay, I saw the faint that time. Okay, she got like a little bit more stamina left. Brace yourself. Oh shit. Oh, I thought I fainted her. I thought I parried her. I'm dead. It's okay. It's okay. We were really close again. Damn. Sometimes she mix it up. Like she would do like four faints and then she does the rat grab the fifth one. And I'm like, what? You got to watch your movements, man. Damn. Every time I try to anticipate it a little better, like she, she she switches it up and I'm like, wait, what? Like she she will like, damn, holy crap. Damn, I, that was so like, that was also pretty close to a perfect because I think like when her health was like one last bar left, that's when she started to mix shit up, bro. I love this fight so much. It's like each time, even if I lose, I'm kind of savoring like, like you know, the, the way I'm beating her. I bet people found this fight very frustrating because they try to like use all their weapons, they try to use like guns. But it's like shameful, man. 
Let's see what you're made of. She fainted. I didn't know she would like actually do that like early. I thought she only does that late. Get ready. Okay, I saw that coming. I saw that coming. You're better. Damn, she said I'm better than she remembered. Let's see what you're made of. Oh, I missed, I missed, I missed. Fuck. Run quick. Holy fuck. Okay, I'm ready. Here I come. Okay, I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Fuck, I don't know where she went. Oh, there she is. Brace yourself. Oh fuck. Is she dead? Damn, okay. <sighs> you gotta know where she's where she is, right? Because if you don't, you know, you can't counter her. Okay, I don't okay I did counter her. Nice. Your skills are nice. You never seen her do flips like that? Yo, she does. One You've gotten stronger. Oh fuck. Okay, I fucked up. I fucked up. I pressed I pressed the counter too soon. I, I think I'm gonna die. Yo, what's up out of heaven? Run quick. I'm dead. Oh I'm dead. Fucking hell. <laughs> Yo. Oh shit. There's also a little like um reflex check, right? Like the best time to actually counter is like whenever you hear Snake make a grunt like Ugh, like that. That's when you should immediately counter. But you have to press the button exactly when he makes that sound. Not half a second later. And of course, this on top of that, there's the visual aspect of her like feigning and like or immediately grabbing you. I think next time I shouldn't run away so much. I think like I got really effective when I stood still. When I stood still as she approached me, I could see a lot more. But sometimes she faints like really close, man. Like she's like really close to you and she like, like she does something and then she, only she grabs. Okay, chill. Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> see? She does a faint. You saw that? Excellent. She's only shooting to create cover. Here I come. You're better than I am. Okay, chill. Damn. Okay, I'm ready. Get ready. Okay, I saw that one coming. I know she wasn't gonna do a faint. I know she was gonna try and mix it up. I knew that was a direct, uh, that was a faint. 
your skin. Ah! You gotta know where she's at, man. If you don't, you don't know where she's coming from. Let's see what you're made of. I heard that. I heard that. Chill, chill, chill. Get ready. Oh shit. Good counter. You're better. Damn. The camera sometimes fucks me over, man. <sighs> okay. Okay, I knew that was a direct one. You're better than I, I beat her. Just using CQC. Holy shit. That was crazy impressive, bro. Holy shit. GG easy? Nah, that wasn't GG easy, bro. That was it was pretty tough. But just CQC on European Extreme. I'm playing this on European Extreme. Hey, thank you, Raul. And then we have no choice but to kill her because this is like part of her mission. Trophy earned, the Patriot. Take wow. This. Keep it safe. Is this how like Big Boss like built Outer Heaven with all that money? She gave me her gun. Patriot. A patriot. Why are you giving me this? Oh, I can feel my controller vibrate when she touched me. Or should I say, Snake? You're a wonderful man. Kill me. Kill me now. Do it. Do you know how twisted this game is? They make you actually pull the trigger. I remember when I was a kid. There's only room for one boss and one snake. They won't let you do anything else. You gotta pull the trigger. The way I rationalize this is if we don't kill her and we don't we don't get proof that, you know, like we we end the war, like um Damn. This we gotta help her finish her mission, man. Her dying is part of finishing the mission. <sighs> Fuck, that was hard, man. That was fucking hard, man. Ah I feel it in my chest. Oh, I remember she had a horse, right? Wow. Hey, thank you, Helix. I feel like such an asshole when her, her horse appears and her horse is like, did you just kill my master?
That's crazy, man. was deep that was really deep bro oh my god all right ready to go snake oh i think i got your name wrong slash it's not sia it's slash Ryu. yo what's up slash you wish they have the remake yeah if only right only if kojima is working on it are you okay but I still think the original is still like the, a masterpiece, hands down. Yeah. With what limited technology they did, they can make the game like this. Oh, it turns white. I wonder what's the significance of that. Because the blood is on snake hand, so it's red. I told you you could trust me. Because the blood is on snake's hand, so it's red. But when it flew away, it turned back white. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I re I know who that is. I know who that is. It's your boy. It's your boy, Ocelot. Bitch! Oh, Bitch doesn't know You're how to lose, man. Yet. Fuck out of here with that bum ass shit. <laughs> you out of your damn mind, son. Jesus. Damn. So now Snake is no longer pure. His hand is, is tainted with blood. Oh, that makes total sense. That makes total sense. It's like the act cannot be undone, right? Because like everything turned red. You fucking asshole, those are all my camo that I, I have my hard earned shit. Bro, I'm gonna beat your ass so hard. Yo, you better watch out, bro. Watch out. Damn, you can't beat someone who just beat the boss, bro. Look at this dirty ass motherfucker, man. Fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Bitch, get on my plane! Yo, when did you learn how to block Ocelot? Oh my god, he learned a little bit. Damn, that was tight. That was tight, that was tight. Snake. Try to remember some of the basics of CQC. Yo! One Ocelot is too heavy, how much did he eat? I mean, he has like so much swag weighing him down, right? Not good! That's why. Damn. Yo! Oh! Ocelot learned CQC! Oh shit! Ocelot learned from actually fighting Snake! Yo! This is like so poetic, right? Like, his mother taught us CQC and now we're teaching him CQC. <laughs> Bro, you can't hurt something that's already gone, man. Bro, you can't fuck with Big Boss, man. Snake is actually enjoying it. You notice his smile? I picked up a few new moves. You're pretty good. 
Oh, fuck. Huh. It doesn't feel right to shoot an unarmed man. But I'll get over it. Eva! Oh, shit. Holy shit! That was amazing, bro. How are we not crashing into the mountain already, though? Oh man, that's the shot that missed. What do you say to one last showdown? <sighs> okay, yeah, okay. All right. I think I remember this one. Oh, he's gonna put it into one gun. Oh no, we gotta choose the gun. Fuck! Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's on his left hand, right? Uh, right hand, sorry. Right. Left. Right. Hey, man, that's cheating! Hey, that's cheating! He went behind his back. Oh, fuck. What's your name? Snake. No. Not that name. You're not a snake, and I'm not an ocelot. We're men with names. I bet uh, ocelot's name is Adamska. My name is Adamska. Adamska, yeah. What's yours? John. John Doe. Very well, John. It's actually Jack, but... Plain name. But I won't forget it. Shit. Fuck, which one? Come on! Do I gotta pick? Okay, I think it's this one. It's gotta be this one, right? Oh, fuck. Oh, do I have to shoot at him? This is so epic, man. Oh shit, I gotta shoot, I gotta shoot. That lake is huge, right? Ooh, I got the right gun. But it's a blank, I think. Oh, it's a real bullet. Holy fuck. Hey, man. I told you guys, I'm really snake. I know which gun. <laughs> Looks like my luck has finally changed. It ain't luck, it's skill. Till we meet again, John. This is incredible, man. This is like ultimate rivalry, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit, <laughs> that's gotta hurt. Woo! As I'm saying, man, as I'm saying, I'm the man. Ah, <clears throat> oh, shit. Whoa. I'm holding down my down controller, bro. I'm trying to pull up. It'd be so sad if they just crash into a mountain. Yo, that, those Russian engines though. Russian's engines don't play. He probably ended up in multiple fractures. Exactly. If you land at the water at that speed, it's like landing on concrete. It's crazy, right? <laughs> so weird hearing Snake laugh. 
<laughs> yeah, I sure did. Yo, non-lethal kills, no alerts, no continues. Um, whoa, whoa, what are they looking at? Oh no, that's the field we fought the boss at, right? And that's the horse. No. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, why couldn't we like take care of the horse though? Oh shit. What do you get for a non-lethal kill? Oh, no. Um I think you get an award and a, a special item. It's a rank. There's no way out! What are we gonna do? We've come too far to let them stop us now. Things have got to be armed. It's no use. There's no way we can outmaneuver them. They're gonna shoot us down. We were so close. Weapon systems on. Locked on target. I got tow. <clears throat> oh man. You were great, Eva. Huh? Thanks. Damn, look at that smile. <laughs> Snake's gotta work on that smile, bro. He smiles like a pervert. No offense, bro. Like, Snake is handsome as fuck, bro, but he smiles like the Joker. Stand by for a direct order from the chairman. Bulk 19, return to base immediately. Do you need oh. me? This oh. is a direct order from Comrade Khrushchev. Return oh, shit. To base immediately. Bulk 19, do you copy? Understood. Aborting mission. Aborting oh, those are with the Russians. <laughs> you like that, Maggles? Look! The Migs are turning back! <laughs> Damn! What a stroke of luck. Yo. Oh, it ain't gonna happen, bro. But we got the girl. We saved the world. We defeated the bad guy. Come on, guys. If this is not the greatest game of all time, well, I don't know what snake. is. The Migs disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. This is the best Khrushchev James Bond game of all time. Alaska. I'm sending someone out to Galena Bay. It's not really James Bond, bro. James Bond don't have, like, DCI missions the in the jungle. Are waiting at Langley. It has, like, James don't Bond flavor, going. but... You know, James Bond is more like, you know, having a tuxedo, you know, playing poker, high stakes poker. I think James Bond is more like Hitman, actually. Even though Hitman don't have that James Bond music, you know, this this game tries to incorporate like some of James Bond music, some of his flair. Yo, okay, I don't know, man. I hope I, I got like, like non-lethal, no alerts, none of that. But Hitman doesn't end up with a girl. That's because he's a sterile, soulless clone. That's why, bro. He can't have sex. I think they chopped his balls when he was three years old. So I think this is, they will explain what the boss actually did and why the boss defected. And he will explain why the boss is actually a hero. Yo, we made it back to America, man. Damn, girl. I bet. I think you gotta take a shower first. Look at Snake. So, what are you going to do now? <clears throat> Go back to the KGB. What do you want me to do? She's not with the KGB, you ever think bro. Coming back to America. I can't go back. I've left America behind me. But you saved this country. Now you can save my dick from loneliness. You can save these balls from turning blue. And I still owe America. Dinner. Damn. I think this was like 1964 or 1967. Too? I can't remember. Or is it an order? Yo. Is it an invitation? Yo, take a shower, girl. I ain't gonna do anything nasty ass. Imagine the smell of their breath, of their sweat. Yo, nasty ass. Ooh, snake went in. 
Snake about to get his snake solid. Bruh. Ew, man. The smell is hor probably pretty horrible. Why don't they take a shower first, bro? You know, at least it's awesome to see your, your, your character get some. Yo, imagine the stank on that breath. Is he gonna throw the Kodak? He should throw that shit into the fire, bruh. Damn. <laughs> Eva is a snake eater? Yo, you right, bro. Maybe she's like the real snake eater this whole time. Dude, who, who the fuck kisses someone and moves their head like that? <laughs> it, it shows that Kojima a virgin, bro. Kojima a virgin. This is what Kojima thinks sexy time is. Whole operation is named after her. <laughs> Yo, my boy ripped. Is this his house? He got like a tiger skin. It's pretty dope. Man, my boy still ran camel after he hit six. All he needs to do to have sex is like lower his zipper and that's it. And once it's done, he zips it back up like a professional. The snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Oh, Eve that's right. The snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake. No, you didn't. Fruit of no, you didn't. You didn't do shit, girl. Forgive me, snake. You thought, you thought you took the philosopher's legacy. You didn't do shit. Oh, damn, goodbye. She left a video for Snake to watch. So Eva is actually not from the KGB, bro. She's actually from China. She wanted the Philosopher's Legacy, but the one she got was a fake one from Snake. Because Snake ain't gonna fool anyone, man. Damn, that's old school as fuck. I hope you slept well. First of all, I have to apologize. Oh, she poisoned my drink. Oh, so Snake didn't get I'm laid. Not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. So Snake didn't get his name, his dick wet. Damn, what a tease. No, real shit though. Like the real waifu is paramedic. Damn, we got a sneaking suit. And I'm sorry. Yo, you good, girl. Once a thought, always a thought. You know what I'm saying? From the streets they came. From the streets they returned. Fuck out of here, Eva. But respects though, did you guys know that she's the surrogate the mother of Solid Snake? And all them boys? You see... My mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the Philosopher's legacy and steal it. For the Chinese. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. But she China. The two NSA codebreakers... Ni hao, motherfucker. Ni hao. We're actually both men. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place. Adam Scott is like Ocelot. Adam Sky is Asla, bro. I was Eva. And you, oh, I can't wait to see what my rank is. You all believed me. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the U.S., Soviet China. Union, and China. China. We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it off themselves. China, ni hao ma. Xie xie ni, motherfucker. How do you say snake eater in Chinese? How do you say snake? Nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Five oh, years shit. ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, she sir sure. is that is that snake eater? She is eat right, sir. Is snake right? She sir. Sounds like it sounds like go die. 
<laughs> Jesus. Really? Is that really? Ah, shit. Damn, you saw her boogies jiggle a little bit. Oh, it means go die. <laughs> Agent of the philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. Oh shit. I was raised in a joint US Soviet. Damn, Chinese the philosophers are still like a lot. Damn. This was before the war. Back then they were collecting children from Oh, it sounds very similar to Go Die. Alright. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native born American. Gee, sir. See, he still has it. He gave her the fake one. She knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools too, as an instructor. Oh, the boss was? The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. Because she too smart. She was the only one who knew I was a fake. That's because you she made in China. Everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. I think she wants her to help Snake. Snake. She wanted you to know the truth. Oh. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times. But you can hear the Snake Eater theme playing in the background. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy. And to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. So she was supposed to words, kill Snake. I'm supposed to kill you. Oh my god. Wow. How cinematic, bro. This is amazing. But I can't do it. Because I'm Not too because goddamn I'm handsome. Mother. I didn't say I love Not you. Because you saved my life. Thought ass. But because I made a promise to the boss. And what if that thing explodes? What the fuck? I just wanted you to know. Damn, cool aviators. LAK 770. LAK. Oh, luck, as in luck. So there's a little luck. What the fuck? Why does it destroy like Mission Impossible? This mission, this message will self destruct in three seconds. Damn. Okay. Oh, final scene. Snake, listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No, far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Yo, so paramedic, nice. bro. Beautiful. Because that was her duty. Damn. Big boss, bro. You ain't really big boss if you didn't beat this game on European Extreme. Is that the president? Do I get the Congressional Medal of Honor? You are above Jimmy evil, Carter. Boss. I think it's like I a different. Award you the title of big boss. Whoa. You are a true patriot. Yo, Snake will not shake his hand. Because he knows like what the what the president put all the soldiers through. All he did. Ah fuck. I was wrong. You're a busted, Snake. You're busted for shaking that man's hand. Oh, I remember you can actually see Ocelot outside the window if you if you go into R1 mode. Okay, check this out. I, I remember this as a kid. Later, there'll be an R1 mode where you can see Ocelot outside the window. That's how you know Ocelot is like a double triple agent. Hey, bro, I ain't trying to shake your hand, bitch. Oh, I think I missed that opportunity, man. That's how, like him, that's how Foxhound was started. Missions for us. That's how Foxhound was started. The qualities of a soldier and an agent. 
The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. Fuck out of my way, Major the Zero. Boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Vulcan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Vulcan's trust. Finding out where the philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. Until he... something happened that yeah. no one could have predicted. This is why Snake had to Colonel kill her. Vulcan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. Damn. What a shame. Volgan was such the a bitch, bro. In Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. If if they didn't kill and that Fuck. One of their would have to do the job. Yo. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. If Volgan didn't Not shoot that ever. stupid Davy Crocker, the boss wouldn't have if to die, man. Fucking Volgan, man. Hey, what's up, swordsman? The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Damn. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. Welcome, swordsman. Oh my god. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. That was her mission. Her mission was to carry it out. Her mission was to her die. Oh my god. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace. Hi, swordsman. Her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America, as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia, as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. I'll make that them understand, bro. I'll make them understand. Final mission. Holy shit. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. Oh, look at the flowers he but brought I think her. She wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Oh my God! Not as a soldier, he brought the Patriot gun. But as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Damn. That hit me deep, bro. Oh my god. Okay, October 15, 1964, Khrushchev was ousted. China conducts its first successful nuclear test in Takla, Makan Desert. 65, Sigin joins ARPA, which is DARPA actually. US government conducts a study. Eva disappears without a trace in Hanoi. Paramedic established the nation's first paramedic system in Seattle. Major Zero disbands Fox. The United States accumulates the remainder of the legacy. They change the philosopher to the Patriots. The Lali Lule Lo. Big Boss establishes Foxhound. 
1972, the Les Enfants Terry project. That's where they made eight clones from Big Boss, right? Solid, Liquid. Oh my god! Solidus. Man. Oh, this is not my first playthrough, Swordsman. I played this when I was a kid. I played this on a PlayStation 2. H how can this not be the greatest Metal Gear Solid game of all time, right? This is the greatest Metal Gear Solid game of all time. Like, give me a game that has an ending like this. Oh, I love this song. You got a, a way to fall. Tell you where to go. But they don't know. This song got a meaning, man. The song is called Way to Fall. Take it off. Tell you what they know, but they won't show. Oh, I got something in my throat. I need to be alone for myself. This is like a song like Snake is singing, right? It's like at the end he suffers, like because he killed the boss. It's crazy, man. This is like such a bittersweet ending. No. Look at all these artists, man. Better ways to shine. Tell you what is yours, but they'll take mine. Oh, damn, I've got something in my throat. Yo, this is the new Bakami Tai, bro. Need to be alone while I suck. Damn! Hands down the greatest Metal Gear game, bro. I don't give a shit. You guys better recognize, man. What a good game, right, Helix? It, oh my god. It's like a perfect, like, 10 out of 10. Till this day. If you play today, it, it has aged probably better. Because of what we know with Metal Gear, right? Like, this game essentially enhanced every single Metal Gear game out there. You look at Ocelot differently. You look at the Patriots differently. You look at even Snake differently. Right? Damn, I've been streaming for 8 hours. Holy shit. Closing on nine hours, yeah. Yo guys, um, I'm gonna stop the recording right now. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you gotta watch the next video to see what rank I got. All right, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna continue. Just one sec. <laughs>